This is a presentation of the Oklahoma Sports Network. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the Oklahoma Sports Network's consent is prohibited. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be used without express written consent. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles, from flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is close Closer than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma. But mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattleman's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. 
Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday Morning Bible School starts at 9 a.m., followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4, and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored. For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. The new season just dropped. Enter the big dinner box from Pizza Hut. Two pizzas, breadsticks, and wings all in one box. You'll run out of episodes before you run out of food. The big dinner box, only from Pizza Hut. No one out beats the hut. Pizza Hut stuffed crust is the crust that made crust good. Topped and stuffed with over a half pound of cheese. What are you so afraid of? Loving it? Original stuffed crust, only from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. When I'm flying, I put my helmet on, my visor down, my mask up. You don't know who I am. Whether I'm African American, Asian American, Hispanic, white, male or female, you just know I'm an American Airman kicking your butt. I'm General C.Q. Brown, Jr. Come join us. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Bridges. And I'm Dr. Nathan Buckner. Did you know our dental practice is one of only 6% of practices in the United States that provide care from an all-digital platform? We fabricate crowns, bridges, and place implants with advanced digital technology. If you want to be part of this digital revolution in dental care, call us today at 248-6700 or visit our website at bridgesandbucknerdentistry.com. We look forward to providing you with exceptional dental care. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate.
Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is closer than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. Welcome to the Oklahoma Sports Network. First game of the day for us. Second game of the final rounds with the Frederick Lady Bombers playing the Lock MacArthur JV Lady Highlanders. First quarter brought to you by Bank First. And a shout out to our Frederick sponsors, Subway Frederick Pharmacy, Morning Star Construction Company, LLC, and First Baptist Church of Frederick. Well, got a long day of games today, Jordan. That's for sure, Coach. This one and everyone after it will be called. Naomi Mann with that one. It's to Washington. And a shot goes up from Lennox Stevenson. It goes in for two. To the bucket for two. Rubio. Pierre Rubio for Frederick. That one's stolen by Hendricks. McClung gets it over to Mefford, to McClung. Hendricks to McClung. Rubio down low. Ashley McClung. Rubio with a shot for three. Doesn't go. Travel. So here quickly, 
MacArthur, two turnovers. They got the tip and went down and scored right away. So something positive for them. Start, start the game. And two turnovers. Ashley McClung starting offense up, calling out a play. Hendricks to Danny McClung on the right wing, back to Ashley to Mefford to Rubio. Good ball movement out to McClung, three pointer, but they're going to call three seconds in the lane before the shot, and that'll be the first turnover for the Lady Bombers. Frederick's going to jump into a press. And then to Talia Paisley. Hendrick steals that one. It was Ashley McClung went down the right sideline after that steal. And she's going to get fouled by 45, Talia Paisley. It'd be her first, first foul for her team and the first foul of the ball game. Ashley McClung. Ashley McClung sinks the first one. Second shot from Ashley McClung. Doesn't go. Rebounded by Paisley. Gets it to Jesse. She dribbles down the left sideline. Apparently a little close to the sideline itself and steps out of bounds for the fourth turnover already here in the first quarter. Ball comes out, that'll be Mac Ball. Yeah, Mc Actually McClung hit a cross court pass into her sister, Danny McClung, and she went underneath and thought we had a, she had a wing player over there. Zipped it right out of bounds. Second turnover for the Lady Bomber. As that was Jesse trying to take it to the bucket. Ball loose. Recovered by Mac. Oh, I was going to say, we're going to see the sky hook again. She hit a few of those the other day. Paisley did, and she tried it, didn't go in. Turnover. Quickly down the floor goes Frederick Bombers, Lady Bombers, and they're trying to get some uh, momentum going. They want to get up-tempo, up and cross-court pass to Rubio sells out of bounds. Man comes out with this one. Rubio knocks it loose. That would get to be kept by the Lady Highlanders. Jesse with the ball for Mac. Making a move, trying to get to the bucket. As Danny McClung knocked that one loose. Deflected it out on Jesse. Ashley McClung brings the ball down for the Lady Bombers. Finds Hendricks. In the corner is Rubio. Rubio finds Hendricks down low, puts up a shot, fouled on her way. Karis Hendricks, we go into the line to shoot two. I think they're going to get Talia Paisley, and she's been one of the scoring leaders for Mac JV here in the tournament, so they're going to see some foul trouble early on, her second, team second. That first one doesn't go for Hendricks. Number 23, Jordan Bruton checking in for the MacArthur, Lady Highlanders. Hendricks does get the second one. Man passing it in. She gets it to Jesse. As it's knocked out, going to be Mac basketball. And 
hear the Frederick coach telling him, stay in it, trying to get something going here, applying the pressure. Four fifty-two remaining in the first quarter. Uh, yep, gonna have a foul on Zayla Jesse. Gonna be her first. Foul is on MacArthur, number thirteen, Zayla Jesse. Her first. Hard hit taken there by Mefford. Got that rebound, tried to clear, and then uh, MacArthur was gonna trap the rebound and momentum. Of Jesse coming in off that shot ran right into Medford. McClung gets it to Hendricks down low. It's Danny McClung. Hendricks comes out with it, puts it up for two. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by Mefford. Mefford gets two. Two points. Tenley Mefford. So that ball goes out of bounds off of Mack. Bombers will take possession, and Mack calls a timeout. We'll take a timeout with him. You're watching the Altus. Short grass tournament on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their comfort club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call... Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Danny McClung shooting for three. That one doesn't go. As it comes off the rim, goes out of bounds. Highlanders will take possession. As the ball is in, Reese Vaughn gets it to man. That one's stolen. And going to the bucket is Rubio. She's fouled on her way. Fouled by Reese Vaughn of the Lady, McCar uh, Lady, uh, Lady Highlanders of MacArthur. She just checked in the game. Seen her first action of the Fouls afternoon. On MacArthur, number 15, Reese Vaughn. Her first. Shoots it. Gets that one. Four oh five remain in this first quarter. Rubio shoots the second. She goes two for two from the line. Kira Rubio. As Reese passes it in, that one's stolen by Rubio. Rubio puts it up and in for two more. Jesse. Five seconds. Violation. On Mac. We're gonna have another timeout, looks like, by MacArthur coach. He's gonna this time it's a 30. Alright. As he wants 30, we'll take a 30 with him. You're watching the Alta Shortgrass Tournament on the Oklahoma Sports Network. We take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma. But mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattleman's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! Woo!
Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Still the first quarter. Shot from Rubio. No, it's Ashley McClung for three. McClung sinks that one. Another turnover. Ten already here in the first quarter. As Mefford gets that one in to McClung, finds Rubio in the corner, tipped away, a turnover. Man brings it down the court, gets it to Jesse. Jesse driving to the bucket, puts it up and in for two. Nice move. A little hesitation dribble, went right around the defender and then got in there, tough shot off the glass. And late bombers moving around. Danny McClung shoots for three. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by Vaughn. Vaughn tries to get it down to Stevenson. Last touch by Frederick. The Lady Bombers have a pretty good nickname, or at least their mascot, because they'll, they'll throw it up. They like to shoot the three-pointers. The Lady Bombers. That's Bomber. for sure. If Reese Vaughn misses that one. And then... Uh, Hendricks comes down with the rebound, knocked out of bounds by Jesse. Swings that one in the corner to Danny McClung. Back to Ashley McClung. Finds Rubio. That one knocked out by Mac. That one also knocked out by Mack. Lady Bombers will keep possession. Lady Bomber basketball. Down low. That one blocked. Trying to get it to the bucket. Man puts it up. Ooh. That one doesn't fall for two. Rebounded by Mefford. McClung bringing it down. Cross half court. Finds Rubio. Rubio takes a few dribbles, puts it up, doesn't go in. Rebounded by Stevenson. Stevenson gets it to Vaughn. Oh, she'll be tripped on her trip down the floor. By looks like it's going to be on Danny McClellan. Her first and only the first team foul by Frederick so far. Nice block down there by Lennox Stevenson as Mefford got the inbounds pass, had a free access to the goal, but uh, Lennox using that height and length denying that opportunity to score. Vaughn taking it to the bucket, a floater. Oh. That one doesn't go. And a jump ball, I believe, will be called. Possession to Frederick. Possession, Frederick. Now once the, the Lady Highlanders get down here, their offense has looked like it's gotten better from day one to day three. They've made some pretty good moves and they're getting better, so like what I'm seeing out of them so far today. Yeah, that's that's what you like to see, though, Coach. Every day in the tournament is improvement. Cause that one goes in for Danny McClung. Man with it. Hendricks tries to guard. Vaughn gets it to Jesse. Jesse swings it over to Man. Man guarded by Hendricks. Gives that one to Bruton. Vaughn for three. She knocks it down. There we go. Down low, Hendricks. Hendricks with the spin and the bucket. And the Lady Bombers just all over the place. They took. They didn't care that she made the three-pointer. Zoom right down the floor, hit a streak in Hendricks on the back side, on the left side for a layup, and then right back down the floor goes MacArthur, and then they hustle and using that pressure to knock the ball out of bounds. They're going to make the Lady Highlanders handle the ball all night long. So just overall good hustle by both teams. Ball 
Number 13, Taylor Wilman in for Frederick. Nice move. Kyla Washington scores for the Lady Highlanders. Hendricks finds down low is McClung. Two more for Ashley McClung and a travel call. And inbounding is Wilman. Yeah, she just checked in. Hendricks gets it to Wilman. Wilman finds Rubio. Rubio making her way to the bucket. Gets her own rebound, finds McClung. McClung puts it up and gets her own rebound. Puts it up again. Gets her own rebound a second time. And one, <laughs> Ashley McClung. And she is not the tallest girl out there. She met, matter of fact, she may be the smallest. And she's in there. Amongst the trees, doing some damage, sticking with it, but sheer determination getting that in there. Great hustle. And McClung makes that one. Jesse has this one. Pressure applied again Frederick by Frederick, basketball. causing turnover. Zayla Jesse wanting a foul, but she just dribbled it and lost control of it, and it went out of bounds. That one's in to Ashley McClung. She's trying to find her way to the bucket again. Gets it to Danny McClung. That shot doesn't go. That'll be the end of the first quarter. Lady Bombers from Frederick leading 22 to 9 against the Mac JV Lady Highlanders. We'll be right back for the second quarter. You're watching the Short Grass Tournament on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. MacArthur taking possession of this one, going into the second quarter. Man gets it over to Washington. Back to Man with that pass for Vaughn as it goes out of bounds. Wilman inbounding for the Lady Bombers. Danny McClung now with it. Going to get a foul on number 31. Kyla Washington is now that's her second. That was on McArthur, number 13, Zayla Jesse. Her second. Excuse me. Call that on 13. Zayla Jesse. Now her second. Great look by McClung. To McClung. <laughs> Ashley McClung gets two more. That one thrown out of bounds. The bigger, the bigger of the two McClungs, Danny outside, hits that little flex cut or backdoor cut underneath to smaller McClung. And she, again, right in there in the trees, puts a, makes a great cut catch and puts it in for two. Hendricks. 
Gets it to Willman, to Rubio. Rubio drives to the bucket, puts it up for two and one. Charge. Oh, they're going to call a charge on that one. Official took a long look at that, long process to think. So it's going to be on Rubio. Her first, second team foul. For Frederick, charge. And that will go down as a turnover as well. So fifth turnover for the Lady Bombers. Washington gets that one in the man. Man double teamed. Paisley takes it away. Goes to the bucket. She gets two. McClung gets it to Rubio. Back to Danny McClung. Danny McClung driving to the bucket. Fouled on her way. She'll be going to the line to shoot two. That one would have been on Jesse. Yeah. 31. I, th I thought the last foul would have been on 31 and this last one on 13. But either way, both are going to have two fouls at this point. That is the 17 foul. So now Frederick will be in the bonus the rest of the way. That one doesn't go. Man, Frederick bringing the hustle. Danny McClung for three. Doesn't go, but she gets her own rebound. Tries to get it to Ashley McClung. Goes off the head of Stevenson. <laughs> oh, and then Rubio picks up a foul. Coming up to apply oh, pressure and runs into the ball handler. That's going to be her second, 13 foul. And number 22, Trinity Grant, going to. Check in for MacArthur. As Vaughn has it now. Guarded by Ashley McClung. Out the shoot was Grant. That one didn't go. Down low, Danny McClung. McClung puts it up. Shot doesn't go. Paisley rebounds. Gets it to Grant, gets it to Mann. Mann gets it to Vaughn. Vaughn driving to the bucket, loses that one stolen by Danny McClung. Gets it to Ashley McClung, to Rubio. Ashley McClung with it now. Had a hit look to Hendricks down there. Blocked by Stevenson. So they let that one go. Paisley recovered and got it to Vaughn. Grant with it now. Gets it out to Mann. Vaughn shoots for three. Doesn't go. Rebounded by Stevenson. Mann. Gets it to Vaughn. Stevenson puts it up for two. Doesn't go, rebounded by Rubio. Rubio gets the pass to Kara Hendricks. Karis Hendricks puts in two more. Oh, that one goes out. Checking in number 15, Amory Newton. And number 24, Tenley Mefford. The Newtons. First action this afternoon for the Lady Bombers. McClung to the bucket. And we're going to call a charge. Oh, and Offensive then foul on Frederick, number three, Danny McClung. Her second. So, thought I saw a little shove there. 
between the players. Man. Double team. Throws it out. Frederick, basketball. Ashley McClung with it. Gets it to Wilman. Stolen by Mann. Mann gets that one to Bruton. Finds Rubio. Stevenson shoots for three. Does it go? I'm going to stay here. And we're going to get uh, Ashley McClung on a foul on the rebound. And Carthage going to maintain possession. And they quickly. Stevenson gets that one. Quickly hit her on the inbound. Danny McClung. Have a carry. Carry violation for that one is in. Man gets it to Stevenson. Stevenson finds Bruton. Double dribble called. So that'll be a turnover for Mac. Ashley McClung with it. She finds Newton. Gets it to Danny McClung. Danny McClung swings it to Newton. Ashley McClung, a far three. That one doesn't go. Out of bounds. MacArthur, basketball. Grant passing it in. Gets it to Vaughn. Stolen by Newton. Ashley McClung taking it to the bucket. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by Jesse. Stevenson gets it to Bruton. Going the other way. Danny McClung comes away with a rebound. Danny McClung gets it to Newton. Down low. Oh, shot. Doesn't go for Wilman, but McClung going to the line to shoot, too. She got fouled on that rebound by Zayla Jesse. And they're in the bonus, so they will get to shoot. One on one. And that'll be the third one on Zayla Jess. <laughs> Paisley going to return in for the Lady Highlanders and also Shania Mack checking in for seeing her first action here this afternoon for the Lady Highlanders. McClung doesn't get that one. Vaughn, driving it, gets it in the corner. No shot for Shania Mack. Down low, Meffer puts it up. Doesn't go. Jesse rebounds. Gets it to Mack. That one's stolen by McClung. Ashley McClung finds Danny McClung outside for three. That one doesn't go, but she gets her own rebound, puts it up, fouled on the way, going to the line to shoot two. And they're going to get that was on MacArthur, number 45, Talia Paisley. Her third. That's going to be her third. And two of the major ball handlers and scorers for Lay Highlanders, both having three fouls. And Jesse and Paisley now. Dane McClung makes that one. Reese Vaughn 
Ball comes loose. Danny McClung comes away with the steal. Finds Ashley McClung. Puts it down and up and in for two. Mack driving to the bucket. Doesn't get it. Rebounded by Newton. Ashley McClung gets it to Mefford. Spin move. No shot. Rebounded by Jesse. Mack down the court. Lone player loses the ball. That one out of bounds. Lady Bombers will take control. Number two, Ellie Aid. And Luke Hendricks, who was out, taking a breather, back in for the Lady Bombers. Aid shoots for three. Doesn't go. Rebounded by Paisley. 45 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Reese Vaughn gets it to Paisley. Down low is Bruton. Bruton puts it up and in for two. Jordan Bruton. Down low. Knocked out of bounds by Mack. Lady Bombers will keep the ball here. Hendricks passes it in. Shot is up. And a good one by Amory Newton. Jesse with it, guarded by Danny McClung. As that one goes, guarded by Mefford now. At the end of the half, Lady Bombers lead 31 to 15. No Frederick, Lady Bombers, 31. We'll be back for the third quarter. You're watching the Shortgrass Tournament on the Oklahoma Sports Network. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. The new season just dropped. Enter the Big Dinner Box from Pizza Hut. Two pizzas, breadsticks, and wings all in one box. You'll run out of episodes before you run out of food. The Big Dinner Box, only from Pizza Hut. No one out beats the hut. Pizza Hut stuffed crust is the crust that made crust good. Topped and stuffed with over a half pound of cheese. What are you so afraid of? Loving it? Original stuffed crust, only from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. When I'm flying, I put my helmet on, my visor down, my mask up. You don't know who I am. Whether I'm African American, Asian American, Hispanic, white, male or female, you just know I'm an American airman kicking your butt. I'm General C.Q. Brown, Jr. Come join us. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Bridges. And I'm Dr. Nathan Buckner. Did you know our dental practice is one of only 6% of practices in the United States that provide care from an all-digital platform? We fabricate crowns, bridges, and place implants with advanced digital technology. If you want to be part of this digital revolution in dental care, call us today at 248-6700 or visit our website at bridgesandbucknerdentistry.com. 
and we look forward to providing you with exceptional dental care. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is close than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. Take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma, but mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattlemen's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family.
Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Shout out to Frederick Subway. 800 South Main, Frederick Pharmacy, Morning Star Construction Company, LLC, and First Baptist Church, Frederick, connecting church, home, and community. Frederick comes away with the steal. Danny McClung going up for the shot, gets two. Driving to the bucket, gets to Paisley. Paisley making her way to the bucket, doesn't go. Rebounded by Rubio, gets to Ashley McClung. Ashley McClung walking her way down the court, puts it up, doesn't go, comes off, but ball loose, man. Did you say walking? Looks like she was sprinting. Man. I mean, she, <laughs> hey, she's marching down the court, coach. That's some big steps, you know? <laughs> That fast break. Danny McClung in the corner for three. Doesn't go. Hendricks gets a rebound. And stolen by Tinley Mefford. She finds Ashley McClung. Ashley McClung puts it up. Doesn't go off the backboard. Man bringing the ball down court for Matt. Stolen by Ashley McClung. Gets it into Danny McClung. Danny McClung makes a move, tries to get to the bucket, fouled on her way. That's going to be her fourth, Zayla Jesse, for the Lady Highlanders. First team foul of the second half. So, we're, of course, it looks like they're going to make some substitutions. Danny McClung doesn't get that one. After watching those games last night and this morning already, it seems like a, somebody's got a little clicker over there. They're just making sure that the rim on most of these free throws, <laughs> wouldn't you say? The yeah. rims, it's yeah. the, they're going to, they're open and closed, open and closed, open and closed, making sure that that. Coaches have plenty of frustration about the missed free throws. And that one gets rebounded by man. Danny McClung knocks it away. Puts it up, gets two. Reese Vaughn. Vaughn. Gets it to Washington. Stevenson. Washington with it again. Steps out. You're going to have a foul, I think. Oh. Basketball. Yeah. A little confusion. We didn't know if there was a foul or she stepped out. I think Jordan saw it in correct the first time. Oof. Tried to get the needle threader pass there. Vaughn tries to do the same. Saved by Ashley McClung. She's pushed out of bounds. Get that ball to Danny McClung. Rubio with it now. Finds Danny McClung down low. She's going to try and get it to Hendricks, but she finds Mefford. Mefford doesn't get that one. Mefford with another chance. Spins, puts it up. In for two. Mefford said she's going to capitalize on that one. First time she was wide open, 
Next time she had three girls on her, and then that the last time she put it up over two. So. Mm. Deflected. Ashley McClung. Danny McClung with it. Saves it. Gets it in to Rubio. I mean, wow. What a save. Stolen. They're going to call timeout, Frederick. We'll take a timeout with them. You're watching the short grass tournament here at Cletus B Street Fieldhouse on the Oklahoma Sports Network. For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. Shotgun pass by Hendricks into uh, try to get it into Danny Plung and off her hands face and out of bounds. Defense working hard from Frederick. Man with it shoots it. Fouled by Ashley McClung. Yeah, I think. I think she may have got a little little piece of the arm and much to the argument of the Frederick fans. And she's going to get an opportunity, Manuel, to get three free throws because that was a three-point shot. Doesn't go. I call a lane violation. No, that was just the second. She did three shot, so they jumped in a little, a little too quick. Gets one more on this. Uh, now it's live. That one goes out. Frederick basketball. Thirty-seven, fifteen. Your score, three fifty, left in this third quarter. Frederick gets that one back. Meffert recovers. We're gonna have a backcourt violation. Frederick, even though may have hit off the leg of the MacArthur. Official says it's backcourt. Got no argument from Coach Collins, so it will be a MacArthur ball. Passing in, gets it to Stevenson. Stevenson finds, tries to get it down there to Washington, stolen by Danny McClung. She finds Danny McClung, who's been all over the floor the second half, hustling. MacArthur basketball. And she tried to get down the sideline and found that there was a, a sideline line. Just the 11th turnover for the Lady Bombers. Oh. Number 22, Trinity Grant. Trinity Grant. That one went for Grant. Makes it 17-37. Meffert. Oh. Yeah. McClung tried to get it to McClung as it went off of the fingertips.
Vaughn. Working to get across half court. Stripped. And she makes it across half court. Going all the way to the bucket. Ooh. Miss Vaughn. What a move. <laughs> that little Euro there. Rubio gets it to Ashley McClung. Finds Mefford down low. Mefford gets two off the backboard. Great pass by Clunch Lloyd. Wait for all that traffic to clear. And there's Medford right in the middle. Cross court pass. Boom. Lay up on the back side. Reese Vaughn gets it to Grant. Rubio and man, hard fought battle for that one. Jump ball, possession gonna be. Possession, Frederick. To Frederick. Uh, Talia Paisley's gonna check back in. For the Lady Highlanders. Mefford. Rubio with the shot. Doesn't go. Rebounded by Hendrick. Jump, jump ball. ball. And that's going to go. Jump ball. Possession McCarthy. That one's stolen by Danny McClung. She goes to the bucket. Off the backboard to Ashley McClung. Ashley, Ashley McClung. McClung gets two. Danny McClung comes out with another steal. Takes it, puts it up off the backboard again. We're going to have a timeout, but first a foul. I think they're going to get 22. Trinity Grant for the foul. Foul is on McCarthy, number 22, Trinity Grant. Her and then, first. And I think. 30 second timeout, McCarthy. And then McCarthy wants to talk about things. So. We'll take a timeout with them. You're watching the Short Grass Tournament on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Rubio driving to the bucket with that. Ouch. That, that could be, it could be a problem because Drove and it's gonna be a charge, or not charge, but a blocking foul on Trinity Grant. And she hit her head pretty hard on the floor, so. I think. That was on McCarthy, number 22, Trinity Grant. Her second. For precautionary reasons. Good job by the coach there. We're going to take you off the floor. That's what you're supposed to do. So. Checking in, it's going to be man. Ashley McClellan gets that one. Gets it to Wilman. Rebounded by Hendricks. Ashley McClellan shoots a long three, doesn't go. Rebounded by Paisley. 
Washington brings it down the court for Mack. 110 remaining in third quarter. As Ashley McClung's bringing that one down. Finds Rubio. Gets it down to Hendricks. Foul going to be called. Going to be on Stevenson. Trying to reach over the top on that post-entry pass into Hendricks. That was on MacArthur, number three, Lennox Stevenson. Just a fourth First foul. They had opportunity to throw it in. Fifty six point nine remaining third quarter. Gets it down low to Newton. Just going to the bucket to shoot two. Foul is on MacArthur, number thirty one. Kyla Washington. Her third. First one doesn't go. Newton shooting her second. That one does. Vaughn with it. Stolen by Rubio. Gets it to McClung. Ashley McClung down low. Finds Wilman. And Wilman makes that one. Man, guarded by Ashley McClung. Gets it to Paisley, puts it up. Should be going to the line to shoot two with 19.4 remaining in the third quarter. Paisley makes that one. Ashley McClung gets it to Hendricks. Back to Ashley McClung. Rubio puts it down to Hendricks. Hendricks puts it up. That one doesn't go. Two seconds. And that'll be the third quarter. We'll be back shortly for the fourth quarter of action. Frederick Lady Bombers leading 44 to 20 versus Lot Mac JV Lady Highlanders. We'll be back shortly. You're watching the Short Grass Tournament on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Fourth quarter. As that one is still inbounds. We did not go out by any Taylor Willman. 
Wilman gets it to McClung. McClung puts up a shot, makes it. Ashley McClung. Was that just a two? That was. That one goes. And a jump ball called. Jump ball. Possession, McCarthy. Checking in is Jordan Bruton. As Vaughn brings that one down for Mac. Vaughn puts it up, doesn't go. Rebounded by Wilman. McClung. Set to Rubio. And that one goes in for Taylor Wilman. You'll have four all here in the second half. Shot rebounded by Ashley McClung. She gets it to Hendricks. Rubio. McClung at the top of the key. Makes a move to the bucket, puts it up. That one goes high, but Wilman comes in that and was gets a pass. it. pass. We're going to call that a pass. Off the board. High glass. She went up against a higher defender or a taller defender. She threw it over there. It looked like a pretty good pass to the backside. But That's for sure. Wellman was there. Just pick up. Pick up the trash, rebound, and put back. Shot for three doesn't go. Rebounded by McClung. McClung finds Rubio. Gets it to Hendricks. Hendricks puts it in for two. Rebounded by Wilman. Wilman gets two more. She has eight. All here in the second half. Six in the fourth quarter. Finding her way to rebounds. Man. Vaughn finds Washington. Shot from Stevenson. Fouled in the in the act of shooting. Foul on Ashley McClung. Be her. I've got her for three. And they've got her for two. Zayla <laughs> Jesse checking back in. She's had to sit for quite a while and do the foul foul issues. Stevenson gets that one. Number two, Ellie Aide going to check in, and also number 24, Tinley Mefford. Back in for the Lady Bombers. Ashley McClung going to take a rest. Also, Karis Hendricks earned some much needed. Rest. 449 remaining in this one. Seth's knocked out by Rubio. MacArthur basketball. Rubio tries to get a steal. Man throws that one way over. Frederick basketball. As Rubio brings that one across half court, she gets it to A. Finds Newton, gets to Wilman, finds Rubio. Rubio puts it up for three. That three comes off, but she gets the rebound as it comes off of a player's head. 
Rebounded by Paisley. Ball tipped. Washington. Gets it to Jesse. Gets down to Paisley. Paisley puts it off the backboard. That one doesn't go. Bounces off the rim. Down low is Mefford. Mefford puts it up for two. Doesn't get it. But great hustle by Rubio to come back away with that one. Foul's going to be on, on Jordan Bruton, number 23, her first 16th foul. Rubio's one of those just a scrappy player, never going to give up on any play, regardless of what time it is during the game. She's always on playing defense, even on offense. <coughs> Long rebound there. She ch chased down and got another possession for her team. That block by Paisley. Spin move by Meffert, puts it up, doesn't get it, but gets her own rebound, fouled on her way up for the second chance shots. They're going to call that on Zayla Jesse, and that's going to be her fifth. So she was trying to talk the official out of maybe calling that on somebody else. I think he, she, he, she was smiling and uh, talking with the official the whole time all the way over there. And uh, so I pr we appreciate the MacArthur JV girls coming over and filling a spot. And, and That one goes for Mefford. And they've came over and played hard, have done the best that they can do. And... And they've done it with a smile on their face. They've worked hard and, and improved the last three days. So they have nothing to hang their head about. Jump ball. Jump ball. Possession, Frederick. Mm. <laughs> it's Frederick. Frederick players were all on the other side of the court already <laughs> in defense mode as they have possession. Meffert, spin move, finds Rubio down low. Going to stay here. Frederick, basketball. Going to stay here. Frederick basketball. Throws it to Rubio. Rubio tries to get it to Meffert. Meffert going up. Puts it up. Doesn't get two, but she'll go to line to shoot two. <laughs> Her last last few possessions, when she's got it, she is looks determined to get in there and make a move and try to score. So. Being very aggressive on the offensive side. As that foul on Kyla Washington is her fourth. Gets that one. Ten lane effort. That'll give her eight and a chance for nine points on the afternoon. She gets that one too. Two thirty remaining in this fourth quarter. And great drive there by Vaughn. Trying to get to the bucket. Mefford. Gets it to Rubio. Rubio drives to the bucket. Gets her own rebound. Fouled. Going up. Fouls on MacArthur, number 45. Tobias Paisley. Her fourth. 
Kaliah Paisley picks up the foul, be the ninth team foul as Rubio goes back to the line. Rubio shoots that one. She has six points so far here in the ball game. Chance to make seven here. May not be a lot of points, but she has a lot of other things on the stat book as steals and deflections and rebounds and hustle plays, stuff that maybe not make the, score, the scores book, but uh, she is for three days has just given her all out here on the floor. Stolen by Wilman, gets it to Rubio. A minute 45 remaining. Finds Newton. Back out to Mefford. Aid. Oh, they're going to call foul. 31. That's going to be on 31. It's her fifth. Tenth team foul. So there'll be two shots regardless. Good three days for Kyla Washington as well. She's had to come in and play a variety of roles. Post player, defender, ball handler at times. She's hit a couple threes. A few basket, baskets. So she's put in a good tournament as well. Shot goes up, comes off for Mefford. Minute 25 remaining. Foul is on Frederick, number two, Ellie Audi. Her first. Ellie Audi. <laughs> Good move by Talia Paisley to draw, draw a foul, get down in the paint. Draws foul on Tinley Medford to be just her first fifth team foul. That one doesn't go for Paisley. Second one does. And finds Rubio for three. Doesn't go, but Wilman comes out with it. Gets Rubio again. Rubio puts it up. Doesn't go. 50 seconds remaining. MacArthur basketball. This man gets this one to Vaughn. Hard play game, coach. Yeah. 56-22. Thank both teams for coming over and participating. Oop. Gonna have another foul down here. Oh. Foul is on MacArthur, number 45. Going to get 45. Talia Paisley, and that's going to be the third player for MacArthur to foul out. She had a good tournament as well. She's going to finish up with four points this afternoon. I know she had almost, I think she had double digits the first game we covered them the first day, and then I think yesterday she had six or seven. So she, she's done really well and probably hit the shot of the tournament as she had that turnaround sky hook right <laughs> game and I talked to her about it she said she's been working on it so she she's got a sky hook the old-fashioned 70s 80s sky hook which is pretty cool to see 
As Mefford shoots her second shot, she goes two for two again this time. Says she stepped out after the rebound. Shot from Mann doesn't go. Rebounded by Rubio. She gets it to Audie. Rubio comes out with it again. And that will end the game. <laughs> Frederick wins 58 to 22. We'll be coming back to you with the next one on the Oklahoma Sports Network. You're watching the Short Grass Tournament. We'll be back. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored. For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. The new season just dropped. Enter the big dinner box from Pizza Hut. Two pizzas, breadsticks, and wings all in one box. You'll run out of episodes before you run out of food. The big dinner box, only from Pizza Hut. No one out beats the hut. Pizza Hut stuffed crust is the crust that made crust good. Topped and stuffed with over a half pound of cheese. What are you so afraid of? Loving it? Original stuffed crust, only from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. When I'm flying, I put my helmet on, my visor down, my mask up. You don't know who I am. 
whether I'm African American, Asian American, Hispanic, white, male or female, you just know I'm an American Airman kicking your butt. I'm General C.Q. Brown Jr. Come join us. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Bridges. And I'm Dr. Nathan Buckner. Did you know our dental practice is one of only 6% of practices in the United States that provide care from an all-digital platform? We fabricate crowns, bridges, and place implants with advanced digital technology. If you want to be part of this digital revolution in dental care, call us today at 248-6700 or visit our website at bridgesandbucknerdentistry.com. We look forward to providing you with exceptional dental care. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs, both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is close than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. Take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma, but mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattlemen's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs!
different backgrounds with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true Word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you... I got it. Did you get a picture of it too? No. All right, I'll send that to you real quick. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. UConn JV going against the Frederick Bombers. And Frederick going to get that one. Turnover. UConn. Evan Tier, number 12. Yukon, move the ball around. Gets it out to Lopez. Down low. Two points for Carter Polson. Shot for three. That one doesn't go. Tier gets it over to Jacob. Caleb Jacob with it. Gets it back to Evan Tier. Gets it to, oh, got it down there to Halverson. And he had stepped just out of bounds. As Kramer tries to get that pass to Tyler. In a shot for three from Polson. Three turnovers already for Frederick Bombers. Swings, shot, doesn't go. Polson saves that one. Lopez comes away with it. Caleb Jacob for three, he gets it. Coach Whittemore at the table announcing names for this one. And fouled on his way is Willie Kramer. As Willie Kramer makes that, makes a free throw. 
Caleb Jacob gets it to Carter Polson. Polson, Caleb. Halverson for three. Knocks it down. And that one from Tyler. Five minutes left in this one as Polson takes that one to the bucket. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by Lopez. Polson gets it to Tier. Tier doesn't get that. Out of bounds. As that's Kramer. Hicks with the ball. Stolen by Tier. Tier gets it to Polson. Polson takes it to the bucket, gets two. In the corner, shooting for three. That one doesn't go from Tyler. Kramer takes it to the bucket, doesn't get that one. But Gaten comes out with it. Long swing to Polson. Polson finds Lopez down low. He's going to be fouled on that one by Adrian Gaten. Up and under move. Oh, what are they going to call travel on that one? Never mind. I think so. No foul. And travel. Be turned off. Sheffield. And that shot, Kramer puts it back up, doesn't get it. Kramer gets the rebound, though. Puts it up for two. Going to the line of shoot as he's fouled. Foul's going to be on number 12, Evan Tier. Going to be his first, second team foul. Kramer knocks that one down. Kramer doesn't get the second one, rebounded by Tier. Tier gets it to Jacob. Jacob. Offensive foul. Foul's going to be on Caleb Jacob as he was out of control on that pass. It's going to be his second, 13th foul. Frederick Bomber swinging the ball around. Shot from three. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by a tier. Gets it to Lopez. Lopez finds Polson in the corner. Corner shoots for three. Tier tries to steal that one. Lopez gets the assist on that steal. Carter Polson. Tier swings it to Jacob. Down low, Lopez. Goes up, puts it in for two, but doesn't get it. But Polson gets the second chance points. Polson. Kramer loses that one off his back. Polson already with 11 points here in the first quarter. Ooh, a foul. Foul is going to be on 12. Evan Tier is going to be his second. So now the Millers are going to have two players with two fouls. That one goes. 
I know Willie Kramer had an excellent first game of the tournament, scoring 32 points. And I believe yesterday he was up around the 20 mark. So. Kramer. For three. And he hits it. Kramer. This has a turnover. Kramer comes out with that one. Hicks finds Gaten in the corner at Sheffield. Sheffield hits that one, doesn't get the three. White was out of bounds touching the ball, so it will be over to the Millers. Down low. No, we're going to travel. That'll be the fourth turnover. Both teams, four turnovers apiece. High paced game, so there might be a few of those. Shot from Kramer. Doesn't get it. Rebound, Sheffield. Hicks. Throws that one down to Tyler. Zach Tyler goes up, gets an M1. Foul was on 20. Mike Easley gets that one. others and that shot good from easily Sheffield gets that one down going up Sheffield puts it up for three he gets that Tolson tries to get that one down to Hornberger. Sheffield. Kramer for three, it's off. Southers turns it over. Going to the bucket is Tyler. Tyler makes that one. Makes the one point game. At the end of one quarter, UConn JV leading against Frederick Bombers 19 to 18. We'll be right back for the second quarter. You're watching the Short Grass Tournament on the Oklahoma Sports Network. For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton.
Gets it over to Polson. That one came loose from Halverson. But knocked out. Caleb Jacob with the hustle. Well, early on, Frederick had got out to about four turnovers, and then since then, it's been seven turnovers by the Millers. And uh, allowing Frederick to get right back in it. But both teams, we talked about this high pace, high action, lots of shots. And Willie Kramer slashes and dashes in benefit of two points off the assist from Gate. Down low. Puts it up. That one doesn't go, but he gets a rebound. Gets it out to Polson. Jacob shoots for three. He gets it. And then that's his second three-pointer of the contest. Hit one in the first quarter, now here one in the second. Shot coming from far. Doesn't go. Rebounded by Hornberger. Hornberger gets it to Halverson. Halverson to Polson. Polson to Halverson again. Doesn't go. As Kramer puts that one in to tie the game up for two. 22 piece. Polson gets that one to Halverson. Over to Jacob. Back to Halverson. Polson puts it up for three. That three goes over the backboard. Checking in is Lopez. And Kramer gets that one in. Kramer driving to the bucket. Uh, they're going to say jump ball. Jump Got ball. Possession. It's going to stay here. It's going to stay here on this side as the arrow points in the direction in favor of the Bombers. Tyler, quick shot. Three, and it's good. That one good from Zach Tyler. Jacob gets that one to Polson. Polson finds Lopez. Recovered by Halverson. Halverson gets it to Lopez. Lopez looking to pass. Finds Easley. Easley puts it up and in for two. Hicks with it now for the Bombers. Hicks gets it to Tyler. Tyler gets it down low to Gaten. That one goes out. Last touched by... UConn. Frederick passes this in. Oh. They're going to call a foul. Foul is on Gaten. It's first. Team's first. Lopez gets it to Halverson. Halverson back to Lopez. Lopez gets it to Polson. Polson passes to Jacob. Jacob finds Halverson. Moving the ball around. Frederick playing hard defense. Easily left. Open under the bucket. Gets two. Full timeout for UConn. And as UConn takes the lead, we'll take a full timeout with them. You're watching the Shortgrass Tournament on the Oklahoma Sports Network. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, 
Let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Frederick with possession. 445 remaining in the second quarter. Your score 26 to 25. UConn leading. Kramer with it. Trying to go to the bucket. He does, and he gets two. As easily tries to get that one down to Lopez. Stepped out was Gaten. He's got a little blood or something. Something. Something's going on, so we're going to have a substitution. Zach Peel's going to check in for Frederick. Jacob got that one in. Gaten deflected it. Sheffield shoots for three. That three doesn't go. Foul believing to be called on easily. We're going to get him with the push in the back. That'll be his second. Sixteenth foul. Number 12, Evan Tier, going to come back in. Saw a little action in the first quarter for the Millers. Foul underneath. Foul's going to be on 10. Hector Lopez, his first. But more importantly, the seventh team foul. And now Frederick will be in the bonus with 4.09 remaining here in the first half. That one doesn't go for Gaten. And the second one falls through. It's Lopez gets out of that one, gets it to Halverson. Almost a steal by Gaten as he came out of that lane to try to intercept that cross course pass out here high. And got a lot of Caleb Jacobs on him. So that's going to be Gaten's second foul and just the second team foul for Frederick. Tier gets that one to Halverson, who finds Jacob. Jacob finds Tier under the bucket. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by Peel. Tyler for three, gets another one. His second three of the quarter. Polson driving, puts up a high one on the backboard. He gets it. Hadn't heard from him for the first quarter because he had 11, now he's got 13. Kramer gets it out to Sheffield. Sheffield shoots for three, knocks it down. His second three of the ball. Polson put that one up. Fighting for it. Knocked off the foot. White. Black. Say, oh, yeah. UConn will keep the ball. And kicked on that scrum, I guess, for the ball. And so that'll be a turnover. Six turnover for Frederick. Eight turnovers for the Millers. Jacob gets out to Halverson. Finds Polson. Polson. Gets it to Lopez. On the floor. Here call 15 
Zach Tyler on a reach, trying to come over and help out on the backside defense. Be the third team foul. Gets that one out to Polson. Polson gets it over to Halverson. Halverson to Jacob. Polson driving. Gets oh. a pass down to Tier. Tier fouled on his way up. Got Kramer up in the air on that one. He had no choice. And uh, we're going to get him on that foul. His first, fourth team foul. And Evan Tier on the line for two. Tears first doesn't go. 233 remaining in the second quarter. Tears second shot doesn't fall through. Tear comes away with the steal though. Gets it to Jacob. Frederick gets it right back. Sheffield finds Tyler. Tyler swings it to Kramer. In the corner, Tyler for three. Knocks it down. Third three-pointer of the quarter. Polson gets it to Lopez. Lopez puts it up. Polson comes out with it, finds. Hornberger missed that one. Jump ball. Jump ball. Galverson. I think that's Galverson, number 13. That's yep. what I have on my book. He missed that three. That is correct. Hornberger may get upset. If he, he yeah, may, he might. He, he might. may yeah. shoot better than that. <laughs> like, seriously, dude? That wasn't me. <laughs> Jacob shoots for three. That one doesn't go, but Tier. The jump ball. Comes out with it. The jump ball. Frederick will take possession. <clears throat> Zach Taylor hit that last. Tyler hit that last three. Giving him three in the corner. And he's uh, going to be a leading scorer in the contest now. He's already up to 16 points as Frederick's going to turn the ball over. They now have eight, and UConn has nine. So 37 28, 130 left in the half. Gonna have a timeout. 30 seconds. UConn. UConn takes one. We'll take one with them. You're watching the Short Grass Tournament on the Oklahoma Sports Network. We take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma. But mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattleman's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Second quarter of action. Minute 22 remaining in the second quarter. Halverson gets it out to tier, tier, finds Jacob Polson for three. Hasn't shot one in a while. That one doesn't go, but tier gets a tip in points. Ball 
Did they call a foul on that? I think they called it on Caleb Jacob. Yeah, that's third. So now Willie will be Willie Kramer is going to be shooting. Kramer makes that one. Well, he had six in the first quarter and now seven, 13, and he's going to try to make a run with his teammate for high, high points in the game. Tier comes out with that one. Polson. Sorry, not Polson. That was Southers. He's in now. Southers. Gets it to Halverson. Halverson gets it to Polson. Back to Halverson. Polson. Halverson. Back to Polson. Back to Halverson. Over to Southers. Southers finds Tier. Tier loses that one. Stolen by Peel. Tyler takes it to the bucket. Puts it in for two. Lopez. Finds Tier. Tier shoots for three. Oh, a long three. That one doesn't go. Tyler coming out with it. Tyler taking it to the basket. Puts it in for two more. At the half, Frederick leading 42 to 30 against UConn JV Millers. We'll be back in the second half of action. Coming soon. Good game on our hands. Frederick leading by 12. You're watching the Short Grass Tournament on the Oklahoma Sports Network. We come from different backgrounds with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored. For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. 
and act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. The new season just dropped. Enter the Big Dinner Box from Pizza Hut. Two pizzas, breadsticks, and wings all in one box. You'll run out of episodes before you run out of food. The Big Dinner Box, only from Pizza Hut. No one out beats the hut. Pizza Hut stuffed crust is the crust that made crust good. Topped and stuffed with over a half pound of cheese. What are you so afraid of? Loving it? Original stuffed crust, only from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. When I'm flying, I put my helmet on, my visor down, and my mask up. You don't know who I am. Whether I'm African American, Asian American, Hispanic, white, male or female, you just know I'm an American Airman. In your butt. I'm General C.Q. Brown Jr. Come join us. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Bridges. And I'm Dr. Nathan Buckner. Did you know our dental practice is one of only 6% of practices in the United States that provide care from an all digital platform? We fabricate crowns, bridges, and place implants with advanced digital technology. If you want to be part of this digital revolution in dental care, call us today at 248-6700 or visit our website at bridgesandbugnerdentistry.com. We look forward to providing you with exceptional dental care. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs, both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is close than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. 
Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Short Glass Classic here, Cleese B Street Fieldhouse. On the Cluster Harrington Court. UConn has the ball coming out of halftime. Shot from Halverson there. That one doesn't go. Now Kramer. Bring the ball down for the Bombers. He gets it to Sheffield. Back to Kramer. Kramer making a move. Got it down low. That one didn't go. But for three was Tyler. Tier. Gets it to Jacob. Jacob looking to pass. Puts up a shot. That one falls. Number zero, Caleb. Jacob. Delay the game against UConn. That's a warning. UConn will get a delay a game warning. Hicks brings it down for the Bombers. That was going to be on number 10, Hector Lopez, his second. First team foul. Kramer gets it to Hicks in the corner. Sheffield for three. Three doesn't go. Rebounded by Tier. Tier gets it to Jacob. Jacob crosses across half court. Finds Lopez. Lopez driving to the bucket. Puts it in for two. Stolen. By Polson. Polson finds Tier. Tier drives to the bucket, puts that one in for two. As UConn making their way, digging into this lead. And the score will be 42 to 36 going into this timeout. We'll be right back. You're watching the Shortgrass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. UConn on a run right now. And Frederick says they'll stop that one. As they score two. Lopez puts up a shot, doesn't go. Kramer comes out with it. Spins. Another spin. That one doesn't go. Gets it again, doesn't go again. Loses it. Taken by UConn. Jacob comes out with it. Jacob driving to the bucket. Gets it to Tier. Tier puts it up high off the bucket. But rebounded by Halverson. Halverson finds Jacob. Jacob finds Tier down low. Tier puts it off the backboard and in. We have in Tier for two more. He's got four in the corner, six in the game. Yeah. 
Ball loose. Kick ball. UConn will take possession of this one. Holson finds Halverson. Halverson finds Lopez. A nice dish to tear that's blocked by Kramer. That one goes in for Zach Tyler. And Zach Tyler finished the first half of 20 and add that two. He'll have 22 to be the leading scorer for both teams here in the ballgame. Polson puts up a floater. We get a block. Polson will be going to the line to shoot two. <laughs> Fouls on number 25, Kellen Hicks, his first, first team foul. And bucket was good. Bucket is good, one shot. 15 in the game for Polson. So we got correction. I don't think the bucket was good. It went in. I saw was it? it? Yeah. I saw it go in. Okay. If they're going to say it's a shot, then the bucket went in. I saw it go in. Oh, they're going to give him two. It, it went in. But officials confer, so they're not going to give him the bucket. They're just going to let him shoot two free throws. There may... Coach Clothier saw it go in. I think they should take his word for it. <laughs> All, right. All right, we've got a two shot foul, ladies and gentlemen. Carter Polson shooting two, makes the first one. Now he has 14. They say the bucket doesn't count, but he gets two anyways. Sheffield with it, passes in the corner. Tyler looking to pass. Finds Hicks. Hicks. Ball loose. Lopez comes away with it. Puts it up. That one comes off the rim. Kramer going to the bucket. Gets it down to Gaten. That one sent by Evan Tier. I like the call. Sent. <laughs> oh, yeah. He sent that one for sure. UConn capitalizes on that. So they get two. Gage Galverson. Gage Galverson. What a finish. As Lopez trying to get another one, playing some hard defense. Tier try to get him another block. Lopez pulsing for three. That three goes. Hicks gets it to Sheffield. Screen from Hicks, gets it down to Kramer. That one doesn't go. Kramer puts it up again. Bucket doesn't count. He'll be going to the line to shoot two. Fouls on number 10, Hector Lopez, his third. Be the second team foul of the second half. And Willie Kramer at the line. Kramer's shot falls. He had 13 in the first half, now 14. Second shot doesn't go. Kramer. Oh, 
UConn comes away with that steal. Evan Tier on his way to the bucket, puts it in for two. Full, Tier was in full stride. Once he's seen contact with the ball, he's on his way to the bucket. Hicks trying to make it to the bucket, and that one called for a double dribble. <clears throat> Eight turnovers in the first half for Frederick and three already now, so they're up to 11 on their total. And 11 turnovers on the game for Millers, but yet to have make a turnover here in the second half. It's Halverson will bring it down. He'll get it to Jacob. Jacob swings to the corner. That one's blocked. Dayton. Gets it down to Tyler. Tyler puts it up high off the bucket. He's going to get two. Halverson gets it to Tier. Down to Polson. Swings it out to Jacob. Jacob puts it up for three. That three doesn't go. Ball loose. Looked like it went out of bounds from this angle. That time it definitely does. UConn ball. Both teams trade a turnover. <laughs> we're going to have some pushing and shoving, and they're going to get number 11, Adrian Guyton, his third. Gayton. Gayton, sorry. I'm right here, Coach. I know. Adrian, <laughs> Adrian Gayton was his third, second foul on Frederick here in the second half. As they get that one into Halverson. Gets it to Polson. Back to Halverson. Halverson finds Tier. Tier looking to make a move. Ball comes loose. Oh. Tier keeps possession of it. Would that be a kick if he grabs it with his foot and pulls it back to himself? <laughs> I mean, I thought that's what I saw, but I wasn't sure, you know. Pretty good move by Evan Tier. Now yeah. a timeout by the Millers. We'll take a timeout with him. You're watching the short grass. Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma, but mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattleman's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! <laughs> UConn takes the ball out. Jacob has it. 120 remaining in the third quarter. Finds Polson. Jacob to Halverson. Halverson gets it to Lopez. Way recovered there. Back to Halverson for three. That three doesn't go, but Lopez comes down with it. Foul before then. We got two white, and that is Zach Peel who just checked in. And he's going to get his first, just the third team foul. Also, number four, Tyler Wood is seeing his first action in today's contest for the Frederick Bombers. Halverson finds Tier. Tier calls for a travel. Closely fought ball game, 49-47 with just under a minute left in the third quarter. That looked like a carry. Sheffield finds Tyler. Tyler puts it up. 
That one goes in. Tyler is getting all in his basketball field today. He's got 26 points. Halverson gets it to Tier. Tier back to Halverson. Gets it to Jacob. Jacob finds Tier. Tier makes a move. Gets it out to Lopez. Lopez back to Jacob. Jacob puts it up. Fouled on his way. He'll be going to the line to shoot two. We're get number four, Tyler Wood, who just checked in for his first fourth team foul. It's Caleb Jacob to the line for the Millers. That one good for Jacob. That second one goes for Jacob. Peel. Kramer trying to make his way to the bucket. Call for charge. Evan Tears held his ground there. Kramer came in, tried to jump stop. Got a little too much of the defender there. He's going to get a charge, his second foul. Fifth team foul. 7.2 left. <laughs> After three, Frederick Bombers lead 51 49 over the UConn Millers. Hey, energizing and ecstatic fourth quarter coming to you. We'll be right back. You're watching the Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number. You're part of the family. Pass by Kramer to hit Gaten on the back side, but <clears throat> trying to shuffle, draw a foul and shoot. He moved them feet. As we were in that break, Coach Clothier talking about uh, the points from each team. UConn had, uh, what was it, in that third quarter? 19. 19 and 9. Gets Frederick in the third. Both teams have gone on runs. I know Frederick had a 24 to 11 run in the second against the Millers. So who's going to come out here in the fourth and make the big run? Halverson gets it to Jacob. Polson down the tier. Gets it back to Halverson. Finds Jacob. Halverson shoots for three. Doesn't go. Lopez puts it up and in for an M1. Did you see that one go in? I did. I saw that one, Coach. I did. I'm looking at the replay at it, too, right here. Got it. Hector Lopez. Lopez doesn't convert. Kramer brings it down. 
That one stolen by Halverson, finds Lopez. Tier down low, puts it off the backboard and in for two. Kramer. This is the first time that UConn had taken the lead since the first quarter. Sometime in the second quarter. Tier down low, puts up the shot. Halverson rebounds, puts it up and in. Kramer tried to get that one in to Gaten. It's knocked out by Lopez. Peel. Mm, hits the backboard. And the back of the backboard is out of bounds. So that's going to go back to the Millers. Seven turnovers here in the second half. 15 on the game for Frederick. Oh, and he's going to take too many. Just a third turnover here in the second half for the Millers. And I want to, just like I have every game, you tie those runs, peaks and valleys in these games, often tied to those turnovers, giving other teams opportunities. Frederick had that big 12-point lead and hit the turnover train, and now the Millers have eaten into that lead. And here goes another one. Here comes Polson, full speed to the bucket. Doesn't get it, but Tier, man. Keep seeing Tier come in for those second chance points out of nowhere. We're going to have a block down here as Kramer makes a spin move, and that's going to be on Hector Lopez, his fourth. And that last bucket by Tier gives him a 12 on the game and 10 in the second half alone. Kramer shooting his first, goes. Second shot now coming from Kramer. It's good, two for two to the line. Halverson gets it to Jacob. Jacob gets trapped, gets it to Lopez. Lopez looks down low to Tier. Tier finds Jacob. That one's stolen by Tyler. Tyler tried to get it to Sheffield. Last touch by Sheffield. The officials talk it over and confirm the story. <laughs> Going to be the ninth turnover. Jacob gets it to Halverson, finds Lopez. Lopez drives to the bucket, doesn't get that one. Ball comes loose. Diving in for the 50-50 ball was Jacob and Peel. It's going to stay here on the Millers. Get a steal. Frederick does. Four turnover for the Millers, but they go down and travel with it. Going to be the tenth turnover for them in the second half. As Jacob gets it to Halverson. Halverson looks to Tier. Tier gets it to Jacob. Halverson holds it. Gets it to Jacob, back to Halverson. Finds Tier. Down low was Polson. Polson misses that one. No, well, that and he foul. fouls. A little, maybe a little frustration foul. Carter Polson who <clears throat> missed that layup and then a little frustration grabs at the Zach Peels, he tried to run away with the ball. 
Carter. Kramer gets it over to Peel. Peel gets it down low. That one comes off. Now, and they're going to get a foul on number one, Willie Kramer. Foul on I'm correct. That foul on 24. No, nah, it was on. It, now they got it in there. It was on Willie Kramer. Oh, I was going to say it was. That's 24 isn't in the game. They don't even have a 24 on their right. team. So. <laughs> so Hector Lopez makes that free throw. <clears throat> Extends the lead at 58-55 with just under four minutes. And has one more shot to extend it some more. And that one doesn't go for Kramer. Oh, that one does. Attach a foul with it. <laughs> Going to be on Caleb Jacob. That's going to be his fourth, fifth, or sixteenth foul. Yeah. Lopez gets it to Halverson. Halverson finds Polson. They're going to call that on Zach Taylor. He's going to get a low ride time as he was attached to Polson's hip. Down there in the corner. Going to the Polson doesn't make that one. It is tipped and it goes out. Jacob gets it into Halverson. Back to Jacob. Making moves. Gets it to Tier. Tier. To Jacob. Finds Halverson. Back to Tier. They're going to try to eat some of this clock. Force Frederick maybe to foul him. Trying to hang on to this one point lead. Jacob. To Halverson. To Jacob. Tier. Jacob. Halverson. To Lopez. Inverted whistle. Side out, time out. 30 second timeout, charge to you. All he has is full, so it'll be a full timeout. We'll take a full with him. You're watching the Short Glass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored.
Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Foul going to be called there on Tyler. Zach Tyler. We're going to get him a push in the back, which you uh, could say that was true, or maybe he just tripped trying to run to the corner. But uh, it's going to be his third, ninth team foul. And we have Gage Galverson shooting a one on one. Bounty rebounded by Sheffield. Sheffield gets it to Kramer. Kramer shoots, gets two. Polson driving to the bucket. That one comes off. And we're going to get a foul on Gage Calverson. Just his first. And then uh, Coach McClung over here at Frederick is going to call a timeout. 30 seconds. We'll take one with him. You're watching the Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. The Oklahoma Sports Network, four quarter of action. Two minutes remaining in this one. Close ball game, one point. Ooh, nearly a travel there. His coach, Cluster Harrington himself, is in the house. I believe he's been here all three days, but Coach Whittemore, new coach for Altus, giving him honors and announcing him to the public that he's here and crowd giving him a round of applause. Pretty special moment. Kramer loses that one. Kramer driving to the bucket. Gets it out to Tyler. To Hicks. Hicks. With it again. Oh. Stolen by Lopez. We have a turnover. Oh. Uh, got there. That's what you want to try to avoid, those little trap boxes. Uh, Hicks. Got stuck over there where one defender can guard three guys. <clears throat> he couldn't get the pass off, turns it over, and then ended up picking up the foul. So that's going to be his second, tenth team foul. So Hector Lopez has a chance to even tie and even put the Millers ahead. Lopez misses that one. Hector Lopez shooting his second shot. That one goes in. Tied up. It's Kramer gets to the bucket. Jacob, one minute remaining in this one. Lopez. And we have a turnover down here, and then the foul. 
Going to be that one on Evan Tier. Going to be his third, and that's going to put the Bombers on the line, one and one. They're not going to take a chance and get a foul down here. We'll leave him down here by himself. As Taylor Sheffield has an opportunity to extend the lead. Doesn't make it. Evan Tier comes out with the rebound. And a steal from Evan Tier and Halverson. Tier slows it down, gets it to Halverson, who finds Jacob. Jacob gets it to Lopez. Back to Jacob. Back to Lopez now. 15 seconds. You got a timeout. Timeout, Yukon. Timeout, Yukon. Going to be a full timeout because that's all you guys left. 13.1, coach. Two point ball game. UConn needs a two to tie it up or a three point shot to win the game or be in the lead. I've been in a situation like this before, coaching, and I've even fouled with like 20 seconds left with the lead, hoping that they would miss or even if they make to give myself the opportunity to have the last second shot. I wanted the ball in my, my team's hands at the end, not the other team controlling our fate. And I know the coaches do other things, but they're going to rely on their defense because they just got a turnover just a few seconds ago. And uh, so both teams <clears throat> playing excellent defense down the stretch, causing havoc and disrupting whatever last-minute plans both teams have. So. Got a good one here, 62-60, 13.1. Frederick on the high side, and Yukon Miller's ball will be on the sideline inbounds. Three, a three could win it, a two-pointer could tie. You could have a foul and free throws, turnover, and a dribble out of the time. You, never, you just don't know what's going to happen. So all kinds of stuff could happen, even in the small amount of 13 seconds. That's for sure. As UConn takes it out on the sideline. Tier gets it into Jacob. Sorry, that was Halverson. Down to Polson. Oh, and man. Oh, just a chaotic inning with what a lot of a finish. Potential steals, scrambles, block shots, shots. And the ball bounces the Frederick Bombers' way as they pull out the 62-60 win. I'm telling you. A fantastic consolation championship game between the Frederick Bombers and the UConn uh, JV Millers. Nothing, neither team needs to hang their head as uh, the Millers gave all they had for three games, came over here, did really well versus varsity competition. You know, they're, they're a JV unit, but they're also 6A level, and they play at an extremely high level, pushing several teams to their limits, and they did win a game in this tournament. And then the Frederick Bombers coming over and winning two games, being just, just down the road. Got to be proud of their effort. Thank you to their sponsors for uh, sponsoring and, and getting them on OSN, so we're allowed to broadcast them. Just, yeah, Jordan, you can give them a quick shout out here in a minute. But Constellation Championship winners this year on the boys' side of the, cluster, the 50th annual Cluster Harrington Short Grass Classic is going to go to the Frederick Bombers. A shout out to our Frederick sponsors Subway. Frederick Pharmacy, First Baptist Church Frederick, and Morning Star Construction Company, LLC. Next game coming up, the Alts' Lady Bulldogs will be taking on the Elk City Elkettes. We'll be back shortly for that one. You're watching the Short Grass Tournament Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. 
Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles, from flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is closer than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. We take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma, but mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattleman's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored.
For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. The new season just dropped. Enter the big dinner box from Pizza Hut. Two pizzas, breadsticks, and wings all in one box. You'll run out of episodes before you run out of food. The big dinner box, only from Pizza Hut. No one out beats the hut. Pizza Hut stuffed crust is the crust that made crust good. Topped and stuffed with over a half pound of cheese. What are you so afraid of? Loving it? Original stuffed crust, only from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. When I'm flying, I put my helmet on, my visor down, my mask up. You don't know who I am. Whether I'm African American, Asian American, Hispanic, white, male or female, you just know I'm an American airman kicking your butt. I'm General C.Q. Brown, Jr. Come join us. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Bridges. And I'm Dr. Nathan Buckner. Did you know our dental practice is one of only 6% of practices in the United States that provide care from an all-digital platform? We fabricate crowns, bridges, and place implants with advanced digital technology. If you want to be part of this digital revolution in dental care, call us today at 248-6700 or visit our website at bridgesandbucknerdentistry.com. We look forward to providing you with exceptional dental care. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles, from flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job, clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. 
the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Your Altus Lady Bulldogs getting ready to take on the Elk City Elkettes. This will be in the third place game for the 50th annual Cluster Harrington Altus Bulldogs short, short grass classic on the girls' side of the tournament. Uh, some history here between the Lady Bulldogs and the Elkettes as we often play them and home and away matches during the year. So we're very, very familiar with each other. Both teams have won one game and lost one, one game. So both teams trying to get that second win here in the tournament as we start off action. Lady Bulldog's going to get the tip. Danny Davis is going to set things up over to Whitaker. To Davis. Going to have a reset. And the North Fleet at the high post. Over the right wing to Whitaker. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Blackford. She gets it out to Hayes, who resets it with Davis. Back to Hayes on the wing. Elk City, good hands, going to deflect that and get a turnover. And quickly down the floor to the streaking Kaylin Burton as she goes up for two and scores for Elk City. And Dane Davis is going to bring the ball down. Call the offense out. Gets it to Whitaker high on the right wing. Back to Davis. To Hayes on the left wing. Entry pass to Blackford at the top of the key. To Whitaker on the right wing. Back to Davis at the top. Norfleet at the high post. Into Blackford at the low post. He tries a shot and it's blocked. Oak City comes away with it. Bowie. That's Bowie. Bowie had a brother that played on the Elks team. We'll see him later on tonight versus the Altus Bulldogs, Bulldogs in the finals. Oh, great pass by number 20, Campbell Rainey. Into number 20, Campbell. Oh, 20 is the recipient. Rainey. So Rainey to Rainey? I don't know who's that. It was 30, actually. Hit her on the Brown. Pass. Brown hits Abby Rainey. Brown. Brown or Rainey? Brown hit Rainey. So either way. We have a steal up steal top. Burton. Burton puts that one up, doesn't go. Rebounded by Whitaker. Whitaker gets it to Davis. Davis bringing the ball down the court. Gets it to Hayes. Hayes driving to the bucket, spins. Gets it out to Davis. Davis finds Hayes. Hayes dribbles, goes out. It would be Elkett's possession. Well, so far, Lady Bulldogs haven't got any rhythm on offense, and they've had the ball four times or five times. And with four turnovers, only to show for it. Kimball with it. Brown. Brown gets it out to Rainey. Sorry, that was Bowie. She gets to the middle of the lane and tried to jump stop, and one foot slipped out, so she's going to travel. First turnover for the Elkettes. Davis bringing the ball out for the Bulldogs. She gets it to Norfleet. Norfleet gets it back to her. Davis will get it over to Norfleet. Norfleet gets it to Blackford. Blackford staying on that pivot foot gets it to Whitaker. Whitaker dribbling out of pressure. Gets it to Davis. Davis to Hayes. Hayes double teamed in the corner. Makes a move out of it. Puts it up for two. Doesn't get it, but coming down with it was Rainey. Brown drives to the bucket and gets two more. Extended 2-3 zone by the Elkettes. Norfleet driving to the bucket. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by Bowie. 
Brown taking it to the bucket. That one doesn't go. Norfleet comes out with it. Norfleet driving, driving all the way to the bucket. Great move. That shot doesn't go, but she gets the rebound and a jump ball under the bucket. Possession going to be for Elk City. Can you still hear me? Yep, got you. All right. As Brown gets that one down low, she gets it back, puts it up, doesn't get the shot. Rebounded by Whitaker. Norfleet gets it to Blackford. Back to Davis. Over to Whitaker. Hayes finds Norfleet. They're going to say knocked out by Elk City. Davis tries to get it to Hayes. It's stolen by Brown. Brown gets two more. Timeout. Timeout from Elk City. We'll take a timeout with them. First quarter brought to you by Custom Graphics. You're watching the Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds, or crop insurance. We're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum, or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Whitaker puts a shot up, doesn't get it. Somebody, and somebody's got that remote up there, that lid shut on the on the rim down here. Right. As Norfleet comes out with that rebound, she gets it to Davis, finds Semez. Tamez try to get it to Blackford, saves it in a turnover. That one goes out of bounds. Brown's going to come out with it. Rebounded by Whitaker as that shot doesn't go, and a foul called on number 30, Abby Brown. We might need her to get in foul trouble because she is nothing but a ball of fire for Elk City right now. So, first one on Brown, first team foul as they make some substitutions. Melissa Tamez came in for. Bulldogs giving Macy Hayes a breather. And number, who is that, number 13? 13, Riley Watt, and number, he's that right there in front. 22, Jada Kimble for the Elkettes. Norfleet tries to get that one out there and loses it. Seventh turnover for the Lady Bulldogs. Oh, maybe a travel, nope. Shot coming from Robbins doesn't go. Hard fought there from Danny Davis. Riley Wyatt running down that long rebound. Long shots produce long rebounds. Came off long and Danny Davis, Riley Wyatt running after it. Off of Wyatt. Out this ball. Whitaker gets it to Tamez. 
back to Whitaker. Drag Travel it. called. Drug that back foot. We talked about it in the games before, those turnovers. When you get on that turnover train, sometimes it leads to offensive opportunities for the other team. So right now, eight turnovers already for the Lady Bulldogs. Burton. To Bowie. And that one coming from Riley Wyatt. One minute, 30 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Lady Bulldogs trying to get on the board. As Norfleet goes down, she did get that ball out to Davis. Back to Tamez. Tamez fakes the pass, finds Whitaker from the pass from Davis. Blackford down low, puts it up, and it goes in for two. First two points by Jenna Blackford for the Lady Bulldogs. <laughs> you got to admit, that almost looked like there was a lid on there. Almost did. And a three-pointer. Jada Kimball. Elk Etz playing with speed, and they got some shots going early for them. 45 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Tamez gets it back to Davis to Norfleet. Norfleet puts up a shot for two. That two rolls in. Here we go. They played yesterday versus Mac JV, and they did shoot a lot of threes and make a lot of threes. That's and that shot goes from Haley Bowie. And as you're now, saying, Coach. We're going to have that ball get loose, and they're going to call timeout, and, or officials, and then allow Macy Hayes to check back in for Tamez. 20 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Whitaker gets it down to Norfleet. It's tipped. It's going to be last touch by the Lady Bulldogs. Elk the ball. 4 to 16. Eight seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Burton loses that one. Recovered by Robbins. Shot from Burton for three. Doesn't go at the end of one. Elk City Elkettes lead in 16 to 4 against the Altus Lady Bulldogs. We will be right back in the second quarter. You're watching the Shortgrass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Second quarter of action coming to you. First quarter was brought to you by Custom Graphics. Danny Davis for three. Her first one doesn't go, but she'll get some more and she'll find her rhythm as that one goes for Haley Bowie. 
Her second of the ball game. She's got six. And the lead up to well, they're up to 19 to four. 15 points. Hayes puts up a shot. That floater doesn't go. Rebounded by Bowie. Bowie swings it over to Brown. Brown looking to pass. Gets it to Kimball. Kimball gets it back to Brown who gets it to Bowie. Down low was Wyatt. Shot from Kimball for three. She gets it. Her second. With her six. 22 to four. Hayes. Gets it to Whitaker. Back to Hayes. Down low to Blackford. Stolen by Robbins. Shot is up. Doesn't go. Rebounded by Bowie. Knocked out of bounds by Parrish Norfleet. You don't have a timeout. Coach Turbush Coach wants Turbush. a timeout. We'll take one with them. You're watching the Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. We take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma. But mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattleman's Bank, we proudly say, Go Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Second quarter. Six minutes, 29 seconds remaining. Your score, 22 to four. Elk City Elkett's leading. Gets it into Norfleet. Norfleet finds Davis. Davis tries to get the spin. Doesn't quite get it there. Gets it to Whitaker. Whitaker puts up a shot for three. That three doesn't fall. Rebounded by Norfleet. Norfleet and Blackford were both there. Maeve Shot got, doesn't go. They even got hit by <coughs> Blackford. Norfleet on her shot. Man, Blackford may have gotten in the way on that one. So, the reason why there was no foul call. Old player. <laughs> Another three from Jada Kimball. It'll be her third and her ninth point of the ball game. 25 to four, 21 point lead. Hayes puts up a shot, that one doesn't fall. Last touch by Lady Bulldogs. Elkett's ball. Gets that ball to Bowie. Robbins, Bowie, skips it over to Brown. Brown puts up a three, that three doesn't go. Rebounded by Bowie, Bowie puts a shot up that doesn't go, rebounded by Davis. Deflected out of bounds by the Elkettes, Bulldog basketball. Whitaker gets it to Hayes. Hayes looking to pass, tries to get it to Norfleet. Brown. Danny Davis takes a charge. And they're going to be offensive on Abby Brown, her second. She is the only one who has fouled so far this evening or this afternoon for either team, a second foul. And it wouldn't probably have been a charge if it hadn't dropped her shoulder into Davis and drove her into the ground. Whoa. Whitaker stumbles, gets right back up. Whitaker gets it to Davis. Davis shooting for three, doesn't go. Rebounded by Bowie. 
Bowie gets it out to Brown. Brown. Maddie Whitaker with the block. Great deflection. Check it in for the Elkets, Campbell Rainey. As Rainey goes up, she's fouled. It's going to be on Melissa Tamez, who just checked in. It'll be her first. Rainey at the line shooting two. Her first shot doesn't go. Second shot counts. She has three on the afternoon. As the score is that now, 26-4. Davis gets it to Norfleet, back to Davis. Davis gets it to Whitaker. Whitaker shoots for three, doesn't go. Blackford tried to rebound. Ball goes out of bounds, last touch by the Elkettes. Burton swings it over as ball is tipped he says Burton will take control of it again gets it to Bowie gets it in the corner to Coslo she hits a three pointer count the bucket but they're going to call a foul on somebody 14 um, Haley Bowie on a push on a rebound so Haley Bowie's going to pick up one they're going to get Bowie again just going to get her maybe hand checking or pushing in the back of Jenna Blackford down here going to be her second She's going to go to the bench in favor of number 12, Abby Robbins. Started the game back in the ball game. And the Whitaker. Jump ball going the other way. Yeah, Elk City can shoot the ball. They've got <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six three-pointers already. Four different girls. Swings it over to Burton. Sorry, Kimball. Kimball shoots for three. That one doesn't go. Check it in, Melissa Tamez for the Lady Bulldogs. 3.35 remaining in the second quarter. Hayes gets it to Davis, who swings to Tamez. Tamez gets it back to Davis, gets it over to Hayes. Hayes finds, tries to find Blackford down low. Doesn't get it there. We're going to have a quick sub. Uh, Jasmine Serta. <clears throat> going to see her first action tonight. Number 25 for the Lady Bulldogs. Burton swings it over to Robbins. Robbins. Gets it, tries to get it back to Burton. Deflected by Tamez. Coslow comes out with it, finds Robbins. Burton swings it to Kimball. Kimball puts up another three, doesn't go. Mm. Uh -huh. Norfleet. Yeah, just one of those things. I think uh, Robbins was a little off balance, and Norfleet was right there, and just a tiny bit of body helped push her on over. She's going to get the foul. Her first, second team foul. Coslo stays in bounds, gets it to Burton. Coslo gets it. She tries to get it over to Kimball as it goes back court. And that's going to be a turnover. Just the third turnover for the Elkettes to the 12 by the Lady Bulldogs. We need to cut that down and up Elk City's. 
Make a few shots here. We'll get right back in this. Norfleet fouled on her way to the bucket. She'll be going to the line to shoot two. Stay aggressive. A lot of ball game left. Fifth foul by Oak City. First one by Campbell Rainey, number 20. As Norfleet gets a chance to shoot two. That's right, Coach. Only the second quarter. As Norfleet makes that one. I've seen this team score 30 points in a quarter, so it can happen. That's for sure. Norfleet puts in a second shot. Two for two. Parrish, Norfleet. Burton gets it in the corner to Robbins. Stolen by Davis. Jump ball, possession will be Lady Bulldogs. Four turnover for Elk City. So there's one of those turnovers we were asking for. And just got to capitalize on this and come down here and scratch. Maybe, maybe one, maybe two, maybe even three. Best case scenario. Norfleet making a move, puts a shot up. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by Burton. Burton shoots. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by Rainey. Rainey puts it in for two. Davis tries to get it to Serta. Doesn't go. Elk City wants a timeout. We'll take one with them. You're watching the Short Grass Tournament on the Oklahoma Sports Network. We come from different backgrounds with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Second quarter of action. Kimball has the ball. She gets it to Burton. Burton trapped. That foul, I believe, is going to be called on Norfleet. It's going to be her second. They're trying to up their defensive pressure a little bit. Being a little bit more aggressive. Looks like Altus is kind of in a 1-3-1. No, oh, we're going to have a travel before the push. So, fifth turnover for the Elkettes. As Norfleet brings the ball across half court, she finds Danny Davis, shoots for three. That one looked so nice, Coach. I mean, it had a perfect arc to it going to the bucket. Three-pointer brought to you by the Davis family. Oh. Nice. Robbins tried to go on the baseline, lost a little control of the ball as the bodies were hitting the floor, and the last goes off of Robbins. So that'll be another turnover. 6-1 is Bella Cordes, seeing her first action for the Lady Bulldogs, checks in. Danny Davis shoots another three, and she's two for two. Just like that, positive thoughts. That lead is now six points closer. You just got to keep doing that, keep plugging away, Lady Bulldogs. Oh, we got a push out here on Melissa Tamez. 38 seconds remaining. Her second, just the 14th foul. Uh, trying to be aggressive, second trying to uh, trying to make something happen. Nothing wrong with that. A little hustle. Brown with it. 
Gets it to Kimball. Finds Bowie. Bowie was looking to shoot another one. And we got travel a travel call. From Brown. Woo. Tell you what, I'm feeling the juice. Since somebody's got to bring the juice. Lady Bulldogs are I'll turn it up right here. Maybe end this half on a good note. Norfleet gets it to Davis. Mm. Davis finds Cordes. Cordes puts up a three. Norfleet comes down with the rebound. Norfleet puts it in for two. Kimball, Bowie. Bowie puts up a shot. That shot doesn't go. At the end of one half. Score 31 30, 31 to 14. Elk City Elkheads leading. We'll be back for the second half of action. You're watching the Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored. For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. The new season just dropped. Enter the Big Dinner Box from Pizza Hut. Two pizzas, breadsticks, and wings all in one box. You'll run out of episodes before you run out of food. The Big Dinner Box, only from Pizza Hut. No one out beats the hut. Pizza Hut stuffed crust is the crust that made crust good. Topped and stuffed with over a half pound of cheese. What are you so afraid of? Loving it? Original stuffed crust, only from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. When I'm flying, I put my helmet on, my visor down, my mask up. You don't know who I am. Whether I'm African American, Asian American, Hispanic, white, male or female, you just know I'm an American Airman kicking your butt. I'm General C.Q. Brown, Jr. Come join us. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Bridges. And I'm Dr. Nathan Buckner. Did you know our dental practice is one of only 6% of practices in the United States that provide care from an all-digital platform? We fabricate crowns, bridges, and place implants with advanced digital technology. If you want to be part of this digital revolution in dental care, call us today at 248-6700 or visit our website at bridgesandbucknerdentistry.com. And we look forward to providing you with exceptional dental care. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust. 
to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is close than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. We take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma, but mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattleman's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! <laughs> with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. That shot goes for Abby Robbins. That's 
we're in the third quarter now. Seven twenty to go in this one. Got a steal there by Macy Hayes, and then she got stuck in the corner trying to throw it off of Elcat and ended up turning it back over. Ball over to Burton in the corner. It was Robbins for that one, didn't get it. Shot from Brown doesn't go. Norfleet trying to get it there. Ball loose. Blackford comes out with it. Somebody's gonna have to shoot Blackford it. puts it up. Doesn't go. And Robbins gets it to Brown. Stolen by Norfleet on the pass to Burton. And there's the Brown, pesky Brown coming up from behind to steal it. And the coach from Elk City wants a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. Watching the Alta Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles, from flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs, both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is close than you think. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Third quarter, six minutes to go in this quarter. Elk City Elkett's leading by 20 against the Lady Bulldogs. Shot up from Brown, and that one goes. She had four in the first half, and that gives her seven on the game. Davis gets it to Tamez. Whitaker shoots for three. Doesn't get it. Brown gets it to Robbins. Robbins puts it up for two. That two doesn't go. Brown comes flying in outside Bowie. Bowie takes it. Another three. They hit th six three pointers in the first half, and they started off the second half with three. So now they're up to nine as a team. So quite a few threes by Elk City. Mm. Turnover there by Cordes. Norfolk going to check back in for quarters. Also, Jasmine Serta is going to give Maddie Whitaker a little breather. As Brown brings the ball across half court for the El Kitt, she swings it to Bowie. Bowie finds Rainey. Rainey. Bowie in the corner to find Brown. Brown shoots another three. That will be her second. Now she's up to 10 on the afternoon. Norfleet gets it to Serta. Serta gets it down to Blackford. Blackford swings it out to Davis. Davis shoots for three. That three doesn't go. Good hustle by Serta to get in there and fight for that rebound as it goes off a of buoy and out of bounds. Number 35, Emily Lawrence 
We're going to see some time for Elk City for the first time tonight as number 20, Campbell Rainey, going to get some bench time. Ooh, I thought that went off Elk City, and they're saying off of the Lady Bulldogs, so that's going to be another turnover. Brown has just been pesky. She's all over the place. That's for sure. She brings it across half court, gets it to Bowie. Davis gets to Tamez. Back to Davis. Shoots for three. Ooh. Oh, man. That one almost goes in. Northfleet got the rebound, but couldn't get her feet underneath her. Brown shoots for three again. Doesn't go. It's Davis. Brings it across half court for Lady Bulldogs. Gets it to Norfleet. Norfleet spins around. Puts a shot up for two. That one doesn't go. Rebound it by Lawrence. Shots for Altus have been going in and just rattling out. It's not like they're taking bad shots. They're just not going in. And not quite the case for Elk City as almost everything they put up has gone in. Now we have number 31, Presley Bagwell, and number four, Monique Tamez, getting in for the Lady Bulldogs. We got a block on Brown. Because again, she's all over the place. That'll be her third foul, first foul of the second half. Gets it into Davis. Davis guarded by Burton. Tamez with it. Gets it to Bagwell. Tamez to Tamez. Tried to get it to Serta. Throws it out of bounds. Robbins will be passing in for the Elkettes. Eighth turnover already here in the second half. Outside. Robbins misses that one. Shoots is Bowie. Bowie's three rims in and out. Knocks that one off of Burton's foot. Bagwell, bringing it across half court for the Bulldogs. Gets it to Monique Tamez. Back to Bagwell. Danny Davis to Monique Tamez. Puts it up for three. Knocks it down. <laughs> there you go. Three-pointer brought to you by the Davis family. By Tamez. In the corner, Robbins. Robbins driving. Swings it out. Bowie shoots for three. That three counts. That is her third of this quarter and her fifth three-pointer of the game, giving her 15. Monique Tamez gets to Melissa Tamez to Davis. Danny. We're going to have a jump ball, but it's going to stay here on this side. Elk City going to make some substitutions with Jada Kimball coming back in. She played a little bit in the first half along with number 11, Kiara Koslow, who hit a three-pointer in the second quarter. For Elk City. Entry pass knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay here. And we're going to have number 24 for Elk. Number 24 is Berta Cascon. She is a foreign exchange student from Spain. Playing with Altus. Very aggressive. She's got a big bruise on her knee. She'd like to show everybody how she got that hustle bruise on the <laughs> JV game. Get to see some varsity action tonight. Brown. Comes across half court, gets it to Kimball. In the corner was Coslow, down low, Lawrence. And another three for Jada Kimball. 
that is her fourth of the game. She hit three in the first half, and that one there, she's got 12. Davis gets it to Bagwell. Bagwell back to Davis. Over to Bagwell, she gets it down to Serta. They're going to call 35, and that is Emily Lawrence, her first for a push. Be her first or second team foul for Elk City. As Chevelle Carney coming in. Also, number 11, Aubriana Hernandez for the Bulldogs. Shot from Tamez, doesn't go. Bagwell. Have jump ball, it's gonna go the way of the Elkettes. We're gonna have a substitution, as Elk City's gonna get number 31, Aubrey Pogue in, and also number 15, I believe, that is Addison Cup. Seeing some first action tonight. As in the corner is Coslow. Kimball swings it around. That ball stolen. Cascon with it, brings it down the court. Gets it to Tamez. Tamez gets it to Bagwell. Bagwell loses it. That one taken by Kimball. Ball comes loose, recovered by Carney. Mm. Coslow comes out with that one. Coslow looks down low, puts it in for two. It's Jada Kimball. She'll have 14. Tamez finds Bagwell, gets it back to Tamez. That one doesn't go. Turnover. Lady Bulldogs. Kimball was getting ready to shoot that one. In the corner. That shot didn't go by Addison Cup. Rebounded by Tamez. Is that 31, Coach? You have that one? Elk City. Yeah, I, I called her Aubrey Pogue. At the end of three, Lady Elkett's leading 51 to 17. We'll be back in the fourth quarter. With action, you're watching the Alpha Shortgrass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is closer than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Fourth quarter. 51 to 17. Lady Bulldogs down. Elk City Elkettes leading. Swinging the ball around Elk City. Lady Bulldogs. Playing his own defense. 
ball goes to the corner. Shot from Coslow. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by Carney. Bagwell gets it to Cascone. To Serta. Serta. So that one goes back court from Carney. Checking in for the Elkets. Number 35. Emily Lawrence. Swings it to Coslow. Oak City moving the ball around quick. Good ball movement. Going to the bucket was Lawrence. Bagwell almost had that one. Just running the clock out. Making the Bulldog defense work. Lawrence shoots for three. Doesn't get it. Rebounded by Aubrey Pogue. We're going to have a foul. Well, it's going to be the first on Chevelle Carney. Her first, the first team foul of the second half. First person. Ball is in to Lawrence. Coslow puts up a shot. That one doesn't go. Serta gets it to Bagwell. Bagwell back to Serta. Serta puts up a shot from three. That one doesn't go. Addison Cup throws it down low to Ul Ulrich. Ulrich gets two. Serta to Cascone. Tries to get it down to Bagwell. Ulrich comes out with a steal. Pogue goes up to get two more. Cascone. Ulrich comes out with another steal. And Pogue going to the bucket again. Fouled on her way. Going to be on Cascone, her first, second team foul. Pogue will get to shoot two. Shot goes up. Doesn't go in. Bella Cordes checking in for the Lady Bulldogs. Second shot. Doesn't go. Rebounded by Bella Cordes. Cordes got that one to Hernandez. And it went out of bounds off of her hand. Elkets. Move the ball around quick again. Travel called. Did that ball go in? It did. <laughs> uh, sometimes. <laughs> hey, another turnover for the Lady Bulldogs as Ulrich puts up two. Get her four on the evening. All here in the fourth quarter. Bagwell tries to get that one to Cordes. Doesn't quite make it there. Tamez checks in. Monique Tamez for Cascone. Swings the ball over in the corner for three. Shooting Wiley, Riley Wyatt. She knocks it down.
Serta shoots for three. That one doesn't go. Riley Wyatt comes out with the rebound. She takes it from Tamez. As Cup has it, swings it in the corner. That shot from Lawrence didn't go. Bagwell bringing it down the court, gets it to Serta. Serta finds Tamez to Bagwell, stolen by Ulrich. Cordes gets it back, shoots for three. That three doesn't go. Kiara Coslow checking in for the Elkits. As it showed six, the score was 60. The, the zero button wasn't working for a second <laughs> on the computer. Chevelle Carney going to check back in. Jasmine Serter going to get a much needed rest. 320 left here and the ball goes. Cordes shoots for three. That three doesn't go. As Lawrence steps out of bounds. Bagwell, the inbound. Got it in. Got a jump Didn't ball. Go. Possession in favor of the Elkettes. Ball across half court. Look like a carry there. She gets that one. That was Aubrey Pogue again for the Elkettes. Bagwell gets it to Cordes. Cordes swings it over to Demez and a reach over. Gonna call a push on Cass Ulrich. Just her first. Cordes shoots for three. That one goes through. Three pointer brought to you by the Davis family. Nice shot. Cordes going to be called on that foul. Her first. Just the 13th foul. Cup. Ulrich Coslow shoots for three. Knocks it down. Tamez shoots for three. That one doesn't go. Bagwell's going to get a rebound. Cordes gets it to Bagwell. Bagwell takes a few dribbles, puts up a shot. That shot doesn't make it. It is tipped. <laughs> Hernandez out there. Tries to get it into Tamez as it's stolen by Pogue. Pogue takes it to the bucket. That one doesn't go. As Cup was going up, she was fouled, and she'll be going to the line to shoot two. Foul number three quarters. Three quarters, her second. So that one goes through for Cup. Cordes. Hernandez takes over with that one. Gets it to Bagwell. Bagwell puts up a shot, knocks it down. Cup. <laughs> 
Brings the ball across half court. Finds Lawrence in the corner. Pogue. And another three. Good for Coslo. As Poe goes to the bucket here after that turnover, that make it 71 22. 55 seconds remaining in the quarter. Shot is up, doesn't go. Cup. Brings it down for the Elkettes. Cup with it, 20 seconds. Hard football game by the Lady Bulldogs, Lady in the Elkettes. As the coach sells them no shot, your final score going to be 71 to 22 here in this one. As this game was the one win, one loss game. Third place is going to go to the Lady Elkettes of Elk City. And they earned that victory. Uh, they just came out on fire and never stopped. Uh, everything that the Lady Bulldogs tried just couldn't quench that fire. So uh, <clears throat> they just shot the ball extremely well. And then it just seemed like there was a lid on the rim for us. The shots were just going in and rattling out. But also, too many turnovers, which led to a lot of easy opportunities for Elk City. And then once it got to a point where the lead was really great, uh, the effort kind of went down. But nonetheless, a good showing by both teams. Proud of the Lady Bulldogs. And fine job by the Lady Elkettes. All, all congratulations to them. So now we have the third place boys game going to come up here in just a minute as we have the, the senior Yukon Millers versus the Star Spencer Bobcats. So come back here in about eight minutes and we'll get with you. We'll be back shortly. You're watching the Altus Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is closer than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. 
Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. We take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma, but mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattlemen's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! <laughs> with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored. For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you. 
with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Where we have for this game, this is also the third place game for the boys bracket, correct coach? Yes, Coach Clothier gives the confirmation as he's writing in the books. UConn Millers versus the star Spencer Bobcats. Coach Dabblestein introducing the starters for this one. This is your third place game between the Star Spencer Bobcats and the Yukon Miller. Starting lineup for the Star Spencer Bobcats. Number three, Gabriel Butler. Yeah, starting for Star Spencer Bobcats. Number three, Gabriel Butler. Number five, Keandra or Keandre Reed. <laughs> Number ten, Kaylion Johnson. Number eleven, Corey Owens. And then number thirty-three, Corion Anderson. And the starters, the starters for the Yukon Millers. The Yukon Millers. Number eleven. Number eleven. To Montreal Adams. Number 12, Logan, Number 12 Day. Logan Day. Number 20, Trevor Howard. Number 20, Trevor Howard. Number 21, Sam Johansson. Number 21, Sam Johansson. And number 55, and number 55 Javon, Baker. Javon Baker. So we're all set. The Yukon Millers and Star Spencer Bobcats here. The 50th annual Clister Harrington Altus Bulldog Short Grass Classic third place championship game on the boys' side of the bracket. This is going to be a high pace, very physical ball game as both UConn Millers like to run up and down the floor and they're big in size as they can have a couple linebackers and defensive ends out here. And, <laughs> and then we also have on the other side the Star Spencer Bobcats who like to run, 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 and then run some more. So we are going to have a good one here in this third place game. So tune in. Thanks to everyone for watching. We'll throw it back over to the lead man on the mic, Jordan Guy. Righty, coach. This one is about to get underway. Tipping off for UConn, we have Sam Johansson. Sam has had a few great games here while he's been here. And UConn wins the tip off. You see here are the Star Spencer cheerleaders right under us. First pass down the floor goes off the hands of DeMontrell Adams and out of bounds. First turnover. That shot from Reed doesn't go. Adams gets it over to Howard. Howard gets it to Baker. Baker back to Howard. Over to Day. Day gets it to Howard. 
Adams. Finds Baker. That ball tipped out. They're going to say it came off of Joe Hansen's hands. I just noticed that uh, Dylan Snow is not suited out. Yes. Who has been the leading scorer for the UConn Millers in both ball games. We'll see how that affects the game tonight. Owens gets it over to Butler. Back to Owens. Reed to Owens. Back to Butler. Anderson. Owens falls. Anderson picks it up. He's fouled on his way. He'll be going to the line to shoot two. Big Sam Johansson on his first foul of the evening, the first foul of the game, and the first foul for the Yukon Millers. Corion Anderson at the line, shoots his first one. It goes in as the Bobcats will be on the board first. Shooting his second, Anderson. No shot, lane violation. The UConn basketball. As Baker has it. Baker gets it to Day. Day gets a screen. Adams. Puts up a shot. That shot counts for two. Over to Owens. Back. Owens shoots for three. That three counts. Baker gets it to Howard. Howard gets it back to Baker. Gets it over to Day. Day tries to save that one as it goes out of bounds. Already the Millers with three turnovers and Star Spencer zero. So not a, not a very good start for the Millers. As turnovers go. Shot is up. That doesn't go. Rebounded by Baker. As Day moves down the court with it. Day moving to the bucket. Gets it down low to Johansson. Johansson goes up. Called for a travel. Be another turnover, number four. And then we're going to have some substitutions. Sarge Spencer is going to bring in Miles Howell. Butler with it. Gets it over to Owens. Back to Butler. Butler shoots for three. That three doesn't count. And Day comes out with the rebound. Day finds Adams. Adams going to the bucket, puts it up. Doesn't go as Owens gets it out to Butler. Butler brings it down the court, puts up a shot. Quick shot for two, that one goes in. Adams with the ball for the Millers. Adams. Gets it down to Day. Sorry, that was Johansson. Adams. Called for a travel. It's going to be Star Spencer basketball. Howell takes it out for the Bobcats. Fifth turnover. Gets it in to Butler. Butler finds Owens. Owens gets it back to Butler. To Reed, back to Butler. Johnson puts up a shot for two. That two doesn't go. Spins around. Gets it out to Butler. Butler's shot doesn't go. Gets it to Reed. Reed gets it back to Butler. Butler tries to get it down low. Doesn't go. Here comes Adams to the bucket. Stolen by Butler. And Howard takes it back. Howard, spin move. Gets it down to Baker. Finds Adams. Gets it over. 
to Johansson. Today, Day puts it up for three. That three counts. Logan Day for three. Butler gets it over to Owens. Owens swings it back to Butler. Down low to Johnson at the top. Johnson, his shot doesn't go. He gets his own rebound, puts it up. That one doesn't fall. Johansson comes down with the rebound. And a travel call on Hallett. She tried to come out with it. He had a defender right in front of him. And he shuffled his feet before he dribbled. It's going to be the seventh turnover for the Millers here in the first quarter. Johnson gets the ball to Butler. Butler gets it to Owens. Butler shoots for three. That three goes over the backboard. UConn will take possession of the basketball. 3.20 remaining in the first quarter. Adams. Gets it to Day. Logan Day back to Adams. Adams looking for a shot. He gets it to Howard. Gets it down to Johansson. Johansson, that one comes off of his foot. Johnson loses it. As he tips it off of his hand, gets it to Owens for three. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by Howard. Baker coming down with it. That one taken back by Butler. Butler gets it down to Howell. As it goes out of bounds, great effort down there by Trevor Howard yeah, he's as he tried it. to stake, steal that one and goes out of bounds. Checking in Drew Reynolds for UConn. Yeah, he stole that right straight from his hand but took it with him when he went out of bounds. Owens gets it to Butler. Butler tries to go up. Johansson deflects that one as he's met. Adams driving, stops, gets it out to Howard. Howard finds Adams again. Adams setting for the shot, gets it to Dave. Logan Day puts up another three, doesn't go. Rebounded by Johansson. His shot rolls in. Sam Johansson, Sam Johansson for two. Butler gets it to Owens. Owens shoots for three. That three doesn't go. Rebounded by Howard. Howard gets it to Day. Day loses it. We're going to have a foul on 11, to Montreal Adams, his first, second team foul. And we're going to have a couple substitution as Tony Jeffries and also number four, Daryl Gates, going to come in, spell a few guys. And 23, Craig. Henry Craig for Star Spencer is also in. Going this way. Daryl Gates came down with that one. And then that foul is going to be on number 24, Miles Howell. Here's first, and just the first foul on Star Spence. Already uh, 10 turnovers. When I can already tell with Dylan Snow out in street clothes on the bench. Uh, it's thrown the normal normalcy of UConn Miller's offense off just a little bit as he was a primary ball handler and their leading scorer in both games. 27 in the first game and 19 last night in the loss. As Braden Jacoby checked in also for the Millers. Adams gets it to Reynolds to Jacoby. Jacoby gets it down low to Adams. Adams puts it in for two. Nice basket cut and reverse layup to finish that play. Four points so far for Adams. Owens gets it to Butler. That one's stolen by Adams. Adams finds Reynolds. Reynolds going to the bucket. Deflected out of bounds. 
UConn will keep possession under the bucket. Number one, Trayvon Butler. He's going to check in for brother, Gabriel Butler. Give him a rest. Oh. As Jacoby throws that one in to Butler, Gates gets it back. Adams shoots for three. That one doesn't go. And that one put back in by Jeffries. Tony Jeffries for two. As he finds his first bucket of the game. Reed. As that one goes off of Craig, it's going to be UConn basketball. And that's going to be a turnover. It's 11 by the Millers and six now by Star Spencer. And quickly that lead that Star Spencer had has evaporated. Adams knew there's less than 10 seconds on the clock, so he found his way to the bucket. He is fouled on his way. He'll be going to the line to shoot two. Henry Craig on that foul. His first, second team foul. Adams misses that first one. Adams gets the second one. Butler puts a shot up for three. That one doesn't go. That'll be the end of the first quarter. At the end of the first quarter, the UConn Millers 12. UConn Millers lead 12 to 6 versus the Star Spencer Bobcats. We'll be back in the second quarter. You're watching the short grass classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. New season just dropped. Enter the big dinner box from Pizza Hut. Two pizzas, breadsticks, and wings all in one box. You'll run out of episodes before you run out of food. The big dinner box, only from Pizza Hut. No one out beats the hut. Pizza Hut stuffed crust is the crust that made crust good. Topped and stuffed with over a half pound of cheese. What are you so afraid of? Loving it? Original stuffed crust, only from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. When I'm flying, I put my helmet on, my visor down, my mask up. You don't know who I am. Whether I'm African American, Asian American, Hispanic, white, male or female, you just know I'm an American airman kicking your butt. I'm General C.Q. Brown, Jr. Come join us. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. UConn leading 12 to 6 going into the second quarter. Star Spencer will have possession. going to be good by Keandre Reed and followed with a hack, a block maybe, by Tony Jeffries. That's going to be on number 25, his first. Sec or 13 foul. Rebounded by Gates. Gates gets it to Adams. Adams passes to Reynolds. Reynolds gets it down to Gates. Fouled on his way up. Gates will be going to the line to shoot two. 
That foul is going to be on number one, Trevon Butler, his first, third team foul. And more importantly, number four, Darrell Gay, it's an opportunity to score some points. First one doesn't go for Gates. Gates gets his second one. Butler with it for the Bobcats. Gets it to Johnson. Gets it out to Reed. Johnson to Butler, to Butler, to Reed Johnson. Reed. Trayvon Butler. Shot up and good. That is Lamonte Olds. For Lamonte Olds. And he gets the Bobcats back within three. 13-10 Miller. Jacoby with it and gets it over to Adams. Jeffries down low. Offensive foul on Tony Jeffries as he tried to make a move. And runs over Star Spencer. Gabriel Butler. Bobcat on the way. So be his second and the fourth team foul. Gabriel Butler with it. Down low was Olds. Ball's in. Jacoby comes out with the steal. He's going all the way. Gets two. Tough move by Braden Jacoby. Braden Jacoby. Gets it in to Reed. Charge. Charge. As Jeffries got called for the charge earlier. Now he takes one. And that'll be the first one on Jeffries. As number 24, Miles Howell is going to check back in. It's Adams. Brings the ball across half court. Gates down low, puts a shot up. That one blocked and taken by Howell. He gets it to Gabriel Butler. Butler gets it to Howell. Gabriel Butler with it now. Gets it over to Trayvon Butler. Trayvon Butler gets it back to Gabriel Butler. Johnson passes to Gabriel Butler. Gets it back to Adams. Excuse me, Johnson. That one goes out of bounds off of Gabriel Butler. That will be the eighth turnover for Star Spencer, along with 11 for the Millers. Javon Baker checks back in for the Millers. He comes in for Braden Jacoby. Adams was going to the bucket. He's fouled. Yeah, that looked pretty clean on that one, but they're going to say that. Uh, I was thinking the same thing. Keandre Reed has got him on the arm, and that will be his second, fifth team foul. That's why we're not getting paid to go down there and officiate, I suppose. That's for sure, Coach. That's Trevor, Trevor Howard is going to come in along with number 12, Logan Day, and Sam Johansson after this first free throw. For the Millers. That one goes. The Adams. 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 Shooting his second. Five minutes remaining in the half. 
Adams' second shot doesn't go. Gabriel Butler gets it to Owens. Back to Butler. To Johnson. Trayvon Butler tries to get it down to Johnson. To Howell. Gabriel Butler shoots for three. That one goes in off the backboard. Reynolds gets it to Adams. Adams gets it over to Baker. Baker. Baker drives to the bucket, gets it down to Johansson. Johansson goes up for two fouls on his way. I'm not sure if that's a Miles Howe. Yeah, they're going to get that Miles Howe. His second. And that's going to be the sixth, so the next one will be, will put the Millers in the bonus. Shot from Johansson doesn't go as Trevor Howard checks in for the UConn Millers. Going to give to Montreal Adams a break. Johansson makes the second one. Gets him three points on the evening. 17-13, Miller's on the high side. Owens gets it to Gabriel Butler. Owens takes a shot for three. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by Howard. Howard gets it to Logan Day. Day finishing high at the bucket. Gets two. And we're gonna have a timeout on Star Spencer, 30 seconds. We'll take a 30 second timeout with him. You're watching the Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. I am Dr. Todd Bridges. And I'm Dr. Nathan Buckner. Did you know our dental practice is one of only 6% of practices in the United States that provide care from an all digital platform? We fabricate crowns, bridges, and place implants with advanced digital technology. If you want to be part of this digital revolution in dental care, call us today at 248-6700 or visit our website at bridgesandbugnerdentistry.com. We look forward to providing you with exceptional dental care. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. UConn leading 19 to 13 with three minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Owens has the ball for Star Spencer. Gets it to Gabriel Butler. Owens passes it to Olds. Owens, Butler, Owens shoots for three. That three doesn't go. Recovered by Reynolds. Reynolds finds Baker. Baker takes it all the way to the bucket for two more. Another timeout. Star Spencer wants Star another. Star Spencer. One. Man. 30 second timeout. They'll take Star another 30, and we'll take one with them. You're watching the Out to Short Grass Tournament at Cluster Harrington. On the Cluster Harrington Court, excuse me. Man, at Cletus B Street Fieldhouse. There we go. We'll be back shortly on the Oklahoma Sports Network. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Three minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter. As that one goes out of bounds, UConn. We'll take possession. Baker 
crosses half court. Gets it to Reynolds. Reynolds finds Day down low. Day puts up a bucket. That bucket falls in. Biggest lead for the night for the Millers at 10 points. Oh, he's going to go in. Too many steps there. And quickly, 10 turnovers for the Bobcats. And uh, we're going to have the same thing back here for the Millers as they get it into Baker. And he <clears throat> tried to jump stop and drag that back foot for the 12th turnover. Owens in the corner. Gets it to Dave. What's it? Gabriel Butler. Olds. He thought Trayvon about it. Trayvon Butler. He thought about a three in there in the corner. Mm -hmm. Loses that one. Reynolds. Whoa, 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 whoa. Foul by Trayvon Butler. Yeah, that was a foul. I don't think anybody's disputing that. But <laughs> that's going to be the seventh foul. So last 232, uh, Millers are going to be in the bonus. That was a hard foul. As Reynolds shaking off some of that. Reynolds makes the first one. 23, Henry Craig back into the ball game now. Replacing Trevon Butler. Reynolds makes the second one. Two for two. 12 point lead. Biggest of the night. Gabriel Butler puts up a floater. It doesn't go. Olds puts up a shot. They're going to get uh, Sam jo Johansson on that shot by Olds. And that's going to be his second, 15th foul. And Olds will get a chance to shoot two. Shot is up from Olds. First one doesn't go. Olds shooting his second. Gets the second one. Baker. Reynolds gets it to Howard. Is that one? I don't know how that one got deflected, Coach. Looked like it came off of somebody's knee. But Johansson comes away with the steal, gets it to Baker. Baker. Keeps control. Oh, says he goes out of bounds. Couldn't save it. So we have trading of turnover. Yes. UConn Miller is now up to 14 and on that steal down on the other end. 12 for the Bobcats. Owen shoots for three. Mm. Doesn't go. They're gonna, Day. Get, they're gonna get Olds over the back on that one. And then we're gonna shoot free throws down on the other end. Corey Owens last night shot the ball way better than he did tonight. He's missed several. He had 17 last night and lost to the Bulldogs. So. And there's still plenty of ball game left. He can get hot in a hurry. Corey Owens Anderson going to check in. Shot was good to Logan Day. Rebounded by Kayleon Johnson. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gabriel Butler trying to get to the middle of the lane and get something going and showed us the Olympic triple jump there. Yeah. <laughs> As he got in there, just couldn't get a shot off. Reynolds comes out with it. Day gets it back to Reynolds. Reynolds shoots for three. He gets it. Drew Reynolds. Oh, 
Owens. Gets it to Baker. It's Butler, excuse me. Gabriel Butler. We have a jump ball, and that's going to be in favor of the Millers, and that will go down as a turnover. And the 14th, as both teams have 14 apiece, except for the Millers are now on the high side, up 15, 29-14 with just a minute left in the first half. Mm. Baker is coming down with that one. So there's going to be a push on number 10, Kayleon Johnson, his first personal night team foul. 56.3 remaining in the second quarter. Shots up. It's good. That'll make it 30 to 14. Javon Baker makes that one. Baker, two for two. Javon Baker. Gabriel Butler doesn't get that one. Logan Day gets another rebound. Javon Baker taking it to the bucket again. Gets it out to Reynolds. Reynolds shoots for three. That one doesn't go. And Gabriel Butler comes down with the rebound. Butler puts it up, it doesn't go. That one recovered by Johansson. Baker takes it to the bucket. This time he's gonna get two. Gabriel Butler. Gets it to Owens. Back to Gabriel Butler. Down to Johnson. To Craig. Craig gets it back to Johnson. Johnson gets it to Craig. Craig shoots for three, doesn't go. Owens down low, gets two. And that'll be the half. At the end of one half, UConn Miller's leading 33 to 16 against the star Spencer Bobcats. We'll be back with the second half soon. You're watching the Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is close than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds, or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum, or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. 
Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. Take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma. But mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattlemen's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored. For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. 
Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. The new season just dropped. Enter the big dinner box from Pizza Hut. Two pizzas, breadsticks, and wings all in one box. You'll run out of episodes before you run out of food. The Big Dinner Box, only from Pizza Hut. No one out beats the hut. Pizza Hut stuffed crust is the crust that made crust good. Topped and stuffed with over a half pound of cheese. What are you so afraid of? Loving it? Original stuffed crust, only from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Third quarter of action. UConn leading 33-16 against the Stars, Spencer Bobcats. As Gabriel Butler puts up a three that doesn't go. Rebounded by Owens. Owens puts it in for two. Steals it, but knocks it out of bounds. Baker brings the ball down, gets it to Adams. Adams gets it back to Baker. Baker gets it over to Howard, gets it back to Adams. Adams finds Day down low. Day spins, puts it up, count it for two. Logan Day. Logan only put in four points last night in their loss and already has ten in tonight's contest. So a little bit more offensive output by him today with the absence of snow. Shot from Owens. Doesn't go, rebounded by Johansson. Logan Day down the court. Man, that one just rolls right in. And now he's got 12. Should extend that lead to 37-18. Owens gets it to Gabriel Butler. Swings it over to Johnson. Gabriel Butler puts up a shot for three. That one doesn't go, rebounded by Day. Day gets it to Howard. Howard brings the ball across half court. Gets it to Baker. Baker finds Adams. Cross court. Adams guarded by Owens. Day in the corner, shoots for three. That three doesn't go, but Johansson puts it back up and gets two. Two points, Sam Johansson. They give him five on the night. Big Sam pulling down the snatching down the rebound and put back. Reed gets it to Gabriel Butler. Gabriel Butler puts it in for two. Shifty move there. Yeah, and give him seven on the evening. Trying to help to come back here with Bobcats. <laughs> Baker got picked there by Owens. And then in the process, picks up a foul trying to prevent the run out layup. Because I don't think that he knew the ball was tipped once it went back court. He did. I think he was just waiting, waiting for confirmation. But it. Adams going to the bucket, puts it up, doesn't go. And Star Spencer comes out with it. Gabriel Butler. Uh, Howard comes away with the steal. Adams gets a save. Reed. That one looked pretty clean to me, Coach, but they're going to give that one to Sam Johansson. Basket is good by number five, Keandre Reed. We're going to count the bucket. That's going to be his third on Johansson. Chance for Reed. For an old fashioned three point play. Oh, 
He gets it. Adams brings the ball across half court. Adams gets it to Johansson. Johansson finds a cutting Howard, and he gets two. Gabriel Butler finds Reed. Reed puts up a shot for two, doesn't go. Owens comes down with the rebound. Owens gets it out to Howell. Howell puts up a shot for three. That three doesn't go. Howard comes out with the rebound, finds Day. Day, two steps in a bucket. Flying down the court. Owens puts it up and in for two. Adams. Howard going to the bucket, finds Day down low. Day puts it in for two more. He's doubled his output of the first half of eight. He's up to 16. <laughs> That's another one, Coach. And they're going to give Reed two points and the harm again by Sam Johansson, and that'll be his fourth. And they couldn't get him out fast enough. Now Tony Jeffries is going to check in for the Millers. Owens comes down with it, and a jump ball. Possession going to be in favor of the Millers. Possession, Millers. As <clears throat> Jeffries has it. Jeffries gets it to Adams. Adams puts up a shot. Counts. Adams. Two more for LaMontreal Adams. He'll have eight on the evening. Reed doesn't get that one. Jeffries gets the rebound. Gets it to Howard. To Adams. Adams brings it. Cross. Gets it to Jeffries. Jeffries finds Baker. Baker making his way down. Howard, Jeffrey spins, puts it up. He's blocked by Reed. Gabriel Baker, Butler, excuse me. Here's Baker. Baker finds Day. Day finds Howard. Howard finds Adams. Adams is blocked, but Day recovers. Day spins, puts up a shot. That one doesn't go, but Baker comes out with it. He goes up. He's fouled. He's going to be going to the line of shoot, too. I think they're going to call that on 24. They say 55. Uh, 55 shooting. Miles out. Okay, Miles out. 24. His third. Huh. The numbers that pop up there sometimes are confusing. It'll be on 24 miles. Howard, one. Javon Baker. Javon Baker getting shoot. He makes that first. Lamonte Olds checking in. With a few other of the Yukon Millers, Daryl Gates. Drew Reynolds. Gabriel Butler gives it to Trayvon Butler. Shot is up. That shot counts for two. Adams. Baker. Baker shoots for three. That three counts. Reed shoots for a two. That two doesn't go, but uh, Johnson. Johnson comes down with it, spins, and puts it up for two. That one's stolen by Olds, and Olds travels as he takes it. Hmm. 
We're going to have timeout. Full timeout. Full timeout. Star Spencer. Star Spencer takes a full timeout. We'll take one with him. You're watching the Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. When I'm flying, I put my helmet on, my visor down, my mask up. You don't know who I am. Whether I'm African American, Asian American, Hispanic, white, male or female, you just know I'm an American Airman kicking your butt. I'm General C.Q. Brown, Jr. Come join us. I'm Dr. Todd Bridges. And I'm Dr. Nathan Buckner. Did you know our dental practice is one of only 6% of practices in the United States that provide care from an all-digital platform? We fabricate crowns, bridges, and place implants with advanced digital technology. If you want to be part of this digital revolution in dental care, call us today at 248-6700 or visit our website at bridgesandbugnerdentistry.com. We look forward to providing you with exceptional dental Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Third quarter of action. A minute, 45 seconds remaining. As Baker brings that one across, he gets it to Reynolds. Reynolds gets it to Adams. Adams gets a screen from Jeffries. Guarded by Olds. Adams setting up a play. Adams gets past one defender, puts up a shot. That shot doesn't go. Rebound it by Reed. Johnson takes a three. That three counts. Reynolds gets it to Jeffries. Jeffries shoots for three. Mm. As that one is stolen by Gates, and it gets put in for two from Baker. Johnson shoots for three, doesn't get it. Jeffries rebounds. Jeffries gets it to Adams. Adams goes to the bucket. That one goes in for two more. DeMontrell Adams for two. That one doesn't go, but Kaleon Johnson puts it in for two as he comes from the left wing. Couldn't get over in time there on defense, and that foul's going to be on Lamonte Olds. That was on Star Spencer, number 34, Lamontre Olds. His second. Lamontre, maybe. <laughs> second foul and a half for the Bobcats as. Number 24, Miles Howell. We'll just check back in for him. Ball's in. Reynolds shoots for three. Doesn't get it. Jeffries tries the rebounds, but Reed gets the rebound instead. Trayvon Butler comes out with it. Two more points for him. To end the quarter. UConn leading 55 to 38. We'll be back with fourth quarter action pretty soon. You're watching the Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate.
Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Fourth quarter of action. That one goes out. UConn will take possession. Gabriel Butler, as that push off was called on Javon Baker. Gabriel Butler gets it out to Johnson. Johnson shoots for three. Oh, a timeout. UConn. Probably going to be a full timeout here, it looks like. Full timeout. Yep. UConn. We'll take a full with him. You're watching the Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your... Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. 7.24 remaining in the fourth quarter. 55-41. UConn leading. Adams tries to get it down to Baker. It's stolen. As that one goes out. Good hustle by Hal. That'll be the 20th turnover for the Bobcats, which is probably going to be something. Coach from Star Spencer is going to have a talk with his men about when he get to practice or in the locker room. Jeffries gets it to Baker. Baker gets it down to Gates. Gates gets two. In the corners, Johnson. Johnson doesn't get it, but Jeffrey gets the rebound. Adams brings it down, makes a move, sees Baker in the corner. Baker shoots for three, knocks it down. Javon Baker for three. That would be 15 on the night for Baker. As Gabriel Butler goes in and gets two. Gates. Baker shoots another three. That one doesn't go. Gabriel Butler bringing it down. Trayvon Butler shoots it. Doesn't go. Rebounded and knocked out by Adam. Johnson, outside, gets it to Trayvon Baker. Butler, excuse me. Inside to Miles Howell, and he gets fouled. That's going to be on Tony Jeffries, his third. Fifth team foul, but uh, Howell's going to get two shots. Howell. Shoots. That one goes. Miles 
5.45 remaining in the game. Howell shoots again. That one will go as well. Two for two. Miles Howell. Good hustle by Howe. Oh, as they fight to save that possession, they couldn't get it, but they're, they're hustling. Got it to 15. Now your goal as a coach is to try to get it. Hey, now, now let's try to get it to 10. And then, then you're trying to get it to 5. So try to cut it off a chunk, a little small chunks, not so much big chunks. You're just going to get, get one stop at a time and work your way back in. Jeffries. A shot from Adams doesn't go. Last touch by Reed. Reynolds gets two. <laughs> Shot from Johnson doesn't go. Reed. Baker brings it across half court. Gets it to Adams. Adams gets it down low to Jeffries. Jeffries puts it up and it goes through. Shot from Gabriel Butler doesn't go. Rebounded by Adams. Excuse me, that's Baker. Adams puts it in. Got a little ahead of myself there. Trayvon Butler gets it to Howell. Howe puts it up and in for two. Technical foul on the coach or the bench. Somebody on Star Spencer. So. Technical foul on the Star Spencer bench. It's going to be on the bench. It's going to be indirect, but it goes to the coach. It also counts as a team foul, I believe. That's why the 99 and 1 is on there, because <laughs> it goes down as a team foul. And one more. Reynolds gets that one. Reynolds gets the second one. Timeout on Star Spencer. With that, we'll take a full timeout with him. You're watching the Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. New season just dropped. Enter the big dinner box from Pizza Hut. Two pizzas, breadsticks, and wings all in one box. You'll run out of episodes before you run out of food. The Big Dinner Box, only from Pizza Hut. No one out beats the hut. Pizza Hut stuffed crust is the crust that made crust good. Topped and stuffed with over a half pound of cheese. What are you so afraid of? Loving it? Original stuffed crust, only from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. When I'm flying, I put my helmet on, my visor down, my mask up. You don't know who I am. Whether I'm African-American, Asian-American, Hispanic, 
white, male or female. You just know I'm an American Airman. Kicking your butt. I'm General C.Q. Brown, Jr. Come join us. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Bridges. And I'm Dr. Nathan Buckner. Did you know our dental practice is one of only 6% of practices in the United States that provide care from an all-digital platform? We fabricate crowns, bridges, and place implants with advanced digital technology. If you want to be part of this digital revolution in dental care, call us today at 248-6700 or visit our website at bridgesandbugnerdentistry.com. We look forward to providing you with exceptional dental care. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Coach Clothier, can you explain that again? Sorry we weren't live. No, that's fine. I mean, you know, technical, you have to sit down and do the Oklahoma rules. You can no longer stand up. As a coach from Star Spencer, still arguing with the officials, pleading his case. Balls in to Adams. Gets it to Reynolds. It's Gates. Back in the game. First play in, Sam Johansson. Puts it in for two. Now we're going to have another timeout. Star Spencer. As the score gets to 70-47. Full timeout. Star Spencer. Star, tent, Star Spencer takes a full timeout. We'll take a full with him. That was their final timeout with 349 remaining in the game. This is the Short Grass Classic on the Oklahoma Sports Network. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate. Back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Star Spencer has the ball with three minutes, 30 seconds remaining. A steal from Gates gets it to Adams. Adams puts it up. He's blocked off the backboard, but that goes out off of Star Spencer. UConn will have possession of the ball. Gets that one in. Adams gets it to Reynolds. Reynolds finds Johansson down low. Gates puts it up for two. Two counts. Owens puts it up. He gets three. Baker finds Adams. Reynolds. Baker. Reynolds. Adams takes a dribble, gets it out. Reynolds shoots for three. Counts. Three more. For Drew Reynolds. Hey. 
Reynolds gets it into Adams. Adams. Gets it over to Gates. Gates. Looks to Reynolds. Reynolds gets it over to Adams. Jacoby shoots for three. It counts. Three more. Braden Jacoby. 155 remaining in this one. Johnson shoots for three. That one doesn't go. Tipped around. Still loose. And that one doesn't go either. That foul going to be called on Sam Johansson, I can believe. That's going to be his fifth. That was on Utah, number 21, Sam Johansson. That'll be his fifth. And he's going to exit the tournament. And he's had a pretty solid three games. Shaking his head uh, on most of the fouls tonight. He's just been the man in the vicinity. But uh, good tournament for Sam jo Johansson for Millers. Oh, they just can't buy a bucket. That's been the case all night. It's not that they're not getting shots. They just can't get the ball to go in. And the first time we'll see Ian Pettiford. Shot doesn't go for Butler. On his way to the bucket. Gets to Braden Jacoby. Puts it up for three, that three doesn't go. Jeffries comes out with it. Gates, a minute remaining. Gets it to Jacoby. Jacoby takes it in the corner for three. Doesn't knock that one down. Was Ian Pettiford. Adams has it. Spins, gets out of pressure. Drives to the middle. Great ball handling by Adams. Gates finds Adams. Pettiford for three. He doesn't get it. Ball to Owens down low. Owens doesn't get it. But Johnson comes out with the rebound. He's fouled by Tony Jeffries. That'll He'll be, be going to the line to shoot two. That'll be his fourth. That one doesn't go. Second one doesn't go. Owen shoots for three. Three doesn't go. Owens going to the bucket for two is two count. And with that, that'll be the final. UConn Millers win 80 to 52 against the Star Spencer Bobcats. Congratulations to the UConn Millers finishing third place in the tournament. Up next, we'll have the UConn Lady Millers, I believe Millerettes. And the Dallas Thunder. And Dallas Thunder. We'll be right back for that one. You're watching the Short Grass Tournament on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. 
from flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs, both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is close than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds, or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum, or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. Take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma, but mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattleman's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored.
For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. The new season just dropped. Enter the Big Dinner Box from Pizza Hut. Two pizzas, breadsticks, and wings all in one box. You'll run out of episodes before you run out of food. The Big Dinner Box, only from Pizza Hut. No one out beats the hut. Pizza Hut stuffed crust is the crust that made crust good. Topped and stuffed with over a half pound of cheese. What are you so afraid of? Loving it? Original stuffed crust, only from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. When I'm flying, I put my helmet on, my visor down, my mask up. You don't know who I am, whether I'm African American, Asian American, Hispanic, white, male or female. You just know I'm an American Airman, kicking your butt. I'm General C.Q. Brown, Jr. Come join us. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Bridges. And I'm Dr. Nathan Buckner. Did you know our dental practice is one of only 6% of practices in the United States that provide care from an all-digital platform? We fabricate crowns, bridges, and place implants with advanced digital technology. If you want to be part of this digital revolution in dental care, call us today at 248-6700 or visit our website at bridgesandbucknerdentistry.com. And we look forward to providing you with exceptional dental care. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up.
Well, good evening and welcome to the Oklahoma Sports Network. It is Championship Saturday here at Cletus B Street Fieldhouse here in Altus, Oklahoma, home of the Lady Bulldogs and the Altus Bulldogs. This is the 50th annual Cluster Harrington Short Grass Classic Invitational, and it is championship game on the lady side. All right. Well, you know who I am, and Jordan has been doing a great job, Jordan and Coach Clothier. But Coach T back. Coach Clothier, how's it going, sir? How are you doing? Well, I need an air pump. I think my my two back tires are flat. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been fun. It's been interesting. The games have not been quite as competitive as we might have wanted today. But saying that, uh, it is the third day of a tournament, and we're uh, happy that all the teams have been here to support the 50th annual uh, Cluster Herring Tournament, short grass tournament. So yep. it's been fun and uh, excited to see these two championship games tonight. So All right. Well, man, I am super stoked. Uh, been busy as we got back here just a, just a, just a little bit ago from uh, from a wrestling tournament that we've been at all day yesterday and yesterday, or yesterday and today. And, uh, man, you guys called a great uh, – a great semifinal for the boys, the Altus Bulldogs, back in the championship game since 1998. Again, we are here at Cletus B Street Fieldhouse in Altus, Oklahoma. UConn Millerette's taking on the Dallas Lady Thunder. And, Coach, uh, talk a little bit about that game uh, last night. What were right. your thoughts? Well, i tell you what. It was a game of runs. Mm -hmm. Either way, I, I, uh, Altus got way behind early and mm -hmm. then fought back, clawed back, and then got a little bit of a lead and then – and then Stark Spencer came back and then got a little bit of a lead. And then, <laughs> and then Altus came back. And, I mean, it was back and forth. It was nonstop action. Both teams were flying all over the floor for loose balls. And, and uh, uh, it was just a total, uh, uh, just a four quarters of basketball that you'd want to see. Both teams just giving it all they can. I, and I, I think that really wore out Star Spencer today, you could tell. Yeah. It was just a little flat when they came out in their third place game. But the Altus Bulldogs eventually – Got on top and then put the gas pedal on and eventually came out with that win last night, a great win, and uh, put themselves in the championship game. And they're going to be uh, in a tough contest versus Elk City Elks, who, who ran over the Yukon Millers. And if you saw them the first couple yeah. games they played, uh, you were going to think the Yukon Millers may have been in the finals because they were hard to stop. And they, they showed it today in the third place game as they scored 80 points. So yep. let's get this one ready to go here as the Dallas Thunder and the Yukon Millerettes getting ready to tip off. And so jumping is going to be number 23, Riley Verdun, jumping up against number four, that is Gabby Tilly for Yukon. Dallas gets the, uh, gets the tip here, and Kendall passes it there to Lowry. Lowry down to Grace that is, that is Yes, DeBose for two points, and just like that, the... Lady Thunder are up two to nothing. UConn has the ball. Tilly left side of the key kicks it out to number 12 there. That is Miss Sims. Sims back to Tilly. Tilly to number 14. That is Harbison. Harbison to Tilly. Tilly cross court pass to uh, Jefferson. Jefferson puts up a shot. Count it. Three points for Jefferson and the UConn Millerettes. 7.15 here in this first quarter. First quarter again brought to you by Custom Graphics, your home for custom bulldog gear. 521 North Main Street here in Altus, Oklahoma, your home for custom bulldog gear. Go check them out. And the Lady Thunder have it down here. Debo, top of the key, looking to get something set up here, finds Mike Lowry down low. Nope, that's not Mike Lowry. That's just Miss Lowry. Uh, Debo, for all you bad boy fans out there. Verdun kicks it out here to Moylan. Moylan looking down low to the... Uh, Size advantage that Dallas has here, but a turnover. Harbison kicks it out to Sims. Sims puts up a shot just a bit outside. And last touch by Dallas, so it's going to be UConn basketball. And UConn, one turnover. Dallas, I got him for one. Is that what you got, Coach? Yes. All right, Jefferson with the ball, kicks it out to Tilly. Tilly puts up a three. Count it! Oh, my goodness, another back-to-back -back threes for the Millerettes. As we have a, oh, we got a travel violation here, so another turnover. And Thunder's going to have a little bit of size advantage, and but the Millers are going to make it up with, they are fast. Yes, they are quick, very. and they want to play fast and quick. 
So don't be surprised that they might even jump into a press later on to try to get things going even faster. And the Millerets have it. Jefferson to Tilly. Tilly finds Sims. Sims back to Tilly. Tilly's going to drive and kick it back out to Harbison, who finds Jefferson. She's got one already. Oh, doesn't make the second one. A good hard rebound there by the big man there. We're doing for the Lady Thunder. Score 6-2 with 5.54 here left in the first quarter. Again, brought to you by Custom Graphics. Verdun puts up a shot. No go. And last touch by UConn. So it's going to be Dallas Lady Thunder basketball. Thunder basketball. Coach, you think, uh, you think the house is going to be packed here at 8 o'clock for that championship game? Sure will. Oh, yeah. It was a little packed last night. Verdun. Puts a shot up there off the backboard. Can't quite fall. Rebounded there by Jefferson. Jefferson has him bringing the ball up past the halfway mark. Top of the key. Kicks it out to Sims. Sims has it left side. Cross court pass to Jefferson. Jefferson back to Tilly. Top of the key. Looking to set something up here for the Millerets. Back to Jefferson. Jefferson dribbles back to Tilly to the left side. Jefferson, they're just moving the ball around. The Millerets are here. Finds Harbison right side. Back to Jefferson. Cross court pass to Jefferson who had the baseline open, but kicks it out to Tilly. Oh, bounces in and out there. Rebound there by Moreland and the Dallas Lady Thunder. Score still 6-2 with 5.09 left here in the first quarter. Again, brought to you by Custom Graphics. Kendall. Oh, try to get it to Verdun. Touched by Jefferson. Verdun's going to take an 18-footer. That one's not going to fall. Rebound to Bow and taken away by Sims. We got a jump ball. Possession now in favor of UConn. The UConn Millerets coached by Roy Wyckoff. Assistant coaches Mike Morgan, Caitlin Hancock, Keith Cole, and a turnover there by UConn. Shot put up by DeBoe. No go. Rebound Verdu, and she puts it up. Draws the foul on Tilly. Can't get it to fall, but she's going to the line. 4.43 here left in this first quarter. Brought to you by Custom Graphics, your home for custom Bulldog gear. 521 North Main Street in Altus, Oklahoma. Give them a call at 580-477-4597. As Verdun at the line, your Dallas Lady Thunder in the North Carolina blue and white, the black trim. That point falls there for the Lady Thunder. Six to three, cuts the deficit in half. The Dallas Thunder, the boys side, they, got, uh, they won the seventh place game, didn't they coach? Yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Kendall has it. She's at the top of the key, guarded by Harbison. Finds Lowry. Lowry dribbles with the left hand. Looking for Kendall. No, finds Verdun, top of the key. Big man on big man as number 35 checks in. Good defense there by Miss 35. That is Ashlyn Smith. Kicks it out to Kendall. Back out to Lowry. Lowry for the Lady Thunder has it. Thirty-two is checked in for Dallas. That is Kayla Mathis. Kayla Mathis. Thank you, sir. Verduin back to Moylan. Moylan looking to get something set up. Finds the cutting Kendall again out up top, guarded by Harbison. UConn playing really good man-to-man -man defense here. As Lowry has it, finds the cut in Verduin, kicks it out to Moylan. Last touch by UConn. It is Dallas Lady Thunder basketball. Three forty-seven left here on the clock here in the first quarter. Shout out to Custom Graphics, our first quarter sponsor, and all our sponsors here for the Shortgrass Classic Invitational. I want to thank the Frederick sponsors as we had the Frederick Bombers and Lady Bombers here these past three days. Aaron here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. I think this is their first time here in the Shortgrass Tournament as well, Coach. I don't know about the history, but I know it's been a long time if they have. Yeah. They may have been here in the early, way, way before. <laughs> you and I. <laughs> But uh, Moreland with the shot there, two points, 65 is the score. Deep pass, Jefferson to Jefferson. She steps back for three, count it. Oh, my goodness. Three points there for the Millerettes. The score is nine to five. Kenley mm -hmm. Jefferson only having two points yesterday. Mm -hmm. Already six with two threes made here in the first quarter. 
Yeah, well, she opened up that very first game, too, uh, Coach, on Thursday uh, with three three-pointers. And so, I mean, really, I mean, when she gets hot, she gets hot as the UConn Millerets have it. Jefferson to Tilly. Tilly also lethal from downtown. Gets it down to Smith. She puts it up just a little bit too hard. Gets her own rebound. Tipped out. Last touch by the Lady Thunder. So it's going to be UConn Millerette basketball. Checking in for the Thunder. It's going to be number five, Winona Short. Short checking in. As we are in the third day of the tournament. There's going to be a lot of the depth of your bench is going to be important today. As Tilly again, count it, boom, a three bomb brought to you by Davis Family. There for the Millerettes. Oh, no, they're going to call it a two, I guess. Yeah, uh, a uh, 11. 11 to 5 is the score. I thought it was a three. It looked deep enough. Either way, we're going to call it a three, and we're going to give a shout-out to the Davis family <laughs> for sponsoring being our three-point sponsor there. All right, we got a block down on this end as Moreland was on the drive. That's going to be on number 14, Kelly Harbison of UConn, her first, second team foul. And checking in for the UConn Millerettes is going to be number 11, the senior, Raina Henson. Lady Thunder underneath the basket, Kendall. Looking to inbound it, looking for some help, finds the cutting short, but tipped out of bounds by Miss Jefferson. That is Kinley Jefferson. And we're going to have uh, Kelly Blake going to check in, going to replace Moylan. So they're going with some size here, Coach, as Blake and Verduin, the two big girls here for the Dallas Thunder. Blake has it, gets it out to Kendall. How'd she play yesterday, Coach? Kendall now, last year, the uh, tournament MVP. How did she play in that second game? Yesterday, she had 14. 14, not bad. Yeah, she played a, she's played two really solid games. I think 15 in the first game and 14 yesterday. But she has, they have a post player, Verdun, who they really tried to funnel the ball into yesterday. She hasn't had to have that much of a scoring responsibility as more as a distributor. And a jump ball there as Tilly went in for the shot. The floater got her own rebound, but her and Verdun there were fighting for it as you were talking about Verdun, who is one of the big, big men for the Dallas Lady Thunder. She has the ball right now, finds Kendall. Kendall bringing it up. She's about to pass the halfway mark. Top of the key, guarded by Jefferson. Finds Short. Short has it. Got a little, oh, got a little hitch in her step there. Miss Short does. Trying to create some separation. Who finds Verdun? Back to Kendall to Blake to Verdun, the cutting player. And a foul called on 45. Or UConn 35. Yeah, that's that is on Ashland Smith. Smith. Her first. It is Dallas Lady Thunder basketball. Math is checking out. Let's see who checked in here. Lowry checked back in. She sure did. And Verdun, who got it. Oh, one shot up, gets a rebound. That one does count. Score now 11 to 7. UConn has it. That is Henson. Henson to Tilly. Tilly looking to set something up. Back to Henson. Henson takes the baseline. Cross court pass to Jefferson. Nope, she thought about it. Gets it to Jefferson. Jefferson with the left. Kicks it out to Jefferson. Jefferson going to create some separation. Shoot an 18-footer. No go. Rebounded by the Lady Thunder with just 45 seconds here left in the first quarter. Again, brought to you by Custom Graphics and a foul on Smith. Two quick fouls there on her. As she got called for the over the back and the reach. You can see they're trying to get the ball in mm -hmm. to Verdun. So yesterday in the game, she had 17 and 13 in the first half. As she kind of took control of the ball game early. And they are. There's getting into Verdun right there. Find Short. Short who finds Blake. Back to Short. Back to Blake. Looking for Verdun. No go. UConn does play good defense here as there's a man-to-man -man defense with 29 seconds left here in the first quarter finds Verdun. Verdun is going to put it down with the left. Oh, and right there, that's another turnover as a steal for the UConn Millerettes. Tilly has it. Oh, she puts up a shot. No go. Rebound with only 15 seconds left. The Lady Thunder have it. She didn't see that helicopter coming through there. <laughs> there's Kendall. 
finds Verdun. She takes the 17-footer. That one not going to fall. Rebound short. Puts up a shot. No go. And that's going to be the end of the quarter as the UConn Millerets come down. Oh, wow. No foul. No foul. They're going to call it end of the quarter. All right. With that being said, we're going to take a quick break, too. Let's see. The UConn Millerets had a great first quarter with 11 points. They lead the Dallas Lady Thunder 11-7 here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is close than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. All right, welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. You're watching Championship Basketball here. It is the championship game for the girls at the 50th Annual Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Invitational. The Yukon Millerets lead 11-7 here in the second quarter. Let's go ahead and change that. There we go. Yukon has it, Jefferson. Back out to number 33 here for Yukon. That is Pivniska. To Jefferson, to Tilly, to Jefferson, to Pivniska down low, and a turnover for Bless UConn. You. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was, dude, I was having a hard time uh, uh, when I called their game day one. I couldn't say it yesterday. I kept chewing on it. It's, yeah, Pivniska. <laughs> and there is Lowry, kicks it out to Verdun. Verdun has it with the spin move. Nope, kick out. There is a turnover. That's a travel. Fifth turnover of the game here for the Dallas Lady Thunder. Score still 11 to 7 here in the second quarter with 7:15 and counting. Bringing the ball up is Kinley Jefferson to Cade Jefferson. Cade has it, kicks out to Tilly. Tilly thought about a three, no. Puts the ball down for a dribble and somehow gets the shot up. Rebound by Verdun. She has been boxing out and getting some rebounds out there, making it difficult for the offensive rebound to be taken there by the UConn Millerets. So the Lady Thunder have it now. That's DeBoe. DeBoe picks up her dribble, finds Lowry. Lowry out to Moylan. Moylan puts up a shot. That one just a bit short. And re retrieved by Pivniska, who finds Jefferson, makes her way all the way across the court on the right side of the key, finds Tilly. Tilly top, finds Pivniska. She puts it down with the right hand, finds Tilly. Three point. That one's going to rim in and out. Rebound. Dallas Lady Thunder. Kendall comes up with it again and falls. But gets it to Moylan. Moylan finds DeBoe. DeBoe to Verdun. And a turnover there as foul on Moylan. Henson was bringing the ball up. So Dallas, six turnovers in the ball game. UConn with only three. Just the first foul on the Thunder mm -hmm. via Reagan Moylan. Checking in is going to be Harbison. Checking in for Miss Henson, the senior. And I believe she may have hurt her wrist or her stomach, one of those. Yeah, I think she got ran into there, maybe. Jefferson has it. That's Cade Jefferson for UConn. Again, we want to welcome all our UConn fans that are watching as they are the new member here to the Oklahoma Sports Network family. That shot up, and it's going to rim in and out. Rebounded by the Lady Thunder. The UConn leads this championship game here for the 50th Annual Cluster Harrington Short Grass Classic Invitational here hosted by the Lady Bulldogs and the Bulldogs. Lady Bulldogs taking fourth as that shot is put up by Moreland. She scores. Score now 11 to 9. And the Alice's Bulldogs in the championship game that will immediately follow this game here. And they'll be taking on the Elk City Elks. 
Tilly with a three. Count it. Boom. A three bomb brought to you by the Davis family. And that puts a little bit of cushion there as the score now 14 to 9 for the Lady Millerets. Or the Millerets, I guess we would say. And another turnover there. One thing that I have seen watching these guys, Coach, uh, and as a three-point comes up, no-go rebound there by Blake, is that they are very good on defense, Coach. Oh, they're pesky, uh, all of them. Mm -hmm. Tilly, both Jeffersons. Uh, Harbison's really good, Harbison, too. Harbison, and then even Henson, who's on the bench now, just a real handsy. As Kendall comes back, yeah. knocked out a three of her own. Last year's MVP says, hey, I'm still here. Yeah, 14, 14 to 12. 12. <laughs> yes. Jinx, you owe me a Coke, and they're all out of Cokes in the hospitality room. So <laughs> as the big man takes a shot, that one just a bit short, but rebound by Tilly. First offensive rebound I've seen here in a while. As she takes the baseline and draws a foul. Oh, they're going to say the foul was on the floor. So it that shot not going to count. And the only second foul by the she, Dallas Lady Thunder. She hit a couple yesterday, but Niska, she hit a three in the first half. Yeah, she had five in that game yesterday. And uh, Smith checking back in here for Piv, Piv Niska. As Tilly looking for some help, finds Jefferson. That's Kinley Jefferson who finds Tilly. Tilly to Harbison. Harbison puts it down with the right hand. The floater tried to get it up. No go. Rebound by Verdun. Verdun to Kendall. Oh, and throws it away. Didn't even see Tilly there. Eight turnovers in the ball game, and right back to back turnovers as UConn turns it over as well. But that's only their fourth of the of the first half. That still was by number ten mm -hmm. for the Thunder, Ezra Hernandez, as she gets in her first action for the Thunder. As we're going to have a timeout by the Dallas Thunder. And with that being said, we got 3:57 left here in this second quarter. You are watching. The 50th annual Cluster Harrington Short Grass Classic Invitational here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. <laughs> Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway. All right, welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. You are watching the 50th annual Cluster Harrington. Short Grass Classic Invitation. What's well, championship Saturday? This is a championship game on the girls' side here. Coach T and Coach Clothier are on the call. Jordan and Coach Clothier have been doing a great day all day yesterday and uh, all day today. I was able to get back early from our tournament, and uh, I said, hey, why not? You guys don't mind if I jump in and call some basketball? And Jordan was like, go right ahead. I'm going to try to see if he can get down there and be the PA announcer as Verdun puts up a shot and draws the foul for the championship game with the boys here, as that's set to be an exciting one. Thing with Elk City though, Coach, as we talk a little bit here about this uh, championship coming up for the boys, Elk City very disciplined, very disciplined. They, uh, they play team ball really well, Coach. Yeah, they had scoring, and I think double digits from four different guys yesterday, and a, a, a fifth and six right there at eight and nine points. Yeah. I was talking to Jordan earlier about that, about they're going to get scoring from seven or eight guys. And, uh, you know, if they can shut down the one or two scoring we get sometimes, it could be a difficult night. Yep. But, uh, yeah, very difficult. So score now 14 to 13. Well, 14 to yeah, 12 she, still. Well, she made, that, she, she made that second one. Blake finds short. Short to Verdun. Verdun takes a step in, can't get it to fall. Good rebound there. 14 to 11. It should be 13. There it is. 14 to 13. 303 left here in the first quarter. Smith down low, kicks it out to Tilly. She puts up a three. Count it. Boom. A three dog. A three. It's not a bulldog three, but it's a three nonetheless. Brought to you by the Davis family. 
It's kind of hard not to say Bulldog three bomb as you've been calling that all season. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, she's got three in the game already. So probably a, a toenail from having four. Uh, yes, for sure. 17 to 13 is the score, and we got a foul. <laughs> and as we're talking, she's sacrificing her body, but she is going to draw the foul there. That's going to be the second one, Gabby Tilly. Did you see her hunker down there after yeah. that foul? Like, no, please, don't step on me. Yeah. Kind of a hard luck foul on that one. So we're doing with the first shot. That one does fall, so 14 to 17 is the score. There's a whole bunch of subs going to come in for the Millerettes. And she makes both of them. So it's 15 to 17. Henson has it, finds Tilly. Tilly back to Henson. Henson's checked in for the Millerettes. Finds Tilly, who finds Jefferson. Jefferson has it to Tilly. Jefferson. As number 12 is checked in as well. That's Avery Sims. Jefferson going to drive all the way with the left hand. Put it up and off the glass. Ho, 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 ho. What a shot by Cade Jefferson. 19 to 15 is the score. It's 153 and counting here in the second quarter and the first half of this championship basketball game here at the 50th annual Cluster Harrington Classic Invitational. That's a short class, Classic Invitational. Dallas Lady Thunder, no, uh, no stranger to the championship games here <laughs> at the Short Grass Invitational. And charge, so that foul's gonna be on Miss Kendall. She got herself kinda caught in the air and didn't have a choice and end up running right over. Gonna be her first, second team foul, or third team foul, I guess. I missed one earlier. Yeah, third team foul. As Jefferson brings the ball up with just 90 seconds here left in the first half. Jefferson finds Smith. Smith puts it up. The floater can't get it to fall and gets her own rebound. Or no, that's Pizniska, I'm sorry. Tilly puts up a floater of her own, and Verdun does not let that. Rebound get passed Comes as she finds Kendall. 100th rebound of the tournament. Ah, uh, yes. She is here in the first half. She's got to have at least double digits rebounds already. Oh, and there's a three by Moylan. Makes it a one point ball game, 19 to 18, under one minute left here. Let's see how the Millerettes respond. Tilly to Jefferson. Jefferson, top of the key. She's going to drive, kick out to Sims. Sims to Tilly to Henderson. Henderson back to Tilly. I wouldn't be surprised if. Tilly looks for that last shot and gets it down to Pivniska. Oh, and they're going to say hit the baseline, so a turnover. Fifth turnover of the ball game. And let's see if the Lady Thunder can go into halftime with a lead. You know they're going to take a shot here, so Kendall bringing the ball down. Behind the back there. Nearly, oh, and she loses it. Good defense there. By Jefferson. Jefferson puts it up. Counted two points for the Millerettes. 21 to 18 is the score. Another. No, they're gonna. He's gonna call a foul. Foul on Blake. Yeah, after that turnover, <clears throat> she pushed down mm -hmm. the player. So add an injury to insult here. So with 15 seconds left. That is an eternity here for the Yukon Millerettes to put up some more numbers on the scoreboard there. And like you like to say, Coach, change that number with every offensive possession as Henderson puts up a shot. Ooh, last touch by the Lady Thunder, so it's still Millerette basketball. 2.2 seconds left, so it should be a catch-and-shoot situation here. Or an alley-oop dunk. <laughs> as Tilly has it. Steps back, puts it up. Oh, and just short and like that at the end of the first half in this championship game here at the 50th Annual Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Classic Invitational. Your UConn Millerettes lead 21-18. You're watching the 50th Annual Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Invitational here at Cletus B Street Fieldhouse in Altus, Oklahoma. Your home of the Lady Bulldogs and the Altus Bulldogs. It's championship Saturday. This is championship basketball on the girls' side and immediately following the championship game, the Altus Bulldogs versus the Elk City Elks here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. 
Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is close Closer than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. Take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma, but mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattlemen's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored.
For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. You are watching Championship Basketball. Oh, and uh, there we go. There. <coughs> so I've got to readjust this here, and so we're going to get this thing started here again. Boylan with the shot there. Can't get it to fall. Oh, the Millerets have it and a takeaway there by the Dallas Lady Thunder and a foul. Oh, no. It is a foul on Moylan they're going to call. be her second foul, first team foul of the second half for the Thunder. So let's see what we got here. You call Millerets have it moving the ball. Sims to Tilly. Tilly top of the key. Looking down low to Jefferson and a turnover. Dallas has it. As Looking for some help here, gets it to Kendall. And 10 second violation, so another turnover. Just fix and say how efficient you, the Millerets were, already two turnovers here in the yes. second half, the first half. Two turnovers apiece, start the second half, both teams. Jefferson has it here, finds Jefferson who finds Sims. Sims down low to Tilly. Tilly, oh, she's gonna get it poked out, but last touch by Dallas, so it's gonna be UConn basketball. Score still 18 to 21 here. Moving the ball, there's Tilly with a three-point shot. That one not going to fall. Rebound by Verdun. Verdun has it here. And 
Tatooine with a basket and one here. Well, it's going to be on Callie Harbison. Harbison, her second. Just the first of the half. And so now the score 21 to 21. All right, looks like we got all our technical stuff here taken care of as our clock was a little jacked up. But we got it fixed up there. So 622 encounter here in the third quarter. Jefferson has it, kicks it out to Harbison. Harbison has it, finds Sims. Sims top of the key. She's driving, finds Jefferson left side, dribbles with the right hand, gets to the free throw line, finds Harbison, kick out to Jefferson. Jefferson dribbles with the left, kick out to Sims. Sims thought about a three, no finds. Harbison swings out to Tilly. Tilly top of the key has it for the Millerets. In a zone defense, the Lady Thunder R2-3 zone looks like. And so looking to reset here, Tilly does, and the Millerets, they uh, had a lead, but Dallas has cut into it in another turnover there by UConn. As Verdun puts up a shot, count it, and one. And they're going to get Gabby Tilly on that block, and that's going to be her third as she's been primary ball handler and yep. shooter, and that's going to be a choice for the coach now. <clears throat> Uh, what what to do so he might have to sub her out the three foul already here in the third quarter yeah and she's pretty much one that puts in plays a lot of minutes and just like that the Dallas Lady Thunder take the lead 24 to 21 as Jefferson has it finds Sims Sims puts up a three that one rims in and out but rebound by Jefferson lost the handle and it's going to be a jump ball possession arrow in favor of UConn. This so one Henderson going to be checking in here. Coach, go ahead. Sorry, I cut I just, you off. I was just going to say the same thing. Rena Henson going to come in. They're going to replace. Henderson. They're going to replace uh, every Sims. Mm -hmm. And Short is going to replace Abigail Lowry for the Thunder. So Tilly's still in. And oh, there's a foul there. That's on Verdun. And that was Henson. Raina Henson, she's going to go to the line. Just the first foul on Verdun, but the second foul of the half. For the team. So Henson, the first shot here for the Millerets. Can't get the friendly roll with 527 here left in the third quarter. Brought to you by the Oklahoma Sports Network. You're home for high school sports, where sports is our middle name. Makes the second one there. So it's 22, excuse me, to 24. One possession ball game. And a turnover there by Dallas. Oh, and a backcourt. So another turnover. Man, I didn't think that she was. I thought she was on the. Oh, but she did dribble back that. You're right. You got yeah. all three points. Both feet and the ball yep. on this side. And then one back. <clears throat> Easy mistake. Yep. 5 16 and counting here in the third quarter. Lady Thunder lead by two. Kendall has it, gets the pick, looking for Verdun. Oh, and a good defensive block there by Kay Jefferson. Heads up play there, Coach. Yeah, give up about a foot and a half. Mm -hmm. And but saw Verdun coming in and got to the ball at its low point before she could get it above her head and blocks it out of bounds. Kendall looking to inbound the pass. Finds Verdun again. Verdun. Oh, going to draw the foul on Jefferson. She knows it, too. That's on Kinley Jefferson. The Millerets trail by two. That's going to be her second, 13th foul. Verdun back at the line. Makes that one. So, Coach, you talk about it all the time, being able to change the number while you're at the charity stripe, and we're seeing the Lady Thunder do that right now, which is itching in. That itched into that lead, gave them the lead, and just like that, 26 to 22, two possession ball game. 30 second timeout taken. We're going to take one with them. You're watching Shortgrass Classic Invitational Basketball here on the Oklahoma Sports Network.
For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. You're watching the Short Grass Classic Invitational here live at Cletus Beach Street Fieldhouse in Altus, Oklahoma. You're home for Lady Bulldogs and the Altus Bulldog basketball squads. As Harbison has it, finds Jefferson. Jefferson with the left hand, creates her own lane, puts up a shot. That one's going to be a little bit short. Oh. And a foul on Verdun. I can say she pushed off. So that's her third, correct? They're going to get DeBose. Oh, they're going to call it on DeBose. Okay. Yeah. I, all right. Just her first. Well, let's see if Kinley Jefferson can change the number here. Puts the first one up. Just a little bit off. We Four. have noticed on this end, just on this end of the floor, there seems like somebody's up there with a the remote. <laughs> on, off, whether that rim is shut or open. Yeah. Because some of those shots just go in and out. It's been a bad shooting day for everybody on this end. For some reason, this end of the floor. Well, did they let you play with the uh, goals again, Coach? Nah, <laughs> I don't hang on them anymore. I don't yeah. have that kind of. As Moreland brings the ball up, finds Verdun. Henson got her hand in there. Kendall can't leave her alone. That shot doesn't fall, but the other big man there for Dallas Thunder, Blake, gets the rebound, gets it right back out to Verdun. Verdun has it. And a dribble kicks out to Blake. Blake puts up the long three. That one doesn't go. Verdun with the size advantage, though, going hard in the paint. Puts it up, gets her own rebound, no go. And called a foul. No foul there called. Tilly has it. There's a foul on Moylan. That's going to be the third on Moylan. And that's going to be four on the team. And so As Moylan has cut her time short in all three contests because of foul issues. And she's a pretty deadly three-point shooter she as well. She is, yes. Lowry checks back in. Jefferson has it for the Millerettes. Crosses over to the left. Kicks out to Harbison. Harbin has it. Finds Jefferson. Jefferson. Finds Henson. Henson with the left. Throws it to... Oh, good athletic play there. And look at Henson. Kicks it out to Harbison. Harbison finds Tilly. Tilly puts up a three. Not going to fall. And Blake comes down with it. That was some athletic uh, showmanship there by Millerance. As Kendall has it. 335 and counting here in the third quarter. Dallas lead by three, 26 to 23. It's the 50th annual Cluster Harrington Short Grass Invitational Tournament. Championship ball game here. It's championship Saturday. Oh, and a turnover. Push. Oh, and a push on Henson they're going to call. So that negates the turnover there. That makes it easy. Sometimes when they jump up and you got a hand in their back and you can see their body just kind of their legs almost come out from underneath them. So. Yeah. So Lady Thunder basketball underneath the ga uh, their goal. Verdun has it top of the key. She's guarded by Henson. Kendall with a deep three. Not going to fall. And Henson, man, just the size advantage, being able to get down there and just rake in. Rebounds three in a row. And the foul on Henson. Again, I'm, I'm so, now we bring one of the bigs in here. Like I just, I don't, I don't, I don't understand, Coach. Well, well, I, know, I mean, you're I about Smith has had two fouls. Uh huh. P P P Pivniska, Pivniska <laughs> has not had two fouls. That one falls. But Verdun has been lethal at the line. It's 27 to 23 with three minutes left. Smith comes in. It gives that size. Henson, the senior. Doing all that she can, but giving up about a foot there to Verdun. She makes both of them. A good outing by Raina Henson, the senior at UConn. 28-23, under three minutes. Smith down low. Put up a shot, couldn't get her own rebound. Short has it. Quickly double teamed. And a turnover there. Oh, yep, still a turnover. UConn has it. Or, no, it's a turnover on. Oh, look at the shot there. Not going to fall. Turnover on Dallas. Let's 
Let's see what we got here. We have Moylan checking back in for short. Moylan playing with three fouls here with 2.40 left here in the third quarter. Thunder lead by five, 28 to 23. Lowry has it. Lowry to Verdun. Verdun to Kendall. Kendall guarded by Harbison. Kendall with a nice move there, gets it to fall. They're going to add to that lead. It's going to be 30 to 23. Kind of waiting to see a little something like that from Kendall. Yep. Oh, and oh. Tilly <laughs> with a shot <laughs> blocked by Verdun, but a foul is going to be called on Verdun. That looked pretty clean. Hear my helicopter noise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. A big Apache there right in the middle of the, uh, of the paint. And Tilly can't get that one to fall. As I think they maybe got her out on the downside of, the, uh, of that SWAT. Maybe got her with the body. Maybe. It, it looked clean. It did. She makes that one, though, Tilly does. So it does get to change the number. It is 24 to 28. Or 24 to 30, excuse me. And a turnover there by Dallas. Kick out to Harbison, who finds Tilly. Tilly tries to put the shot up, and a good rebound there by Smith. Oh, can't quite last touch by UConn. Good hustle there underneath the basket. Two on one left. Uh, dangerous. Kind of a scary. Yeah, that fall there. Like yeah, that was kind of. Took a leg out. You know. Yeah. That, that tall. You definitely, possibly see knee injury or something like that. But she walked it off. Not coming out. You know, we got another sub. Checking back in is DeBow, and then Short coming in for Lowry. I'm not surprised to see this press by UConn, but I thought they might come out and do it right off. But. Yeah. As Kendall looking for some help. Find Short. Oh, oh. Got away with the foul there. Kendall to Verdun. Verdun to Moylan. Moylan going to kick out to DeBose. She puts up a three, not going to fall. And the rebound by Smith. No, it's a jump ball. <laughs> Let's see. Somebody called timeout. Timeout by the Thunder. Oh, no. Uh, jump ball, jump ball. Yeah. <laughs> but this ref, this ref over here keeps point, pointing to the – oh, no, he's pointing possession, UConn or Dallas. Yeah. I thought he was pointing to the Dallas uh, bench there. What do, we, what, what do we got here? He's just making sure there's – he can see space and not people holding each other. Yeah. Verdun puts up a shot, got away with a little travel there. 32 to 24 is the score. Harbison has it. Smith puts up a shot, can't get it, kick out to Tilly. Tilly going to take the long two, can't get it to fall, and a foul. That's if that's on Moylan. That's her fourth. Yeah, it is. They're gonna not necessarily on the shot, but on the block out. Yeah. As she gets pushed down, that will be the number four on Moylan. And so going to the line is Miss Tilly, the junior, Gabby Tilly. Makes the first one. It was a foul. Ball didn't lie there, so. Definite foul. And then um, checking in is going to be number 32 Kayla for Mathis. Dallas. Yep. Miss Mathis. She played in the first quarter for just a little bit and now here in the third. She'll probably get some significant play time. 26 to 32. Lead is six. And the double team, Verdun, gets past that. Kendall, kick out to Mathis. Mathis has it looking down low to Kendall, who loses it, nearly loses it, gets it. Finds Verdun, who finds Mathis. Mathis is going to swing over here to Short. Finds DeBow to Short. Short. Oh, nearly throws it away. Kendall somehow finds Short. Good heads up play there by Kendall. She is heady. Daughter of the coach. She yep. Is. Oh, on the line. Nothing there. Okay. Kendall somehow again going to try to fight for it. And it's a turnover. UConn comes up with it. Jefferson takes a long two. That one not going to fall. Rebound Mathis. As it was only one Millerette down there. Oh, and another uh -huh. turnover. Jefferson shouldn't miss this one. That one does count. That's going to be 28 
as they're pressing now. DeBow has it. Back out to Kendall. Kendall looking for a pass. Oh, and Tilly was looking for that interception as it was tipped out of bounds there by Smith. You do not want to throw the ball. <laughs> no. Anyway, you got to the vision of both Jeffersons and yes. Tilly, they're just they're just sitting there waiting. They, we need them on uh, yes, you know, the junior yeah. high football I'm team. I'm telling back there you, at man. Safeties and corners. Maybe that's the, what I was going to say. Some <laughs> some some good defensive backs there. Yeah. As heads on the swivel at all times, arms in the passing lane. Good defenders. As Lowry finds uh, finds Kendall, Kendall to Lowry. Short to Blake, back to Short, down low to Verdun. She's going to put up a shot and draw the foul. Yeah. And that's going to be on Smith. No he, shot on the floor. If okay. you knew where you were at, you just let her shoot that. She shot that right into the side of the back. That's going to be on uh, Ashland Smith, her third. All three of them are on trying to defend for Verdun. Blake puts up a long 15-footer, no go. And Lowry... Yeah. Not going to be able to get the shot up there, so we're going to have an eventful here fourth quarter as the Dallas Lady Thunder lead 32-28 to 28 over the UConn Millerettes. We'll be right back. You are watching Shortgrass Classic Invitational, the 50th annual Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Classic Invitational here live on the Oklahoma Sports Network. <laughs> We come from different backgrounds, with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored. All right, welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. We're start of the fourth quarter here. It's championship Saturday. Championship girls basketball game here at the Cluster Harrington 50th Annual Short Grass Classic Invitational. The Millerettes have it. That's Jefferson who finds Harbison. Harbison dribbles with the left, looking for some help, finds Jefferson top of the key. She dribbles with the left. What an illegal screen. Got a legal screen. On Harbison. So it's that's third. That is a turnover and a foul. An important foul because <clears throat> not Seven. being offensive, but it'll be Dallas will be. In the bonus. In the bonus. Dallas breaking the uh, press here. Moylan has it. Let's see what they do offensively. If they just try to eat up clock, take the last shot here with time, or if they're going to just go ahead and, oh, my goodness. You've got to defend her. As Kendall with another two points, 34 to 28. Jefferson to Tilly. Tilly to Jefferson. Jefferson puts up a three, not going to fall. DeBose comes down with it, Ooh. finds Kendall. Kendall one-on-one, -on -one. jump stop shot, not going to fall. DeBose with the rebound. She's going to put up a shot, that one not going to fall. And Jefferson comes down with it, and she cuts through three, crosses over, puts up a shot, counted two points for the Millerettes. Well, I believe that's going to be on Moylan, which is going to end her tournament. And a foul, so and one. Yeah, she's walking off the court. She already knows. <laughs> Which, like you said, is a big hit for Dallas because she is a sniper from beyond the arc there, Coach. She is. So now both teams are going to be on the bonus this last 6.54. It's going to be interesting. Going to be interesting. Jefferson with the shot here. 
She makes it count. 31 to 34. It is a one possession ball game now. Kendall has it to DeBoe. DeBoe to Verdun. Verdun oh. has it. Oh, got the hold there. I know you saw it. I saw it too. Kendall has it. Dribbles with the right hand. Finds Matt or Lowry. Lowry looking for short. Short underneath the basket. Kick out to Kendall. Pass just a little bit off. She finds DeBoe. They look to set up the offense again. Lowry top of the key finds Kendall. Kendall right side of the key looking down low to Verdun. She's quickly double teamed. Kick out to DeBoe. DeBoe to Verdun top of the key. She's at the charity stripe. Finds Lowry. Lowry finds Kendall. Kendall somehow gets past the pesky defense of the Millerettes. And Verdun puts up a shot. That one's going to fall. Wow. <laughs> right off the backboard. And we're going to have a timeout on the officials. Uh, I guess. I guess a warning to the uh, <laughs> warning to the bench. The officials. Uh, I talked to Jamal here just before this game, and they're not putting up with it. Any, any. I guess it's been a long day of some long uh, <laughs> of some. Uh, Talking there off the bench side, whether it be players or coaches, and so a warning on the bench there for the Dallas Lady Thunder. Jefferson puts it up. That one's going to rim in and out and rebound by Tilly. Oh, and she gets it right back to the Dallas Lady Thunder. So 11 turnovers as Verdun has it, finds Lowry. Lowry, guarded by Tilly, finds Kendall. Kendall has it. Lead is five. Short, top of the key. Short. Really just a really good defender and, and facilitator here on offense. Yes, as well as Lowry is. Yep. And as we say that, a turnover. She was guarded by one of them Jefferson. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. you Here's the other Jefferson here. That's Kenley Jefferson who finds Tilly. Tilly's going to take a three. Ooh. Count it. Boom. A three bomb brought to you by the Davis family. Oh, and just like that, it is a ball game. 34 to 36 with 518 here left in the fourth quarter. We're going to, hey, <laughs> 30 second timeout. We're going to take one with them. You're watching Short Grass Classic Invitational here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Oh, full timeout. So we'll be gone for just a minute. And we'll be right back here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Strong Tower Ministries. For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. All right, welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. We are in the fourth quarter. <coughs> Excuse me, 518 left here in the quarter. It's the 50th annual Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Classic Invitational Championship Saturday. It's a championship game for the girls here as the Lady Thunder lead by two, 36-34. The Yukon Millerettes on defense here as Kendall, top of the key, finds Short. Short to the right side to Kendall, the top of the key, guarded by Tilly. Finds Mathis. Mathis guarded by Harbison. Back to Kendall, to Tilly, to Verdun. At the top, looking to do something, nothing there. Finds Short. Short right back to Verdun, and there's the reach. They're going to call that on Pivniska. And she reached over, and so. Just her first, but it. But it is the eighth team foul. Yeah, we're in the bonus at this point, so every foul defensively is going to be a and shooting foul. Verdun with 20 points here. She's been great at the line. Misses the first one. Rebound, Pivniska. Give her the old broadcaster curse. <laughs> Pivniska from the three. Oh, and it bounces over the goal. 36-34 <laughs> still. 439 left here in the fourth quarter. As UConn in a pre... Oh. 
Blake handles it, finds short. Short for the Lady Thunder. And the backcourt gets past the halfway mark. And Harbison, man, I'm telling you, pesky, pesky, pesky defenders here, the Millerettes. They give up size. We talked about that at the first. Mm -hmm. But they don't give up speed and attitude on defense because they will get up in your chili and, and make you earn it. And, Coach, just the spatial awareness, man, because they can seem like they're out of position, but somehow, some way, get their hand on the ball, come up with the steal, a deflection to create that turnover. 420 and counting. 34-36. Kendall has it. Ooh, oh, no. and throws it away. She oh. has not had a good day handling the ball. 19 turnovers there for Dallas Lady Thunder. And it's a one-possession ball game with 413. Lots of time left to play, though. Jefferson to Pivniska to Harbison to Jefferson. Oh, Jefferson mishandles it. Last touch by, oh, they're going to say UConn. It last touch like it hit off of Short's hands and it may be right off of Jefferson's right at the end. We're going to have a full timeout now by the Thunder. So, so a, a Lady Thunder full timeout. We'll take another full timeout with them. You're watching Short Grass Classic Invitational Basketball here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. You're watching the 50th Annual Cluster Harrington Classic Invitational. Championship Saturday. It's a championship game here on the girls' side. The Dallas Lady Thunder and the Yukon Millerettes. Yukon trail by two. They break that press but nearly turn it over. Oh, they do as Tilly comes away with it. And that is 20 turnovers in the ballgame for Dallas. As Jefferson finds Tilly. Puts it down with the right hand. Finds Jefferson again. K. Jefferson. Oh, create. Oh, finds Harbison. Had a lane there. Jefferson to Jefferson. It's a great name for a uh, band's album. Jefferson to Jefferson. And Tilly with the dribble. Look at that. Oh, my good. Couldn't quite get it to fall. Verdun comes down with the rebound. That is her 622nd rebound of the tournament, like you say, Coach. She's been a rebounding machine. Kendall has it top of the key. Finds Mathis. Kendall. Guarded by Tilly. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. and there Jefferson, I'm telling you, man, all over the place. Back to Kendall. 258 and counting here in the fourth quarter. Finds Verdun. The big man out up top. Looking for that pick. She's left alone. Gets it right back to Kendall. Kendall guarded by, oh, guarded by Tilly to Jefferson and left alone. Harbison, someone's got to get on the big man there. So, Size advantage in favor of Dallas. And so there's Verdun. She's got a lane all the way to the basket oh. and can't capitalize on it. And we're going to have it travel. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. She came she down on her down, side. Yeah. And as soon as you roll over, that changes. Yeah. They say that changes your pivot foot. So she's oh, going to need to But a great rebound by Henson because uh, Verdun had a, a almost <laughs> what you would call a free reign to the basket. Yes. And she missed the layup. So. Kendall, I was surprised they didn't call a foul there either, but yeah, there was a fall there, and and on the line, so there's a turnover there, number 21 in the game. 219 and counting here in the fourth quarter. The UConn Millerettes trail by two points. 
Jefferson has it past the halfway mark. Guarded by Kendall. Jefferson kicks it out to Harbison who finds Tilly. Tilly's got it, puts it down with the right hand, finds Jefferson on the right side. Jefferson with the left, creates her own lane, puts up the floater, not going to fall. The rebound by Verdun. Gets it out to Kendall. Kendall guarded by the Jeffersons. Oh, my goodness. Jefferson to tie it up. Count it two points. 36 to 36. And another turnover there by the Dallas Lady Thunder. Kendall has it. Finds Lowry. Lowry past the halfway mark. Dribbling with the right hand. Finds Short. Short on the right side here. On the east side of the court. Started her dribble. Finds Kendall with 130 and counting. Tie ball game. Kendall look away. Put up the shot. Oh, and misses. Verdun can't come down with it. Henson smart play there by the senior. Taps it out out of reach of the long-armed Verdun. Gets it to Tilly. Tilly has it with just 115 left. The Yukon finds Jefferson. The Millerets and Yukon. The tie ball game here. Championship game for the girls' side on the girls' bracket. 50th annual Cluster Harrington. Short grass classic invitational. Jefferson to Jefferson. Cade to Kinley. Jefferson to Tilly. Tilly has it. Under a minute now. 42 seconds. 42 seconds. Playing last shot basketball here. And a timeout called by UConn. Tie ball game here with 31.7 seconds here. I had to turn around and tell my cameraman to to, to be quiet there. I'm picking him up on the mic there. Uh, we're going to stay right here. Man, I'm telling you, this, this turned out This has turned out to be a really good championship game on the girls' side here where the Dallas Lady Thunder are taking on the Yukon Millerets. Verdun having a good game. And the defense has shown up here in the fourth quarter for the Yukon Millerets coach to get them to this point uh, of the uh, – to get them to uh, you know tie up here with Dallas, who was in the lead here, Coach. Well, they changed to that press. Yep. And once they went to the press, it's something they usually do. We've seen them in, in every game so far. Use that press from the gate. Yep. That speed, that length, that quickness. As soon as they did that, and uh, they've kind of got the thunder out of their rhythm of getting down there and having that offense focus on Kendall and Verdun. So it's kind of taking them out of the rhythm. And then now they've had that lead and they're trying to hang on. And the Millerettes have done a great job at plugging away. Now they're yes. tied up. They have the ball. And it's, this is where your coaches, this is where you earn your, earn your paycheck. Mm -hmm. From the start to the very end, usually, is on the players. At this point, it's coaching strategy, who's in there, personnel, who can shoot free throws, all this kind of stuff. <laughs> Inbound yes. plays. Uh, all that comes real scrutinized at this time of the game. But with under 30 seconds left, we got 25 on the clock. Jefferson has it. Oh, and nearly gets it picked. Finds Harbison. Harbison to Jefferson. Jefferson, 14 seconds left. Harbison looking for Tilly. Oh, Finds there's Tilly. Carry. There's a carry. Tilly puts up a shot. Carry! She made it! Points by the Yukon Millerettes! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, a runner by Tilly. With the floater. I, she hit that with about five seconds left. <laughs> I was looking at the clock. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna discuss that right now. They, she was calling timeout way before they gave it. I think they're going to try to get clock. They're going to have full timeout. Mm -hmm, so a full they're going to put time back on the clock. So let's see how much time they put back on the clock. We will take a quick break here in a second, but let's get everything here situated. What a shot there by Tilly. Tilly, man, I mean, I'm telling you, she had a great game last night, had a great game when I called him on Thursday. Uh, I mean, just just has been clutch for the UConn Millerettes, Coach. Uh, well, she uh, – <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like the Hoosiers. <laughs> They're in the play, and they're like, draw the play, and then the kids all put their heads down, and then he, it, Jimmy Chitwood says, but, Coach, I'll make it. Yeah. And I'm sure Tilly's over there saying, Coach, just give me the ball. Exactly. I'll make it. And uh, 
it looked like the play they had drawn up kind of fell apart due to the defense of the Thunder, and she just like, I'm just going to take it upon myself to go in here, and she makes a big time shot. She you know, big does. time players make big Those time big shots, time shots yeah. at the, in the big time clutch, but there's still going to be time. They put yeah. 3.1. 3.1 back on Not the clock. much of a difference, but I can tell you right now, after running sprints <laughs> <laughs> with kids, having them run sprints, yeah. you can get down the floor in three seconds. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you can get it in, it's usually. Three seconds or a one a point five. You can get two dribbles and a shot within three seconds for sure. So it depends on who you get it to. Yeah, and and, and Dallas definitely has. Oh, oh and a turnover. Oh, that is the ball game. Oh. Twenty three turnovers in the game for Dallas, and Dallas comes up short. Your UConn Millerets championship winners here at the fiftieth annual Cluster Harrington. Short Grass Classic Invitational. They take it on the ladies bracket on the ladies side. Win the championship. Congratulations to the Yukon Millerets. Again, man. Uh, it's great for uh, I mean it, it's great for us as they are part of our as they are part of our Oklahoma Sports Network family. And so, I mean, their boys took third, correct? Uh, yep, the, the, uh, the Yukon Millers took third here at Shorngrass. The girls uh, walking away with first. And uh, man, 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 oh man, what a game. And that's just, that's just the prelude to what's coming, Coach, as the Altus Bulldogs are set to take on the Elk City Elks. And it has been, I tell you what, it has been 25, or how long, 18 years? 18. How long you been out of school? <laughs> how long has it been? 25, yeah. So, 25. So 25 years, 25 years since the Altus Bulldogs have been in the championship uh, game here in short grass, but man, wow, 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 wow. With that being said, let's take a quick, well, we're going to take a break before this championship game. Congratulations to the UConn Millerets again. Uh, the Lady Thunder taking second. What a game, what a game, but we've got one here that's about to start brewing with the Altus Bulldogs taking on the Elk City Elks here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs, both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is close than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. 
pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma, but mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattlemen's Bank, we proudly say, Go with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored. For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. The new season just dropped. Enter the big dinner box from Pizza Hut. Two pizzas, breadsticks, and wings all in one box. You'll run out of episodes before you run out of food.
The Big Dinner Box, only from Pizza Hut. No one out beats the hut. Pizza Hut stuffed crust is the crust that made crust good. Topped and stuffed with over a half pound of cheese. What are you so afraid of? Loving it? Original stuffed crust, only from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. All right, welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. You are watching the 50th annual Cluster Harrington Short Grass Classic Invitational. It's championship Saturday, and we had a great one here for the girls' side of the bracket uh, where the Yukon Millerettes were able to come away tournament champions, and for the first time in 25 years, the Altus Bulldogs in the championship game here at the Short Grass Tournament. And I've got with us here the head coach for the Altus High School Varsity Squad, Coach Todd Whitmore. Coach, how you doing? I'm doing great. Doing hey. great. Great atmosphere tonight. Yes. We're in the finals. Yep. Hey, life is good. Yeah. Hey, Coach, man. Hey, man, let me tell you, dude, what a great job you guys have been doing, what you've been doing as well. Uh, loving the run and gun offense, loving the intensity, loving loving what, uh, what this squad is bringing, Coach. So just real quick, talk to us a little bit about, about uh, what you've seen this season and what it's taken to mesh this team together. Well, we're a work in progress. We're like a big... Uh, we started out as a big ball of clay, mm -hmm. and now we're starting to work it down and shape it and form it, and it's starting yep. to look pretty darn good. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm just driving the bus. <laughs> God put gas in it, and, yeah. uh, and, and we're just letting him do the navigating. And these kids, hey, they're making me look good. I'm not doing that much, <laughs> I promise you. These kids are tired of losing. Yeah, they're exactly. They're tired of losing. They want to be winners. There you go. So tonight's a mindset, Coach. Uh, you know, it ain't about X's and O's. Mm -hmm. It's kind of about Jimmy's and Joe's, but I, I just want them to believe mm -hmm. that they can accomplish something that other people don't think they can. Exactly. And, and, and I mean, Coach, we saw that last night with a great win at the end of the game there, 58-56 to 56 over Star Spencer, to get you guys here into the championship game. And like I said, first time in 25 years, Coach, uh, I'm telling you, man, I've been calling Bulldog basketball. I mean, I'm talking all the way back to radio for a while now. And, uh, man... It's just this team, this atmosphere, uh, I mean, they just look different. I mean, they're playing together as a team, which we haven't seen in a long time. And like you said, Coach, I think you hit the nail on the head there where these boys are just tired of losing. And so they've come together as a squad, and they are playing great basketball. And I tell you what, man, these last few weeks, uh, you know, uh, you know, with you know, with our conference games and just games that have been going on in general and coming into this short grass tournament, it has been a great-looking squad, Coach. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not from here, so I really don't know, being from Woodward, how it looked. But, like, I'm pleased with the plot progress we made after Christmas. We yeah. really buckled down and focused. And, you know, we got an opportunity to make a memory here. You know, oh, they, yeah. they remember the last time we were in the finals, but nobody's talking about the last time we won it. Exactly. So, in, in my hopes... I uh, do enough to not screw things up tonight so these boys can carry me. <laughs> Their backs are sore because they've been carrying me the first two games <laughs> of the tournament. But we'll see if I can step up and help out a little bit tonight, okay? Well, Coach, you've been doing great. And, uh, man, hey, listen, uh, again, good luck to you guys here. Now, uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that we're playing Elk City, and we actually face Elk City later, on this, a, year. Yeah, later on this year. And so this is just a, this is just a precursor to what you're going to see later on, ladies and gentlemen. But I wanted to get a talk with you, Coach. Yes. Uh, here on the Oklahoma Sports Network again. Hey, congrats to uh, congrats to the season so far. Congrats to you guys here in the tournament, and good luck to you. We're going to be rooting for you. I'm going to be I'm going to be screaming loud here on the uh, on the network, coach. And man, you're always welcome if you ever want to come up and talk with us. All right. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for what you do. A lot of people can't make to the games, and you make it available. So yeah. you guys do a great job. Thanks for putting the kids first. Oh yeah. Love always. you guys, and thank you. All right. Thanks, coach. That there was was. Coach Todd Whitmore, uh, the head coach for the Altus Bulldogs here again. Uh, the um, first time in 25 years that the Altus Bulldogs have uh, made their way into the championship game. And, uh, man, it's going to be a good one. We're excited. And we got about seven minutes and 30 seconds here before we get started. We're going to get our starters here all set. We'll come back and announce those starters here for both sides of the uh, 
of the uh, of the court here for the Elk City Elks and the Altas Bulldogs. It's championship Saturday here at Cletus B Street Fieldhouse. You're home for the Altas Bulldogs. We got Bulldog basketball playing championship Saturday here in the finals of the 50th annual Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Classic Invitational on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is closer than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group, 106 West Broadway in Altus. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. We take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma, but mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattleman's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. 
can't join us that morning, we also have Sunday evening services starting at 4, and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored. For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. You are watching Bulldog Basketball live here from Cletus B Street Fieldhouse in Alice's Oklahoma, home of your Lady Bulldogs and Bulldogs. It is Championship Saturday as the Yukon Millerettes are the Lady Champions on the Lady side of the bracket. And here on the boy side, Championship Saturday. I don't want to see another Last second shot, although it was exciting <laughs> yeah. as a last second shot by the Millerettes to win that one. But if it's the Bulldogs making the last second shot to win, I'll take it. But yeah. I don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> but, again, first time in 25 years, Coach, your Altus Bulldogs are here playing for a chance at the, the title for the short grass tournament. And before we announce our starters – Brought to you by Life is a Batch Bakery, the all tournament team for the girls. Number three, Danny McClune, Frederick. Number 15, Danny Davis Altus. Number 14, Haley Bowie, Elk City. And Miss Robbins from Elk City. Number 22, Moylan from Dallas. Kendall from Dallas. Verdun from Dallas. Jefferson, K. Jefferson from Yukon. Harbison from Yukon. And your MVP from Yukon. Gabby Tilly, the all-tournament team there for the 2023 Short Grass Classic Invitation. Championship Saturday versus the Elk City Elks and the Altus Bulldogs. So number two, Damon Jackson starting for the Elk City Elks. Number three, Cole Bowie. Number 11, Caden Dunlap. Number 13, Kai Keys, and number 15, Blake Red. Again, starting line is brought to you by Life is a Batch Bakery. Located on the corner of Hudson and Broadway. And now for your starting lineups for the Altus Bulldogs. Number two, Stefan, a.k.a. Shine Sterling. <laughs> Number five, Noah Innes. Number 12, Jace Helton getting the start. Number 23, Marquise Milton. And then number 24, Makari Milton. So the Milton brothers getting the start here. Championship Saturday. Along with Helton, Sterling, and Ennis. So a different lineup here for the Altus Bulldogs coach. Yeah, a little slightly, slightly different lineup. But if you know Coach Woodmore, he plays almost the entire bench as he did yesterday. Yep. We, we went top to bottom. He put everybody in at some point or other, and they all went in and did their jobs. And so it's whether you start or whether you not don't start, you're going to be called on at some yeah. point to get in the ball game. So, yeah, a new starting lineup. But these guys were in there a bulk of the time yesterday playing good defense. And he wants to see that kind of 
uh, effort out of guys. If they're not playing hard, he's going to get somebody in there that will. So we've got a lot of uh, eager guys on the bench ready to go. And so Elk City comes down with the tip. Bowie has it. Gets it out to number 11, Dunlap. Dunlap puts up a shot. Counted two points for Mr. Dunlap. Two to zero is the score. Marquise Milton has it. Finds Stephon Sterling. Stephon Sterling back to Milton. Milton looking to set it up. Finds the pick from his brother. Gets it right back to Makari Milton. Makari has it top of the key looking to kick it out to Stephon. Stephon, the senior, has it. Takes a three. That one not going to fall. Last touch by Elk City. Oh, they're going to say Altus touched it. So it's going to be Elk City basketball. And a long shot. <coughs> Produced a long rebound. One off Marquise there. Dunlop has it. Quickly double teamed. Finds Jackson. Jackson past the halfway mark. Kicks it out to Keys. Keys to Dunlap. Dunlap going to drive. Put up another shot. And foul going to be called on Marquise. be his first first team foul start the game so two to zero is the score Bowie oh that was a steal opportunity there Dunlock comes down with it Bowie for the three that one's gonna rim in and out and back in so the score now five to zero Elk City with a Five-point lead here early in the first. Brought to you by Custom Graphics, your home for custom Bulldog gear. Located at 521 North Main Street here in Altus, Oklahoma. Macari Milton, left side of the key to Marquise Milton. Marquise has it find Shine. Shine, top of the key, thought about a three, no. Euro step, puts a point up, and counted two points for Stefan Shine Sterling. Five to two is the score. Got to get back on defense here. As they in a press here. They got to watch out. Elk City sneaky fast. They move the ball around really well. Dunlop has it, takes a deep three. That one's going to rim in and out. And Red, turn around with the rebound. No go. Rebound, Marquise Milton. Marquise brings it down past the halfway mark for the Altus Bulldogs. Going to go all the way to the basket and draw the foul, but they're going to say it happened before. That's going to be on Cole Bowie, his first. First Elk City foul. So both teams have a foul. Start the ball game. Milton underneath finds Helton. Helton right side of the key looking for some help. Dribbles with the left, finds Milton. Milton out to Stefan. Stefan, Euro steps again and he's blocked. So a turnover. Keys. Oh, and good defense there by Stefan as a charge and a turnover. Is that one turnover piece for each squad? That's what I got. That's what I have. That's going to be on. Keys, his first as well, and the second foul for Elk City early on here in the first quarter. And Bowie and Keys, both key intervals for the Elk City Elks as Stefan bringing the ball up past the halfway mark at championship Saturday here in the Altus Bulldogs. Oh, we're going to have a illegal screen, looks like, and that's going to be called on Helton. So a turnover and the foul. You have to have your feet set. You can't move mm -hmm. that body and force the contact into the screen in. And that's what they're going to get him. Keys has it with the spin move, puts up a shot. That one is going to fall for Keys. So score seven to two with 5.30 and counting here in the first quarter. Noah Ennis has it, the senior. Senior gets it back out to Marquise Milton. Marquise has it. They are double teaming Macari Milton. <laughs> and looking for the pick. It's there. Back to McCoy, back out to Stefan. He puts up a three. Counted! Boom! A Bulldog three bomb brought to you by the Davis family. And just like that, it is seven to five. Good defense there. McCoy puts it up. Counted two points. It's a tie ball game. We got a great championship going here in the first quarter. 448 and counting here in the first quarter. Brought to you by Custom Graphics. Oh, he's got it. Another turnover. Back-to-back -back turnovers, though. <laughs> Exciting. Bowie, handoff to Red, puts up a shot, count at two points. Noah Ennis bringing the ball up. Finds Stefan. Stefan getting directions from Coach Todd Whitmore. Score 9-7. to seven. 
Elk City leads by two. Stefan to Noah. Noah looking for some help. No, back out to Stefan. Makari trying to move there. Kick out to Marquise. Marquise puts it up. Count it! Boom! A Bulldog three bomb. Brought to you by the Davis family. They take the lead there, 10 to 9. Championship Saturday. <laughs> yes, sir. 50th annual Cluster Harrington Short Grass Invitational. 25 years since the Bulldogs have been in, and they take the lead 10 to 9 over Elk City. Keys has it, kicks it out to Red. Finds Jackson. Jackson going to put up a shot. No go. Good defense by Stefan. And Jace, jump ball, jump ball. Yes, sir. Jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of the Altus Bulldogs. Come on. Got a good one brewing here. Substitution coming in. That's going to be number 10 for Elk City. That is Cooper Church. Church who gets a lot of play time as well for the Elk City Elks. 10 to 9 is the score. 3.30 and counting. If you're joining us here on the Oklahoma Sports Network, we want to welcome you. It's championship Saturday. The Altus Bulldogs here with the lead 10 to 9. Jace Helton has it. Looking for a shot. Don't know what that, I think he was trying to go up there, but it's a turnover. And back-to-back -back turnovers as Stephon Sterling gets the steal. Setting it up here. 308 and counting. Looking for the pick. Three-point shot. Counted! Boom! A three uh, a Bulldog three bomb brought to you by the Davis family. 13 to 9. Your Bulldogs lead over the Elk City Elks. Elk City has it keys. And another turnover. Five in the game. Makari six. I've, oh, I'm sorry. I'm down one. I missed one, coach. Six to <laughs> six turnovers. Makari Milton to Marquise Milton, his brother. Marquise. Finds Ennis. Noah's going to put up a shot. That one's going to be short. But a good pass to, oh, I thought he was going to get it there to Jace. <laughs> Checking in is going to be number two. That is the general himself, Cooper Patton. The general? <laughs> that is zero, zero. And a timeout called. Coach, your thoughts here on the first quarter so far? So far, we have a, a lots of action <laughs> as Elk City came out on fire, hitting a few shots and getting yep. a big early lead. And then the Bulldogs applying that hair on fire mentality that Coach Whitmore wants them to play with. Reckless abandon, confidence yep. at all times, and just 100% tenacity. And they've clawed their way back into this four-point lead at 13-9 with 2.28 left here in the first quarter. It's going to be this way back and game, forth. Yeah back and forth. Both semifinal matches yesterday with UConn and Elk City was back and forth. Yeah. And the Bulldogs and uh, the Bobcats of Star Spencer, same way. Both teams got out, came out flat and had to claw their way back in and then eventually pulled out victories in the end. So both teams had to earn it yesterday. I don't expect anything less in this game as well as mm -hmm. both teams are going to it's going to be back and forth and it's going to stem off these turnovers and right now, Altus is getting into the Elk City. Elks forcing these turnovers and make it, make it, making them pay. Well, Keys has it, gets it back to Bowie. Bowie down there, it's a 10. Oh, and Church is blocked and a turnover there. Number seven, Noah Ennis has it, finds Helton. Helton, kick out to Stefan. He puts up a three. Count it, boom, a Bulldog three bomb. Brought to you by the Davis family. That gives them a score of 16 to nine. Bowie can't leave that guy open as he takes a shot. No go. Makari Milton finds Jace. Jace all alone. Puts up a shot. Gets it to fall. Two points for the Bulldogs. And we got a timeout here called by Elk City. 18 to 9. What a championship game we got here at the 2023 50th Annual Cluster Harrington Short Grass Classic Invitational. Woo! 144 left in the first. We're going to take a break. You're watching. Short grass tournament basketball here on the Oklahoma Sports Network.
Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs, both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a... All right, welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network here. You're watching Bulldog Basketball here in the first quarter with 138 and counting. Brought to you by Custom Graphics. Elk City has the basketball keys on the left side of the key. Gets it up to Patton. Patton going to dribble and another turnover. Good defense there by the Bulldogs. Stephon Sterling bringing the ball up with 122 and counting here. Stephon takes a shot. Not one, not going to fall. Good rebound by Helton. Puts it up. Oh, he can't get it to fall, but he's going to shoot for two. Good rebound there by Helton. Go yeah, ahead, He Coach. came from the opposite block yep. over to snag that rebound and got the put back. But he, he was fouled, and that, that was going to go on number 10, Cooper Church, his first 13 foul. So let's see if we can change the number on the scoreboard here. Chase Helton at the line. Doesn't get the Bulldog roll. Checking in going to be red and number five for Elk City. That is Schmidt. Mason Schmidt. On the floor for Elk City, Bowie, Schmidt, Dunlap, Church, and Red. Jace Helton with the second shot here. He gets that one to fall, so it's 19 to nine. Bowie to Church. Church back to Bowie. Bowie has it. Oh, and another, oh, nearly another turnover. Dunlap, sure-handed, able to get that fine. Schmidt, Schmidt puts up a shot, no go, and a foul. That's going to be called on Elk City. Let's see what they call it on. That's it's going to be on number 11 there. Oh, no, there's, yeah, Dunlap. They're going to call it on Dunlap. So that's a turnover. Number 11, yeah, that's going to be four. And so that's nine turnovers in the first quarter here. Is that what you got? That's what, that's what I have. Ooh, man, that's, that's very untypical there of um, Elk City. Marquise Milton has it. Again, these teams, oh, look at that move. Oh, he can't get it to fall, but gets his own rebound, turns and shoots, gets that one. Two points for Marquise Milton. 42 seconds and counting here. Now down to 38 seconds here in the first quarter. Past the halfway mark. And good defense. Last touch by the Alps Bulldogs. As I was saying, these two teams, no strangers to each other, as they play each other twice a year, have been for the past few years now, so... We play them actually later on this uh, later on here um, in the month, Coach. <laughs> yeah. Red not able to make that one fall. Makari Milton with the rebound, 22 seconds and counting, gets it to his brother Marquise Milton past the halfway mark. He's running the point at the top of the key. 15 seconds left and counting in the first quarter. Brought to you by Custom Graphics, your home for custom bulldog gear. Noah Ennis to Stephon Sterling. He steps back, looking for a three. That one not going to fall as that was an air ball there. That baseline was open, Coach. I would have thought he would have taken that and turned it over. Double dribble. And right now the speed uh, of the game is, is getting yeah. to Elk City a little bit. But, hey, they're a good team. Yes. We're going to settle down here in a minute. Like I said, it's going to be a, a lot of peaks and valleys and ebbs and flows. And once they settle down and they can shoot the ball, and if you can shoot like they can, you're always going to have a chance. Turn and shoot. Noah Ennis puts it up. Oh! Off the backboard! Boom! A Bulldog three bomb! Wow! Brought to you by the Davis family, and it counts! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my goodness! Whoo! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! 24 to 9. At the end of one, this is championship basketball, short grass tournament here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air.
Sports Network. You are watching Championship Saturday Basketball here on OSN. You're out as Bulldogs. First time in the Shortgrass Tournament uh, championship game since 1998. 25 years. Or 93, or what, 98, yeah, 98, 98. And Jackson puts up a shot, that one counts. 24 to 11, Noah Ennis has it, the senior. Looking to set something up, gets it to Marquise Milton. Marquise at the top of the key. Elk City man to man here. Looking for the pick. Trying to do a little bit of pick and roll there. Jace gonna put up a shot, can't get it to fall, no foul. Rebound Red, Red gets to Church. Church finds Keys. Keys nearly picked and gets it there for another two points, 24-13. You said it, man, this team not down and out ever. You can never count Elk City out as they like to go just as fast as the Altus Bulldogs do. So Altus here had a great first quarter, 24 points in the first quarter. Macari Milton has it. Nearly picked. Marquise looking for some help. He's going to drive, kick out to Ennis, and a, ooh. <laughs> We're going to get Marquise on the charge, and yeah. that's going to be his second. And that may factor in as we go throughout the game as one of the scorers. They're going to get the foul in first before they allow and the, the sub, substitutions come in. So now we're going to replace all five guys. The Line guy, change. Nico Gloria is going to come in along Keith with Kellison. Keith and Kellison. Gavin Langham. Gavin Langham. Adams and Shy. And so Keys at the line. Cross court pass to Schmidt. Schmidt puts up a three shot. No, good rebound there by Clayton. Clayton finds Nico. Schmidt came off the bench yesterday for Elk City in the second half and hit two really huge three-pointers in the third quarter on their big run to uh, overtake a, a devastating lead that UConn had on him. So he can hit them. He sure can. There's a lot of guys on this Elk City team squad that can do it. Keith and Kellison with the three, no go. Keys with the rebound for Elk City. I know the Altus Bulldogs were really did really well with the three-point shot there in the first quarter. That shot there, all way off. Church puts up a shot, rebounded by, or excuse me, blocked by Gavin, but he's going to be called for a foul. They shot the ball well, Coach, I'm sorry, but um, um, shot the ball well, but really no need to force up a three. You know, you got a good lead here, Coach. What would you like to see more out of the offense here besides just setting up and shooting? Unless it's a wide open layup, not two second offense. Not, yeah. not play good defense come down here. Yeah. First, first shot available is not always the best one unless it's a wide open layup. Run through your offense a little bit. Make that defense. Yeah. Make them suffer a little bit. Make them yeah. play some defense. Burn exactly. Them, burn them legs. Burn them calves a little yeah. bit as they have to fight through screens and whatever else you got to go through to, to you know, churn some clock. Church going to miss that one. Give them a little less time to make that comeback mm -hmm. if they're going to do it. So. Elk City has a substitution, and Bowie checking back in. That's Co Bowie. That one falls for Church, so 14 to 24. Dunlap's going to check in for, for Church. Church checking out. Dunlap checking in. On the floor for Elk City, Jackson. Red, Keys, Dunlap, and Bowie for your office Bulldogs. Gloria, Shive. Kellison, who has the ball right now. Langham, who has it. And Adams, and, an, and another turnover. Well, no possession arrow, so it stays with us. He's right here. Yep. <laughs> Our fellow coaching companion, Coach Dabbs, over the PA announcing He's today. Doing it all day long. They're doing a great job, too. Kellison tried to get it to Shive. Last touch by Red, he goes out of bounds. So we get inbound the pass here in front of the Elk City bench. Looking for some help, finds Nico. Gloria has it, looking to set something up. Finds Adams. Mm, yeah, yep, yeah, he was wide open. Adams kicks it out to Kellison. Kellen down low to Lavin, or Langham, counted two points. There's a lot to say there. Long last names. 
Kellison to Langham, and a turnover. Number 11, Keithan. Oh, counted Special K with a good assist and a good score there. 24 to 18, or 28 to 14. Oh, and a travel, and a timeout. So 12 turnovers in the game. Not a timeout, substitution. Oh, substitution, okay. Yeah, they're gonna put Church in for Jackson right there. And so Adams has it, finds Kellison. Special K looking for some help. Takes the baseline, kick out to Nico Gloria who finds Kellison. Kellison looking to set something up, finds Gloria. Gloria to Kellison to Adams. Keithan looking for the pick. Gavin Langham down low, nothing there. Finds Adams, Adams going to drive, put up a shot. That one not going to fall. Bulldogs come down with the rebound there, though. Oh, and a turnover. He was trying to get it somewhere as he was trapped there by two defenders, one of those defenders being the baseline. And it's coming back to charge, yes. That's going to be on Cooper Church, and that's going to be his second. It's going to be the fifth team foul. 28 to 14 with 434 here left in the first half and in the second quarter. Bulldogs not making it easy for Elk City. No, not at all. And that's just the deal. Both. Uh, oh, it got to be. Oh, man. That's just a little lack yeah, of focus lazy. right there. Yeah. yeah. Can't have any lazy passes. These guys, Elk City, they're, I mean, even being down 14, they're still going to come hard on the defensive side of the ball. But I was, as I was saying, both both squads as Coach Whitmer has two teams here in the line change, the starters and then the reserves off the bench. It is Bulldog basketball there, it's a turnover. Both of them real pesky, they move. Well, like a run and gun. You can't coach speed, both teams have it. Mm -hmm. And that's hard to deal with sometimes. They can just get up on you quick, they can handle defensive uh, pressure. Nice move by Nico Gloria. And a foul. That's going to be on Bowie. Is that his second? That is going to be his second. And then one more foul. <clears throat> yeah. We're going to be in the bonus. So. So Keith and Kellison set to inbound the pass here for the Altus Bulldogs. Score 28 to 14. Finds Gavin Shive right back to Nico Gloria. Looking for the pick. No. Oh, no look pass to Gavin Langham. And that is oh, a. Terrible. Yeah. Lost a little flow on the offensive end, but our defense is keeping us in it, yeah. eating up some of this clock. So we're not really being hurt, but we're not really helping a whole lot at this time. So keeping that defensive pressure on them. They the sure press. are. In the press, like you said there, and so they pass the halfway mark. Red has it for the Elks City. Elks finds Keys, who finds Dunlap left wide open, makes shoots a three, no go. Shive comes down with the rebound. Gets it out to Clayton Adams. Clayton to Nico. Nico looking to push the ball up. He does. Pass the halfway mark. Finds Keith and Keith and down the baseline. Draws a foul. Smart play there by Keith and Kellison. He is. <laughs> I called uh, Marquise Milton the other day. Uh, dynamite in a bottle. And you got uh, <laughs> Keith and Kellison who's lightning in a bottle yes. <laughs> as well. And if you blink, he's going to be right past you. As we saw him on the football field mm -hmm. running past you. Oh, people. yeah really well as he makes that shot there. Did really well on special teams, a great returner. Had a couple of interceptions as well, so. Very fast. Also, does he do track as well? Yes, he does. He does do track, doesn't he? There he goes, makes both of them, so score 30 to 14. Schmidt has it. Schmidt quickly guarded by Kellison. Gets it out to Church. Church back to Schmidt, guarded by Kellison. Kick out to Keys. Keys top of the key here with 3.09 left. He puts a three up. That one not going to fall. Rebound, Dunlap, and jump ball. Jump ball. And have jump ball. But and possession arrow in favor of Elk City. It's going to be tough, and it's not going to be free inside the lane. No. All down here on the Bulldog side. And you can see that speed right there. Yep, they got it Keithan, down the floor, yeah. <laughs> and Keith got back to cut off uh, the Elk City player down the sideline. Keys has it, guarded by Langham. And we got a block. Yep. 
That's good defense, good call. Yep, he, he got over there. Little body up. Just the first fifth team foul for Altus. Here comes the line change. <laughs> now, for those of you that don't understand that term, that is a hockey term. Coach Whitmer coming from the uh, East Coast there, New York, the Bronx. <laughs> Definitely understands and knows the hockey terms there with the line change. There's five new Bulldogs check in. That's the starters right back in. Schmidt has it. Oh, uh, there's a foul. Yep, yep, yep. Macari didn't see Church come in for that pass as he was going for it. Uh, that's ran in right first. into it. That's going to be the six. So next yeah. foul. Both teams. Both teams are going to be one and one. So Bowie has it. For the Elk City Elks pass the halfway mark. They trail by a 16. Dunlap. Dunlap to Bowie. Bowie going to shoot a three. That one not going to fall. And Helton comes up with it. <laughs> Possession arrow in favor of the Altus Bulldogs. Good job, Helton. Yes. Scramble that. Long shots produce long rebounds. I've been mm -hmm. saying it all day, or actually the last three days, and to go get that rebound. you got to know, know it. Learn that from Dennis Rodman. Yeah. One of the best rebounders in the game. And it looks like they're in the zone now. Got out of that man. So Ennis going to shoot. That one's going to rim in and out, but good rebound there by Macari. Looking for some help. Finds his brother Marquise. He steps back. That one's going to rim in and out, but Stefan puts a shot up. Not going to get it to fall. And Dunlop comes down with it. Picks up his dribble. Finds Church. Church who finds Schmidt. Schmidt's going to take the baseline. Finds Bowie. But we can't get it to fall, but Church gets the rebound, puts a shot up, counted two points for Elk City. Been a long spell since either team really scored. Yeah. And that was been a long, long spell for Elk City. <laughs> so Marquise Milton has it, finds Ennis. Ennis drives the baseline, kicks it out to Marquise. Oh, Marquise. Oh, nice shot there by Marquise Milton. 32 to 16. 130 left here in the first half and second quarter. Keys has it for Elk City. Keys to Schmidt. Schmidt has it. Guarded by Makari Milton. Good defense. And Noah Ennis with the turnover finds Makari Milton. He's no, all alone. Oh, no, no. They're going to call back court, court, which is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's it's going to be a turnover. Turnover for them, but a turnover for us, and it was going to yeah. be back and back and forth. That's fine. It's going to be Elk City's ball, but great hustle by yes. Noah Ennis. Yes. Great hustle. Yeah. And that's what you want, Coach. You want that hustle. You want that intensity there. Yeah. I, Co Coach Woodmore wouldn't understand it, but I'm going to tell you right now, that's great hustle by Noah yeah. Ennis. Jumping on that ball and making it hard. Some more ticks off the clock. Less time for them to make a comeback. And so Bowie has it past the halfway mark, guarded by Marquise Milton. Creates his own lane. Pass no. on the line. I don't know what happened there. That's a heck of a pass. If that was intentional to Schmidt. <laughs> it may have been deflected. And uh, the Elk City player not knowing that it was deflected. Yeah. Tried to save that ball and uh, could not save it. So a turnover for Elk City. They got 15 in the first half. Finds Milton. Milton to Stefan. Stefan taking a deep three. No, rims in and out. Rebound by the Elks. Dunlop has it, finds Bowie. Bowie dribbles with the left. To Church. Church dribbles oh. with it. Oh, and stolen by Stefan Sterling. Lay and lays it in for two more points, 34 to 16. 17 seconds. I like that over the last three-point shot it took. Yeah. As far as situation-wise. Schmidt finds Keys. Keys puts up a shot. That one does fall. So 19, still two seconds left. Knocked out of bounds by Oak yeah. City. 1.3, you don't necessarily need a shot right here. We can go in half as, with the lead. So don't give them a chance. Shoot it. There it is. Is it going to fall? Oh, and just short. But what a great first half 
by the Altus Bulldogs. They lead 34 to 19. Championship Saturday here live on the Oklahoma Sports Network. This is the 50th annual Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Classic Invitational. And it's championship basketball as it is the finals. The Elk City Elks taking on the Altus Bulldogs. And they lead 34 to 19. You're watching Bulldog basketball here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. In the far corner of southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is close than you think. Wichita Insurance is your true homegrown insurance agency found right here in the heart of Southwest Oklahoma. We take pride in taking care of our own around here. Whether it be your business, home or auto, farm and ranch, life insurance, bonds or crop insurance, we're here to help make sure you're taken care of. Come see us at any of our convenient locations in Altus and Mangum or give us a call at 580-301-6352. We look forward to making you part of the Wichita Insurance family. Legal issues can be intimidating, especially when they involve your family. Our firm specializes in helping families navigate the legal process. Attorneys Renee Gunkel, Preston Gunkel, and paralegal Lori Anderson are here to stand by you. No one expects to find themselves in need of an attorney, but it's nice to know that we're here for you when you need us. Since 1988, through whatever life brings, our family is here for your family. Gunkel Law Group. 106 West Broadway in Altus. Lambert Heat and Air at 1113 East Tamarack has been providing the best service for heat and air in all of Southwest Oklahoma for the past 28 years. For the best in service, repair, and installation. And make sure to ask them about their Comfort Club advantages. Call to set up your next appointment at 580-482-2182. For the best in customer care, call Lambert Heat and Air. Take pride in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma. But mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattleman's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! backgrounds with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. 
Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m., followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4, and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored. For most folks, the need for legal assistance doesn't happen very often. However, if you do need help with personal injury, real estate, probate, wills, divorce, child custody, adoption, bankruptcy, or any other area of law, the attorneys at Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy, the small town firm with a big city practice, can help. Get legal help when you need it from Latham, Nelson, Martin, and Duffy with offices in Altus, Mangum, and Lawton. fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. All right, welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. You are watching Championship Saturday Basketball Live here from Cletus B Street Fieldhouse in Altus, Oklahoma. This is the 50th annual Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Invitational Tournament. And what a good one we got going here today, ladies and gentlemen. Had a really good uh, ladies' finals. And now have a good one brewing here as the Altus Bulldogs came out to play. It scores 34-19. to It'll be Bulldog basketball, or Elk City basketball, excuse me. That is correct, yeah, Elk City, I was wrong. Coach Dabblestein set me straight, <laughs> the PA announcer. So Jackson back in here for the Elk City Elks. Jackson, Bowie, Dunlap, Keys, and Red checked in as Keys puts up a shot. That one doesn't fall. Red gets the rebound, puts it right back up, and last touch by Noah Ennis. So it's going to be Elk City basketball. 7.52 left here in this third quarter at the start of the second half. 34-19 is a score. Bowie set to end by the pass for the Elk City Elks. Finds Jackson. Jackson puts up a shot. Count at two points for Mr. Jackson. 21 points, 34-21 is the score. Marquise Milton bringing the ball down, hands it off to Stephon Sterling. Stefan's got it, finds Marquise. Marquise got it poked out, looks like, and a turnover. So eight turnovers in the game for the Altus Bulldogs. 15 for Elk City. Bowie has it, guarded by Helton. Helton to Jackson, or excuse me, Bowie to Jackson. Keys has it, not getting called for that push off there. Another two points there. 34-23. Stephon Sterling 
bringing the ball up for the Altus Bulldogs. Coach Whitmore may have seen enough as the line change looks look to happen, look, looking to happen real soon here, Coach. Well, if you don't have the defensive effort that he wants to see, he doesn't really care on the offensive end, but the defensive end, that effort has to be there. And if he doesn't see what he wants to see, you're going to come out. He wants max effort all the time on defense. If you're dragging. No Ennis sets his feet. That one not going to fall. Marquise Milton. And I kind of agree with it as he steps back and takes a three. Ooh, that one hits the front of the rim. Long rebound recovered by Jackson. Keys to Bowie. Bowie thought about a three, and he traveled. Mm. And so just like that, line change coming in. Starter's going to take a seat. Going to get a talk from <laughs> Coach Whitmore. As checking in for Altus, Gloria, Kellison, Shive, Adams, and Langham. Keith and DeClayton back to Special K. Special K guarded by Jackson. Special K all the way. Oh, can't get it to fall. And then he's going to pick foul. up the foul. Oh, they're going to. No. Yeah. No, they called it on Langham. Mm. Wow. I didn't see that. Me either. I didn't even know he was even near it. Bowie to Jackson. Jackson has it. Back to Bowie. Bowie gets past the halfway mark and turns it over. Clayton Adams has it. Past the halfway mark. Adams gets the pick. Kick out to Keithan. Back to Adams. To Nico. Looking to set something up. Getting directions from Coach Whitmore. Kellison to Langham. Langham to Shive. Shive going to go hard in the paint. Can't get it to fall. Langham nearly got that rebound. But couldn't quite get it as Dunlop brings the ball up. Dribbles with the left. Can't get it to fall, and shy with the hard rebound there. Nico Gloria, 5-15 and counting, bringing the ball up for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs yet to score here. Mm. Uh, nearly throw it away, but Nico. Oh, travel. Dang, yeah. There it is. They just, that's good hustle by Elk City. Yeah. As they force a little kickball or, or a stumble by Nico, and then it, Ball roll across the floor, and they had two Elk City guys sprinting and diving on the floor. That's what you want to see. Is mm -hmm. they, they go into the scores table, and now <laughs> they're all squished up against the wall over there. Nico has it. Yep. Picks up his dribble. Mm. Kellison creates his own lane. Kick out to, wow. Uh, Pass a little too high for Gloria. With the defensive effort. Definitely it's there. there Got to get into a flow offense with both groups and whatever, or whatever five guys we have out there. Oh, oh. they're going to say. <laughs> that was a good little poke there by Gavin. We got, we got Jordan Guyton over there back behind the bench. <laughs> Assistant coach Guyton when he's not calling games for us here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. <laughs> Which why not, right, coach? We're coaches, right? Sure. <laughs> Jackson going to put up a shot. Oh. oh. Hard foul, but Clayton knows it. I don't mind it, though, Coach. It's, yeah, you got to shoot two to get get the two points and not the one yeah. shot, so you got to earn it. As Clayton, very athletic, got way up there. Oh. Misses the first one, so ball never lies. Ball don't lie, does it? Nope. 34-23, 437 left here in this third quarter. Jackson makes the second. 34-24. Elk City in a press here looking like. You're going to have to press Keith and harder than that as he's super quick. You said lightning in the bottle. Great definition. Clayton. Mm, got a little body contact there. Ah, good pass to Gavin. Puts it up, counter two points. Good awareness there by Clayton Adams, coach. And then by Gavin Langham to get the two defenders up in the air and yep. then, then shoot the shot. So. Keys has it here on the right side of the key for Elk City. 
looking for Bowie. Da oh, and he nearly gets picked. Red picks it up. Can't quite get it. Shive comes down with the rebound. Gets it out to Gloria. Gloria's got it. 36-24 with 3.50 and counting here in the third quarter. Keithan has it. Looking down low to Adams. Adams going to step back, put a shot up. That one's going to rim in and out. As Bowie get looking back. to press hard. Got to get back. Keys puts it up. No go. Rebound. Keith and Kellison. Rotate out. And he gets it rip, to Shive. Rip. Back to Keith and Kellison. May have to, to get Nico. a timeout. May have to get you got to go. Out. There it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that took for a little bit, a little bit longer than expected, but yeah, they got it. The 10 count doesn't stop, even though they're deflecting the ball and stuff. Yeah. Possession. Is good. Made. Good pass there. Gavin puts up a shot. Oh, it doesn't oh. fall. And a foul. They're going to call a foul on Shive yeah, over the back. He was climbing the ladder on that one, but using the back of the Elk City defender. And yep. They're going to get a foul. Now we're going to see a few changes as Church change. and Patton's going to come in for Elk City, and then we're going to go back with the original starters of Milton, Milton, Sterling, Helton, and Ennis for the Bulldogs. So Church checking in and the general, Patton, for Elk City. Church to Patton. Patton to Keyes. Keyes going to put up a shot. Count it. Yeah. Call a timeout time on that there because he was left wide open. That was a great design full play time. there by the Elk City Elks. Full timeout. Full timeout. We'll take a full timeout with them. You're watching championship basketball here. Short grass classic invitational on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Strong Tower Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored. All right, welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. You're watching Bulldog basketball with 251 and counting here in the third quarter. Starters back in for your office Bulldogs. Sterling to Macari Milton. Back to Sterling. Sterling past the halfway mark. Notice that when the starters come in, Elk City goes to that half court press rather than, you know, I mean, are, are they going to pick them up at the half court rather than, and a travel. Oh, no foul called. Travel. Wow. All right. Coach Whitmore in the ear of. Jamal Dorsey, the official there is Bowie and Elk City not slowing down whatsoever. All right, there we go, offensive foul. Double zero. On Patton, and that's a turnover. He run right over Noah Annis on that drive and then pass, so. So, Makari Milton. Fine, Stephon Sterling, now they're back in the full court press here, man to man basically. It's just a full court, yeah. put pressure on the ball, make you handle it, make you keep yeah. you honest. Oh no. Ah, oh wait, good heads up ball there by Makari, mm. who finds Ennis. Mm. He travels. Yeah, he does. So that one just kind of messed up from the start, deflection, trying to drive, a kick out, and the cutter got in the way. Yeah. So you just got to take a big deep breath here, play some defense. With that speed and that, the longness of our Bulldogs go into effect as Bowie, man, comes in with the rebound, putting it back up. Just like that. Seven points is the lead. Makari Milton has it. Oh, we got a timeout there. Makari was work or uh, Marquise was working there too. <laughs> So a timeout here called by Coach Whitmore as he encourages his players. 
We'll be right back here. You're watching Championship Basketball on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Yes. Season just dropped. Enter the big dinner box from Pizza Hut. Two pizzas, breadsticks, and wings all in one box. You'll run out of episodes before you run out of food. The Big Dinner Box, only from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. Pizza Hut stuffed crust is the crust that made crust good. Topped and stuffed with over a half pound of cheese. What are you so afraid of? Loving it? Original stuffed crust, only from Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. All right, welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. You're watching Championship Basketball here live from Cletus B Street Fieldhouse. It's the 50th annual Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Classic Invitational. The Bulldogs in as they inbound the pass. Sterling has it. He's going to drive, puts up a shot, and count it. Oh, my goodness. Wow. No, they're going to say it happened before the shot. Well, it's going to be on Cooper Patton, his second, second. Second foul of the quarter. And Schmidt coming in for Patton. 36-29. Yeah. Just one of those shots that happened to fall. No Ennis has it. And a foul. Schmidt quickly picked up the foul as he's grabbing a hold of Noah Ennis. Now let's see if they go back to that play where Sterling scored just a few seconds ago. Back to Ennis. And it's looking to set it up. Lots of Bulldogs. Clears a lane. Ennis puts up a shot. Can't get it to fall. Keys has it. Got to get back. Oh, hey, double dribble on the line. Okay, all right. Either way, it's a turnover. <laughs> and he's jumping up. <laughs> yeah. Just a third turnover here in the second half for Elk City. Yeah. So. But overall, it's the 19th turnover. Know what you got? 19? Uh, 18, 18, 19. Potato, so potato. Noah Ennis has it. Mm. Oh. Back to back turnovers. And we got to avoid that right there. Yeah, and so. We're just going to make a single change this time. Keith and Kellison going to check in for Ennis. So Church Ooh. gets to Keys. Keys has it past the halfway mark. Oh, and look at that. Making a difference right away. Oh, and back to back turnovers. Schmidt. Finds Jackson. Jackson's going to pull up and shoot. That one's not going to fall. And the rebound there by Marquise Milton as he blows by all the – no, thank you. Yeah, he wasn't even set. Uh, <laughs> they he, were both falling. They were falling before there was contact. <laughs> that makes it easy for yeah. the officials. And so Marquise Milton going to the line. They're going to call that on 10. Cooper Church, his third. Uh, his third. He's not a starter, but he plays as much as he comes off the bench. He's the first yeah. guy off for Elk City. He contributes a lot of minutes there as Marquise can't get that one to fall. First shot he's got to even take yep. here in the second half other than that missed shot. So. so under a minute left to play here in the third quarter. Got to change the number, and they don't. Oh, my goodness. Left all alone, Schmidt is. Scores two points, and... That digs can't, in. That can't happen. No. So, Stephon Sterling has it down by five, Elk City is. The Bulldogs lead by five. 42 seconds and counting here in the third quarter. Championship basketball on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Stephon puts it in. Good put back there for Akari Milton. 38-31. Church. Going to go coast to coast and put up a shot. Not going to fall. Stephon Sterling has it. Finds Marquise Milton. 18 seconds left. Still lots of time. No need to rush it. Kicks it out to Keith and Kellison, who finds Marquise again. Kick out to Stephon. He's going to take a deep three. And the foul. Yeah. So he's taking three. He kind of got undercut. I think he was trying to, like, undercut. Yeah. And Stephon did a good job of getting his body in the way. So that's going to be on Jackson. That's going to be his first at 15th out. And then three free throws for Stephon. Yeah, so he let's made see. some clutch, clutch free yes, throws. Yes, he did yesterday. In the fourth quarter yesterday as he made four out of five and a layup in that fourth quarter. First one. And he made fall. two huge ones when it was tied up to go up to to actually be in the, what the, the two winning points. 
So I talked him out of that one. <laughs> Broadcaster's curse. Second shot. Makes that one. 39, 31. Checking in is going to be Bowie in red. Jackson checking out as Church checks out as well. We need Last to one. Make this one. Change that number again. One more point they got to come back from. Doesn't get that one to fall. Rebound red. Keys has it. Schmidt puts up a shot. That one's not going to fall. Oh, and they can't come down with the rebound. So with that, an eight-point lead going into the fourth quarter. You're out as Bulldogs lead 31 or 39 to 31 over the Elk City Elks Championship Saturday basketball here at the Short Grass Classic Invitational on the Oklahoma Sports Network. <laughs> in supporting our communities. We take pride in our deep-rooted traditions of serving Southwest Oklahoma. But mostly, we take pride in being an Altus Bulldog. You can always count on us to show up wearing our blue and white loud and proud and ready to lend a hand. Because at Cattleman's Bank, we proudly say, Go Bulldogs! Welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. You are watching Bulldog Basketball here live from Cletus B Street Fieldhouse. It's Championship Saturday, 50th Annual Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Classic Invitational. Your Altus Bulldogs in the championship game here. They lead the Elk City Elks 39 to 31. First time in 25 years the Altus Bulldogs have been in the championship game. And they're playing good basketball here as Milton to Milton. To Kellison, to Sterling. Sterling puts up a shot. Counted two points for Stefan Sterling. 41-31. Keys down low to Red. Red mishandles, but able to get it back. And 33-41. to 41. Looking for some help. Finds help. Oh! oh. Man, that was a hard foul there. Yeah. As Red yeah. came in. Well, I mean, that's just a hard foul. Yeah. Not intentional, no. but just trying to make some, a hustle play. And hopefully both guys are okay. Yeah. Helton may be seeing some stars there as he went hard to the floor. Actually, I think Marquise. Red took a little bit harder than. Yeah, because he was airborne. Marquise gets a pass the halfway mark, looking to set something up here for the Altus Bulldogs. In the fourth quarter, 720 and counting. Marquise gets his, block, his shot blocked by Red. Oh to Keys, Keys puts up a shot, no go, Red has it, puts up a shot, gets that one to fall, 35-41. Marquis slows it down a little bit. Just gotta slow it down here, set up your offense. You got a lead, down low to Helton. Helton has it, spin move. I, 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 Second time he's done that. He's, draw, he's looking to draw the foul. Oh, and he comes back on defense, though. Makari Milton has it. Puts it up. Counted two points for Makari Milton. 43-35. Good heads-up play there by Makari Milton. Dunlop has it. Top of the key. Guarded by Stephon Sterling. 630, or 625 and counting here in the fourth quarter. Down low to Keys. Oh, Keys. Oh, and blocked by Makari Milton. Heads-up play by his brother. I mean, he's fouled twice. Oh, oh yeah. come on. You got to call the foul over there, too. Let's go. Shive checking in for Helton. Which is I mean, I, I, Coach, did I miss see that? Or, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, Milton took some hard shots there. No fouls called. Got the steal right. as Bowie will turn and shoot. Count it. 
Was that a three-pointer? It was a three-pointer. Jeez. Bowie, man, I'm telling you, that guy can get hot real fast. And so with 6'10 in the fourth quarter, 43 to 38 is the score. Championship Saturday basketball here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate. All right, welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. You're watching Bulldog Basketball here live from Cletus B Street Fieldhouse, 50th Annual Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Classic Invitational Championship Saturday. Your Altus Bulldogs lead the Elk City Elks 43-38 with 6-10 and counting here in the fourth quarter. Marquise Milton has it. Pick. Bowie screaming for the moving screen. Sterling has it. Sterling puts up a shot, looking for the foul. Milton, turn around and shoot. That one does fall for Makari Milton. 45 to 38. Dunlop has it. No, oh, no. Looking down low to Keys. Keys can't quite get it. And that's last touch. Oh, no. Good save there by Red. Bowie, he's off. Oh, uh, we got a foul. That's going to be on Marquis. Uh, which, at the time, may be a good deal because yes. they're going to have a layup on the back yep. side. So. That's going to be yeah, it's going to be his third. Mm -hmm. 14 foul. We need one more so we can shoot some free throws here. But make them. Oh, offensive foul. Nicely done. Turnover. Second foul on Caden Dunlap. And that will be the seventh foul, but it is – Via yeah. the offensive, so no no shooting. Nope. But any defensive foul from 525 left, we are going to be shooting. And Coach Whitmore wants to talk about things. We're going to have a full timeout. And so, with 525 and counting, the Bulldogs lead 45 to 38. We'll take a quick break here watching Championship Saturday basketball here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Ministries strengthens the church by connecting and engaging visitors in the true word of God and belief in Jesus Christ. Come worship with us at 805 Martin Luther King Road in Altus, Oklahoma. Sunday morning Bible school starts at 9 a.m. followed by worship at 10. Can't join us that morning? We also have Sunday evening services starting at 4 and youth services are on Wednesday nights at 630. Your ministry is found where you've been broken. Your testimony is found where you've been restored. All right, welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. You're watching Bulldog Basketball. We got a good one brewing here for Championship Saturday. It's Bulldog Basketball underneath the Elk City Basket. As, uh oh, what we got here? What is that? Oh, my gosh. What just happened? Inadvertent horn, or I don't know. That happens a lot. Uh, and we had the, uh, the old trick play that Coach yep. Whitmore had that was going to be could have been two points. We ran that wow. last night for success. Makari's got it. Oh. Illegal screen yeah. by Kellison. He tripped over him. <laughs> I don't Man, I don't agree I, with some of these illegal screens sometimes. They just set a good screen. I think it's just a bailout yeah. for the officials because every one of them now is an illegal screen. Yeah. They just don't know what a good screen is. And he literally tripped over his foot. He was not, I mean, I mean, Kellison was purposely not trying to hit him. He tried to get out of the way and tripped over his own foot there, so, or tripped over Kellison's foot. Red has it, finds Dunlap. Dunlap looking to drive and loses the ball. Keith and Kellison right there. 
looking for some help, finds Makari Milton. Two points, count it. 47 to 38 is the score. Bowie, real quick past the line, finds Dunlop. Dunlop to Schmidt, Schmidt down the baseline. Kick out to Keys. Keys dribbles with the left, puts his shot up, no go, yeah. and he's gonna yeah, he got draw the foul on Shive, yeah. Gonna make him earn it the old way though, the old fashioned way, one at a time. Be a third on Gavin Shive, 16th though. And so we talk about it every game, Coach. We call Keys with the first shot. That one does fall. Those free throws can be crucial there towards the end of the game. Yeah, and we were can talking about that last night. Yeah, they, free throws and rebounding wins your ball games. Yep. Keys with the second shot gets that one to fall as well. Stefan has it. Looking to slow it down just a little bit. Finds Marquise. Marquise with 438 and counting here in the fourth quarter. Championship Saturday live on the Oklahoma Sports Network. 50th annual Cluster Harrington. Shortgrass Classic Invitational. Keith and Kellison has it. Drives down the sideline. Can't quite draw. Get a foul. Rebound and by the Elk City Elks. And a turnover there. Oh, no. Oh, and another turnover. Back-to-back -back turnovers. Moving a little bit too quick maybe on that possession. Just dribble out a little bit more. Make sure you yeah. have a good pass. I know he's trying to be unselfish, but make a good pass. Come on. 414 and counting. Elk City Church finds Keys. Keys able to get Marquari up in the air. Bowie to Keys. Keys down the baseline. And count it. Two points as he goes with the reverse. 42 to 47. 355 and counting in the fourth quarter here. I would tell whoever's guarding Keys is he's going to shot fake every time. Yes, every time. Milton, that's short. Good pass to his brother, Makari, though, and he gets the two points. 49-42 is the score. Dunlap to Bowie. Bowie's going to take a three. No. Count it. Yes. You don't want that guy to shoot, man, I'm telling you. He can get hot fast. Milton. Oh, finds his brother. Brother to brother. Two points. Count it. Ha <laughs> ha. Milton. 51 to 46. Keys. You called it. Oh, they all do the pump fake. Oh, and hey, hard foul. Why not? Call it. <laughs> Shooting two. Technical on red. Yeah. Oh, and he's gonna he may get another one. He may it's on red. <laughs> the first original foul is gonna be on. I don't even know who they give the foul on. Uh, they're going to give that on. To Bowie, maybe? They've got two up there with four fouls. Yeah. And Stephon hasn't fouled anybody. So the original foul, I have no clue. Yeah, let's see what they're trying to. But they're going to give. So who got the tech? Uh. Well, he was fouled originally by somebody, so he gets to shoot his free throws, which he makes his first one. And then they're going to shoot the technical fouls after these. These are just the, the player fouls. So he's made both of those. And now he got called for a technical. So got to change the number here. Stephon, or excuse me, Keith makes that one. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh. Jackson's so. going to come in uh, for red. Both teams in the bonus now with 259 and counting. Stephon Sterling has it. 
Bulldogs lead by four. Oh, oh and what was that? And I think McCarr is supposed to be at one spot, and, and he wasn't. They're going to get the ball right here to half, so there's another turnover. Yep. Tenth here in the second half is what I have. I don't know what you have. But probably close, 10 or 11. Yep, I've got 10, actually. Gets it back to Dunlap. Under three, 255 and counting here in the fourth quarter. Good pick there by Stefan. One on one. Oh, with the Euro step. Can't get it to fall. And oh, my oh, goodness. My oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, it goes down as a turnover. Yes. And a few more ticks off the clock. As uh, Don't foul, fellas. Just nope, make them handle it. Church throws it. Oh, nearly throws it away. Gets it back. Bowie finds Keys. Keys to Jackson to Dunlap. Dunlap puts up a three. That's far off the mark. And it's... A that's a turnover. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't hit Ram. And so, Keithan finds Stefan. Stefan guarded by Keys. Back to Keithan Kellison. Keithan has it. Keithan just so fast. Look at him. Finds Macari. Macari puts up a shot and a blocking foul. They're going to get Church on the block. And that might be his fourth, right? That is his fourth. Ninth team foul. And they're going to send Macari Milton to the line. As... Every whistle now <laughs> is drawing the ire of not only coaches, players, but also the entire yes. crowd. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Macari. Oh, misses the first one. He has ten points by himself here in the fourth quarter. Full timeout. Full timeout. Oak, Oak City, City coach. coach. He's still not. Still Coach wants Stevens. To chew on somebody. Yeah, Coach Stevens not happy at all. So let's take a full timeout with him. Macari Milton at the line with 220 and counting here in the fourth quarter championship Saturday basketball on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Hello. I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. Clean your act up and don't be a slob. Get a haircut. far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is closer than you think. All right, welcome back to the Oklahoma Sports Network. Second free throw here for Milton with 2.20 left here in the game. Let's see if we can change the number on the scoreboard. And we don't, but Stephon Sterling puts up a shot. No foul called. Oh, it's on the line, so it's coming back to the Altus Bulldogs, so that's a turnover. Ten apiece. Yep. Here in the second half. Just a so Bulldog basketball, Keith and Kellison going to inbound the pass for the Altus Bulldogs. Let's see what we got planned here. Mm. Finds Milton. Milton, good move there. Puts it in, two points, Macari Milton. 54-48 is the score with 2.06 and counting. Oh, and nearly stolen there by Stephon Sterling. Dunlop has it, finds Church. Church guarded by Sterling. Church going to drive all the way. Now we got a block. And a blocking foul on Keith and Kellison. That's all right. Count That's okay. the bucket. Are they going to count the bucket? Uh, yeah. Count the bucket. So he made it that time. Church. And that's going to be 
Good foul on Keith and, and a seventh team foul. Jackson's going to come out and they're going to put Red back in for defensive purposes, it looks like. Yeah, basket was good, so. I don't know if the basket was good. That, they, they're counting. <laughs> And Coach Whitmore are asking, so yeah, it's going to be, he's looking for the three-point play here. One shot. He's calling it one shot. Chance for Elk City to get back within three. Ball never lies, ladies and gentlemen. Keith and Kellison has it. Quickly double-teamed, looking for some help. Finds Milton. Milton has it. Makari Milton, who's played a big role here in the third quarter, finds his brother Marquise Milton. Marquise, guarded by Bowie. No. Oh, didn't, didn't call the reach there. Milton puts up a shot. Stefan with a big rebound, two points. Stefan's, oh, and a turnover. <laughs> 25 turnovers in the game for Elk City. I got 26. Well, all right, that's one off. <laughs> Marquise Milton looking in and the pass. Oh, no. Finds Ooh. Kellison. He's going to go all the way to the basket, put it up, count it two points for your Altus Bulldogs. Lead back up to eight. 58 to 50. Dunlap puts a shot up. Wow. <laughs> Keith and Kellison has it. Oh, he got picked by Church. Oh, misses it. Keys misses it. Bowie going to put it up. No go. Dunlap puts it up. No go. Jace Hilton comes down with the rebound and throws it away. No foul. Wow. Well, that just eats up some time as Dunlap yeah. goes in and scores. So 54-58. Jay Selton has it. We're going to have a timeout. We got a timeout by Coach Whitmore. Man, 38.5 seconds. We're not going anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We're staying right here. Wow. What a final game we have going here. Championship Saturday, the 50th annual Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Invitational Tournament. And they lead 50, 58 to 54. Whew, Coach. <laughs> man. Got a good one here, man. Got yeah, a good one. It's turned into uh, what I call a man which fourth quarter, Sloppy Joe. But both teams <laughs> fighting, clawing, and scrapping. We have Sloppy Joes at the house. There ain't none left if I don't go in there right when, when the wife says it's ready because both teams are jumping on yes. each other, uh, making it tough every possession. We've got 26 turnovers to – uh, however many the Bulldogs have here. I got 20. 20 plus here. Yep. And it's just uh, taking each other's best shot here, there, everywhere. Free throws, missed free throws, blocked shots. You got to earn it tonight yeah. for this championship. Bulldogs Good. hanging on narrowly to this four point lead, 38.5 seconds. Yeah. They got to get it in and not only get it in, get it down the floor. Because you're looking at time here mm -hmm. as probably going to try to burn, eat some of this clock. Going to take a wide open layup, and uh, well, Elk City's going to foul right away, and they're going to need to foul, and they're going to yeah. pick their poison. I don't know who you're going to pick right here. Uh, so you got to get it in, and then once you get it in, you got to be able to get the ball either down the floor, across half court, or protect it, and not not get a steal. Yeah, and Elk City going to apply pressure, of course, and deny this inbounds pass. Well, here we got here. Let's see what we got going. Stephon Sterling has it. Back to Helton. Helton kicks. Oh, finds Milton. Milton puts up a shot. Count it. Two points. Makari Milton. 60 to 54. Dunlap looking for a shot, and he's going to be called for a travel. 22.5 seconds left here on the clock. Well, that's a two possession ball game at worst. Yep. So get the ball in. You can even make a turn over here, but not make a turn over. Yep. You know, make Elk City earn it if they're going to get one. Don't give it away. You got Stefan on Stephon. the back side. They're going to have to foul. Finds uh, Keith. Oh. oh, did they foul him before or after? They, they got him. They got and him. And that's going to be on Church, and that's his fifth foul. And an excellent turn it yep. by Cooper Church. 
Nothing to hang his head out because no. he has fought, fought all three games. Yep. And uh, going to finish with five points tonight. Had a huge game last night. It was six points, but he hit some big buckets and some big free throws in that huge second half for Elk City yesterday to get to the finals. They wouldn't be here without him being the sixth man off the bench for Elk City. Proud of his effort. I'm sure the coaches over oh, there yeah. are. Oh, I can't get that one to fall. Stephon misses that first one. Got to change the number, coach. We're still up six. It's still two possessions. They got to be able to come down and score twice here in 20 seconds. Come on, baby! Come on! One free throw makes it a three possession ball. Mm -hmm. There it is. There it is. 61 to 54. Your Bulldogs lead here with 19 seconds and counting. Keys nearly picked by Keithan. Dunlop gonna, has it. Not going to be free to And a turnover. Marquise Milton puts that's it in the points. Yeah. That's it. That seals the fate right there. That seals the fate with 3.2 seconds left. You can let him. You can let Elk City get the ball in. Let him get yeah. it in. We don't even need to let yeah. him get it. I don't care if they make a half court shot right here. You're going to win this one. Yeah. You're going to win this one. Just let him get it in. Let him let him shoot a half-court shot. Don't do anything silly. Don't do anything stupid. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow! Well, I can tell you this. Wow! What a shot by Bowie. It counts. It does. It counts. But most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, your out is... Bulldogs, the 2023 Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Classic Invitational Champions after 25 years. Wow. <laughs> you wouldn't want to wow. any other way. And Elk no. City, Elk City playing till the buzzer. Yes. Three-quarter court shot by Cole Bowie. Yes. To finish it off, to, find, to get the final score, 63-57. Uh, boy, <laughs> I tell you what. Just wow. To, just to add to it, this game has been – uh, pretty, uh, about as exciting as you can ask for from start to finish. Buzzer to buzzer. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. So, wow. Uh, congratulations to the Elk City Elks, runner-ups. They, they played their hearts out. I'm they did, you, man. They run into a buzzsaw. Right now, Altus Bulldogs have got it going on. Yeah. And uh, a great first quarter, and they've had to dig it away. And they, <laughs> hey, half-court shot, that plays out a little different. <laughs> yeah. We don't make a few free throws in a bucket here or there. That that half-court shot definitely could play a, a big difference in the ball game. Very yes. excellently played, and I would say excellently coached game by Coach Stevenson at Elk City. Yes. To even get back into the ball game. The Altus Bulldogs just announced the 2023 Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Classic Invitational Champions. Wow. <laughs> 25 years since they've made it. Hey, Coach Whitmore, you got to give it to him. He's, he's done a great job handing his coach and staff. These kids, like you said, he ran into a buzz all. These, these Bulldogs have got it together um, playing really good basketball, Coach. They are. I, he, man. He, he's come in and brought a new attitude, and uh, he's got it's. You can see it. It's infectious. The, the JV team plays hard. The freshman team plays hard. It's trickled down to the junior high. They're all here supporting. He wants those guys here, and then we got plenty. And then and now it's rolled over into the crowd and yeah. us, and we're yelling and screaming and <laughs> having a good time like little <laughs> kids up here watching yeah. our favorite team. So, so I mean, here's the tournament team. Adams from Yukon. Number 12, Logan Day. Number 12, Day from Yukon. I didn't hear the first one. Dontrell Adams. No, it was there was one announced before then. It was from another team. I, I didn't hear who it was. From Star Spencer, number three, Gabriel Butler. Butler from Star Spencer. I know those teams are probably already left, but they'll send those via the mail. Yeah. From Elk City, number three, Cole Bowie. Number three, Bowie, well deserving. Has Bowie a heck of a ball player for Elk City? Again, we'll see them two more times this season. I think just just once, just once. 
and Dunlap. Number 11. And number 13, Kai Keyes. And Keyes. From Elk. Let's see who gets it from Altus. Well. Number two, Stefan Sterling. Number two, Sterling. He played great tonight, Coach. How many did he have? He had 19. 19. And he had eight points last night. Corey Milton had 18 tonight. <laughs> and, and a lot of those were 14, putbacks. Yeah, 14 of those in the fourth quarter. Huge. And your tournament MVP, number two, Marquise Milton. Uh, Marquise Milton, number 20, right, 23. 20, 23, Marquise Milton. <laughs> number two, Stephon Stone. <laughs> Marquise Milton. Yeah. Well, 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 well deserved. deserved. As yeah. Marquise had uh, 22 last night. Uh, he had 20. Yeah. 22 last night and 21 in the in the in the first game. So, yeah, he had what nine tonight. Yes, but a, a lot of assists to his own brother. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, Milton to Milton, man. If they ever decide to uh, get together like um, Nilly Vanilli, they've got a name for their band, Milton to Milton, right there. Well, yeah. I tell you what, man. But hey, ladies and gentlemen, what a great. What a great tournament this uh, this uh, this uh, short grass tournament was here with uh, um, with all the teams that were represented. Man, it was it was a great turnout for the boys, great turnout for the girls. Congratulations to the Yukon Millerets who went on the girls side. Your tournament champions here, the 50th annual Cluster Harrington uh, Short Grass Classic Invitational, and congratulations to your very own Altus Bulldogs, year 2023 tournament champions here for your Cluster Harrington Shortgrass Invitational. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a blast. Tuesday I will not be with. It'll be Jordan and Coach T calling that game as they travel to Mac. I have. I will actually be going up against Elk City in a wrestling duel Tuesday here at home. So uh, uh, They may beat you up. <laughs> so uh, make sure to tune in. That's Cluster Harrington speaking. 29 years, he's saying, since the Bulldogs won. So, Cluster Harrington, the old, old Bulldog coach here. It's been 25 years since they've been in the finals. Yeah. But 29 since they since won they it. they won it. So, right there from Historical. the man himself, yeah. Cluster Harrington. So. He was coaching that team. <laughs> yeah, a long time ago. So, yeah, a long time ago. But, hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Uh, what a great tournament. What a great turnout. Tune in Tuesday night as the, as the Altus Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs travel to Lott and MacArthur. They take on the MacArthur uh, <clears throat> Highlanders. Like I said, Jordan and Coach Clothier are going to be calling that game, and then we'll be back. After that, as uh, senior night approaches here, February 14th, uh, got some really great games lined out here for the rest of January. We will go and see Elk City as well, so we'll see them one more time. But a great weekend of basketball. Coach, any last words for you? Well, congratulations to Coach Woodmore, Coach yep. Collins, Coach Boone, and the entire yep. Bulldog, uh, Bulldog players from uh, uh, just a great win. and. Thank you, Levi, for letting me be a part of this. Oh, anytime, And the, the fans, this, this one's for you, Cluster Harrington. Yep. Thank you for being the great man that you were and uh, being an example, role model. And thanks for Altus Public Schools for putting Put this it on. on and the teams that came. We appreciate your efforts. Just can't thank people enough that mm -hmm. behind the scenes that run the tournament, yeah. Mr. Kaufman and his staff, Stacey Turbush, and the coaching staff that she has with Mark Dabblestein and uh, M Melissa Parsons. And, and Jade, Jade Turdbush yep. and, and her husband Lonnie, yep. how they run the hospitality room yeah. and other things. They've, they've done a lot of things here around that don't yeah. get seen and people that run the concession stands. So you know, all this the ticket booze and all that. Uh, yeah. Miss Burrow for running the stuff on the big screens and whatever. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things that make these tournaments possible. So just want to thank them for all their help to, to make this possible. And, again, just one more congratulations to the Altus Bulldogs yes. for their 2023 uh, tournament championship. 
Yeah, what a night it's been. What a weekend it's been. We want to thank you for joining us, uh, uh, Frederick fans, UConn fans, a uh, uh, lot MacArthur fans, Dallas Thunder fans. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We look forward to it again next year. We will see you again. We go live again on Tuesday as the Lady Bulldogs and the Bulldogs take on the um, – <clears throat> take on the Lot MacArthur Highlanders. This has been Bulldog Basketball Championship Saturday Basketball here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Hello, I'm Brian Davis with the Razor's Edge at 1207 North Jackson. Since 1967, we've been serving Altus with quality men's hairstyles. From flat tops and shaves to comb overs and pompadours. We take appointments and walk-ins are welcome, so come get cleaned up. Get a haircut, get a real job. In the far corner of Southwest Oklahoma, you'll find a place that gives you the opportunity to pursue a degree while helping ease your mind when it comes to financial stress. Western Oklahoma State College offers a variety of options to fit your needs, both face-to-face -face and online. From managing a farm or ranch to saving lives as a registered nurse, Western will help turn your goals into your future. At Western Oklahoma State College, you are more than just a number. You are a member of the Pioneer family. Make Western your home away from home. Your degree is closer than you think.